Chapter 51 Murderer and Hostility Advertisement Illusion Although Lu Shang has cage level strength, only he knows that his ninjutsu magic index is not high at all. Ninjutsu only knows the three body technique and shadow clone technique, Taijutsu only knows the instant body technique, and Illusion, apart from knowing how to get in touch with ordinary Illusion, I don't even have a low level C level Illusion. Without the sword skills and two color haki, Lu Sheng's strength is just an elite genin. It is impossible for him to cast an illusion on Hinata invisible. Because of my own chakra, I didn't consume it at all. And physical strength is deprived. Wait. Suddenly, Lu Sheng's eyes widened slightly. Could it be? Conqueror's haki? Thinking of this possibility, Lu Sheng couldn't help but become agitated. If you think about it this way, the situation just now can be explained. The primary conqueror's haki is bursting with emotion, even the user is unaware of it. Immersed in the spiritual world by myself, and experienced the thrill of victory through Hawkeye, my emotions have always been in a high state. If you have the qualifications of a king, it is not impossible for conqueror's haki to burst out involuntarily. Advertisement. Thinking of this, Lu Sheng happily hugged Hinata, put her on the bed, then lowered his head, and grabbed his red lips, expressing his excitement and excitement in this way. If it is really Conqueror's Haki, it not only represents himself, but also has a very powerful ability in the future, and it also means that his conjecture is completely correct. The inheritance template really didn't allow him to inherit Hawkeye's ability, and after unlocking 100%, he could get all his strength. It is a power system that allows oneself to obtain the other world, as well as the swordsmanship experience and combat experience taught by famous masters. The state he entered when he was killing before is his way of swordsmanship. Hinata, who was suffocated by Lu Shang's kiss, seemed to feel his mood, and couldn't help hugging him with both hands, responding jerky. The time came two days later. August 8th, morning. The sky was extremely gloomy, dark clouds blocked the sun, and Kanaho lost the bustle and bustle of the past revealing a sadness that can be felt no matter where it is. As long as the ninjas in the village, whether it is Jonin or Jenin, even the trainee ninjas of the ninja school, and even many villagers, all wear black long clothes and trousers. Even Lu Sheng and Hinata took off their kimonas, white trench coats, and black trousers. They came to the meeting place early. Under the leadership of Yuhi Hong, the eighth team followed the team to the memorial service. Send white chrysanthemums to third hokage one by one, and mourn for the departure of third hokage. The sky began to rain cats and dogs. Standing in the team, Lu Sheng felt that he looked so different at the moment. There was no other people's sadness and pain on his face, nor did he shed tears silently, and even though his face was expressionless on the surface, he was actually feeling sad in his heart. He didn't have such emotions at all. Advertisement. Lu Sheng didn't know why he became like this. Obviously seeing the puppy die in front of him in his previous life, he would feel a trace of sadness in his heart. After coming to this world and being replaced by Hawkeye in the spiritual world, after experiencing the feeling of killing for the first time, he seems to have started to change. After killing the ghost brother, his mood didn't fluctuate at all, but he felt very excited. He is merciless in the face of not beheading again, and he is not at all pitiful about Bai's life experience. In the knockout round of the Chinin exam, he was not afraid of what others would think of him, so he killed the red copper armor directly. But at that time, Lu Sheng still had a little restraint. It wasn't until two days ago that Lu Sheng completely liberated himself without any restraint. The picture of beheading 66 people still played back in Lu Sheng's mind from time to time. The scene of the stumped limbs and broken arms did not make him feel sick, but instead made his emotions excited and his blood boil. So far, Lu Sheng has been a little obsessed with the state of the day. Lu Sheng knew that he had a mental problem. He embarked on the path of a murderer, and his emotions were gradually affected by hostility. Hostility will allow him to enter an unprecedented excellent state, the sound of breathing of all things, even enhanced by this state. But hostility can also easily lead people to go to extremes. Advertisement. If Lu Sheng is controlled by hostility, he will easily develop homicide addiction and become a murderer who cannot control his emotions. It doesn't feel that big now, but when Lu Sheng kills more people and his murderous intentions become stronger, he will suffer from irritability, such as swearing at every turn, or even fighting because of a provocative look from others. In this ninja world, they might kill people directly. Since this is my way of swordsmanship, 
Then I will go on without fear. Lu Shang clenched his hands slightly and said to himself. These possibilities did not scare him. Lu Shang's state of mind has become as solid as a rock. Now that the disadvantages are found, it is enough to think of the solution in advance. After the memorial service, Lu Shang took a deep breath and returned home with Hineda. As soon as he walked into the house, Hineda suddenly asked worriedly, Mr. Lu Shang, are you okay? Lu Shang pinched Hineda's nose and said with a smile, what can I do? For some reason, I feel that Mr. Lu Shang's emotions are so unstable. Hineda didn't let go of this, and gently cared, if there is anything, please don't hide it from me, Mr. Lu Shang, can we bear it together? Lu Shang put his arms around Hineda and said with a gentle smile, don't worry, I'll be fine. Even for Hineda, Lu Shang would never allow himself to be controlled by hostility. P.S. There is another chapter in the early morning. Advertisement. Chapter 52 Returning Home in the Morning Mist. Advertisement. Early the next morning. This morning, the weather is a rare foggy day. Hey, big brother, teach me how to train. Hineda came early as usual, but this time there was an extra follower beside her. At the age of seven, she is only 1.32 meters tall and has just reached the position of Lu Sheng's stomach. Following Hineda to the gymnasium, she immediately leaned in front of Lu Sheng, her pure white eyes seemed to be shining brightly, and she said without concealing her admiration, I also want to become as powerful as my sister. Watching the battle between Hineda and Uzumaki Naruto, Hanabi of course realized that he was no match for Hineda at all. After seeing Lu Sheng's strength, she learned the reason why her sister's strength became stronger through insinuating in the past two days. Woke up early today and pestered Hineda to follow. In addition to wanting to meet my idol, I also want to become as strong as my sister. Lu Sheng, who had just exited the Saber Zen state, looked at Hanabi, who was a little girl in front of him, and couldn't help turning his eyes to Hineda, who looked helpless behind Hanabi. Looking at Lu Sheng with a surprised expression, Hineda apologized softly, Mr. Lu Sheng, I'm sorry. Hanabi has been following you all this time, so I disturbed you. Our relationship doesn't need an apology. Lu Sheng shook his head slightly, put his hand on the head of Hanabi who was kneeling in front of him, stroked her soft long hair, and asked knowingly with a smile, Your name is Hanabi, right? Hmm. Hanabi nodded again and again, looking at Lu Sheng expectantly, Can I call you Lu Sheng big brother? Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and said with a smile, Of course? If you have time in the future, come with your sister. Hanabi's eyes sparkled, and he said excitedly, Is it really possible? Lu Sheng nodded again, pulled Hanabi to stand up, looked down at her beautiful eyes, and asked, You want me to train you to become as good as Hineda, right? Advertisement. Yeah. Hanabi nodded repeatedly, his movements were very similar to those of Hineda when he was a child, and Lu Sheng vaguely saw the shadow of Hineda when he was a child. His smile couldn't help but gradually narrowed, his face was serious, and he asked again, Have you made up your mind? I don't like children who give up halfway. Gilu. Looking into Lu Sheng's red eyes, Hanabi somehow felt a burst of pressure, subconsciously swallowed a mouthful of saliva, nodded nervously, and said in an unexpectedly firm tone, Well, I want to become as strong as my sister. Ah. Lu Sheng smiled suddenly, looked at Hineda and said, Hineda, she is much better than you. Hineda didn't feel disappointed at being belittled by the person she admired. Instead, she showed an approving smile and said, Well, my father has always entrusted her with the important responsibilities of the clan. Since that's the case, then you can't be perfunctory. Lu Sheng nodded, stretched out his hand and rubbed Hanabi's head, and suggested, first start with climbing trees and treading water, and then start to carry weights, what do you think? Um. Hineda nodded, very much in agreement. Hanabi looked at the two suspiciously, not knowing why. Then, let's go. Lu Sheng picked up the Tadeo on the sword stand and walked towards the door. Hineda took Hanabi and followed behind. After the three of them walked out of the house, they walked towards the forest outside the village. Hanabi took Hineda's hand, raised his head and asked doubtfully, Sister, where are we going? Hineda showed a trace of reminiscence on his face, and said softly, A very familiar place, it used to be the place where Mr. Lu Sheng and I practiced. That's what Hineda was talking about the little valley off the beaten track. It can be said that it is the place where I and Lu Shenzhen really made a fate. If I didn't muster up the courage to come out from behind the tree, 
I might not dare to express my heart to Lu Shenzhen until now. Hearing Hinata's nostalgic voice, Lu Sheng, who was walking in front, raised the corners of his mouth slightly. There is indeed a place that the two of them will never forget. Advertisement. So, so romantic. Hanabi's eyes sparkled again, she didn't understand anything. Hanabi's exclamation made Hinata's face turn red slightly. At this time, Lu Sheng's footsteps suddenly stopped. The two girls almost bumped into him. Looking at Lu Sheng with a serious face, Hinata asked suspiciously, Mr. Lu Sheng, what's wrong? Ah, uh, I have some small things to deal with. Lu Sheng didn't even look at Hinata, but looked in one direction and said softly, Hinata, take Hanabi there first, and I'll follow later. Blind eyes, open. The meridians in the corners of Hinata's eyes bulged slightly, and then returned to normal, and gently instructed, Well, Mr. Lu Sheng, you have to be careful. Lu Sheng nodded, and the figure disappeared. The woods and the banks of the river. Four figures stood facing each other. It really is you, Uchiha Itake. Looking at the two people who took off the bamboo hats, Asuma said in a deep voice, You who killed your compatriots dare to return here. How brave you are. Are you an acquaintance of Mr. Itake? Pashigakiki same grinned playfully and said, Then, let me introduce myself. Kurunuyui looked at Hashigakiki same with a shark face and dead fish eyes, and said, Hashigakiki same, a former Kiragakur ninja, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, is wanted by the Kingdom of Water for the suspicion of killing Daimyo and engaging in national sabotage work. S rank rebellion. Hey, it seems that you know. Hashigakiki same smiled and said, Then, please give me your advice in the future. Asuma took out the weapon Fiyin and said with a smile, If there is no future, I will kill you now. Mr. Asuma, Ms. Hong, long time no see. Achiha Itake greeted softly, and said calmly, Please leave me alone, I don't want to kill you all. Ha, that's not like your speaking style. Asuma said sarcastically, biting a cigarette. Advertisement. The atmosphere suddenly became solemn. The eyes of the four people met each other. Hawoosh. A wind whirls up the fallen leaves from the roadside. Hashigakiki same swung same hata and smashed towards Yuhi Hong in front of him. Clang. There was the sound of metal clashing, and same hata was blocked by Asuma's swallow. Kurane Yui jumped back, looking at Uchiha Itake, her hands began to seal. The figure distorted and disappeared, as if entering a different space. A large tree emerged from behind, with tentacle-like branches spreading from beneath, binding Uchiha Itake. Uchiha Itake, who was tied up, raised his eyes calmly, and leaned out from the big tree above his head, holding Kunao's Yuhi Hong and Sanguya's Sherry Nan, and the invisible pupil power burst out. Kurane Yui's vision suddenly changed, her body was bound to the tree by the branches, and Uchiha Itake holding a Kunao stood in front of her. Yui Hong's face was startled, the illusion bounces back. Uchiha Itake held Kunao and was about to stab Yuhi Hong when his face suddenly changed. Ugh! A silvery white knife light came towards him. Like a shooting star, it flew past Uchiha Itake's waist. Uchiha Itake looked down at the body that had been divided into two, then turned his head to look at the silver-haired boy who appeared beside him, and said softly, What a fast knife! Boom! The body that had been severed in two turned into a puff of smoke and dissipated. Yu Hai Hong's beautiful eyes widened, Shadow clone? So fast, when did you get the seal? Advertisement Chapter 52 Returning Home in the Morning Mist Advertisement Early the next morning This morning, the weather is a rare foggy day. Hey, big brother, teach me how to train. Hinata came early as usual, but this time there was an extra follower beside her. At the age of 7, she is only 1.32 meters tall and has just reached the position of Lu Sheng's stomach. Following Hinata to the gymnasium, she immediately leaned in front of Lu Sheng. Her pure white eyes seemed to be shining brightly, and she said without concealing her admiration, I also want to become as powerful as my sister. Watching the battle between Hinata and Uzumaki Naruto, Hanabi of course realized that he was no match for Hinata at all. After seeing Lu Sheng's strength, she learned the reason why her sister's strength became stronger through insinuating in the past two days. Woke up early today and pestered Hinata to follow. In addition to wanting to meet my idol, I also want to become as strong as my sister. Lu Sheng, who had just exited the Saber Zen state, looked at Hanabi, who was a little girl in front of him, and couldn't help turning his eyes to Hinata, who looked helpless behind Hanabi. Looking at Lu Sheng with a surprised expression, 
Hineda apologized softly, Mr. Lu Sheng, I'm sorry. Hanabi has been following you all this time, so I disturbed you. Our relationship doesn't need an apology. Lu Sheng shook his head slightly, put his hand on the head of Hanabi who was kneeling in front of him, stroked her soft long hair, and asked knowingly with a smile, Your name is Hanabi, right? Hmm. Hanabi nodded again and again, looking at Lu Sheng expectantly, Can I call you Lu Sheng big brother? Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and said with a smile, Of course, if you have time in the future, come with your sister. Hanabi's eyes sparkled, and he said excitedly, Is it really possible? Lu Sheng nodded again, pulled Hanabi to stand up, looked down at her beautiful eyes, and asked, You want me to train you to become as good as Hinata, right? Advertisement. Yeah. Hanabi nodded repeatedly, his movements were very similar to those of Hinata when he was a child, and Lu Sheng vaguely saw the shadow of Hinata when he was a child. His smile couldn't help but gradually narrowed, his face was serious, and he asked again, Have you made up your mind? I don't like children who give up halfway. Gilu. Looking into Lu Sheng's red eyes, Hanabi somehow felt a burst of pressure, subconsciously swallowed a mouthful of saliva, nodded nervously, and said in an unexpectedly firm tone, Well, I want to become as strong as my sister. Ah. Lu Sheng smiled suddenly, looked at Hinata and said, Hinata, she is much better than you. Hinata didn't feel disappointed at being belittled by the person she admired. Instead, she showed an approving smile and said, Well, my father has always entrusted her with the important responsibilities of the clan. Since that's the case, then you can't be perfunctory. Lu Sheng nodded, stretched out his hand and rubbed Hanabi's head, and suggested, first start with climbing trees and treading water, and then start to carry weights, what do you think? Um. Hinata nodded, very much in agreement. Hanabi looked at the two suspiciously, not knowing why. Then, let's go. Lu Sheng picked up the Tadeo on the sword stand and walked towards the door. Hinata took Hanabi and followed behind. After the three of them walked out of the house, they walked towards the forest outside the village. Hanabi took Hinata's hand, raised his head and asked doubtfully, Sister, where are we going? Hinata showed a trace of reminiscence on his face, and said softly, A very familiar place, it used to be the place where Mr. Lu Sheng and I practiced. That's what Hinata was talking about the little valley off the beaten track. It can be said that it is the place where I and Lu Shenzhen really made a fate. If I didn't muster up the courage to come out from behind the tree, I might not dare to express my heart to Lu Shenzhen until now. Hearing Hinata's nostalgic voice, Lu Sheng, who was walking in front, raised the corners of his mouth slightly. There is indeed a place that the two of them will never forget. Advertisement. So, so romantic. Hanabi's eyes sparkled again, she didn't understand anything. Hanabi's exclamation made Hinata's face turn red slightly. At this time, Lu Sheng's footsteps suddenly stopped. The two girls almost bumped into him. Looking at Lu Sheng with a serious face, Hinata asked suspiciously, Mr. Lu Sheng, what's wrong? Ah, uh, I have some small things to deal with. Lu Sheng didn't even look at Hinata, but looked in one direction and said softly, Hinata, take Hanabi there first, and I'll follow later. Blind eyes, open. The meridians in the corners of Hinata's eyes bulged slightly, and then returned to normal, and gently instructed, Well, Mr. Lu Sheng, you have to be careful. Lu Sheng nodded, and the figure disappeared. The woods and the banks of the river. Four figures stood facing each other. It really is you, Uchiha Itake. Looking at the two people who took off the bamboo hats, Asuma said in a deep voice, You who killed your compatriots dare to return here. How brave you are. Are you an acquaintance of Mr. Itake? Hashigakiki same grinned playfully and said, Then, let me introduce myself. Kurunuyui looked at Hashigakiki same with a shark face and dead fish eyes, and said, Hashigakiki same, a former Kiragakur ninja, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, is wanted by the Kingdom of Water for the suspicion of killing Daimyo and engaging in national sabotage work. S rank rebellion. Hey, it seems that you know. Hashigakiki same smiled and said, then, please give me your advice in the future. Asuma took out the weapon Fiyin and said with a smile, If there is no future, I will kill you now. Mr. Asuma, Miss Hong, long time no see. Achiha Itake greeted softly, and said calmly, Please leave me alone, I don't want to kill you all. Heh, that's not like your speaking style. Asuma said sarcastically, biting a cigarette. Advertisement. The atmosphere suddenly became solemn. 
The eyes of the four people met each other. Hawoosh. A wind whirls up the fallen leaves from the roadside. Hashigakiki same swung same hata and smashed towards Yuhi Hong in front of him. Clang. There was the sound of metal clashing, and same hata was blocked by Asuma's swallow. Kurane Yui jumped back, looking at Uchiha Itaki, her hands began to seal. The figure distorted and disappeared, as if entering a different space. A large tree emerged from behind, with tentacle-like branches spreading from beneath, binding Uchiha Itaki. Uchiha Itaki, who was tied up, raised his eyes calmly, and leaned out from the big tree above his head, holding Kunao's Yuhi Hong and Sanguya's Sherry Nan, and the invisible pupil power burst out. Kurane Yui's vision suddenly changed, her body was bound to the tree by the branches, and Uchiha Itaki holding a Kunao stood in front of her. Yui Hong's face was startled, the illusion bounces back. Uchiha Itaki held Kunao and was about to stab Yuhi Hong when his face suddenly changed. Ugh! A silvery white knife light came towards him. Like a shooting star, it flew past Uchiha Itaka's waist. Uchiha Itaka looked down at the body that had been divided into two, then turned his head to look at the silver-haired boy who appeared beside him, and said softly, What a fast knife! Boom! The body that had been severed in two turned into a puff of smoke and dissipated. Yu Hai Hong's beautiful eyes widened, Shadow clone? So fast, when did you get the seal? Advertisement. Chapter 53 The Guardian Hiding in the Darkness Advertisement Young man, what's your name? After the shadow clone disappeared, the figure of Uchiha Itake appeared behind Lu Sheng, and a piece of Kunao protruded from the cuff of the red cloud black robe, piercing Lu Sheng's back, and asked softly. Yuhi Hong next to her quickly reminded, Izuk, be careful behind you. Whoosh. Lu Sheng turned around and swung the knife at Uchiha Itake, not afraid of hurting himself at all. This desperate behavior made Uchiha Itaka subconsciously trance. Seeing the attacking soldiers and the boy with his eyes closed, Uchiha Itaka chose to give up the attack and jumped back. The flying figure put two fingers in front of the mouth, Uchiha Itaka said, fire style great fireball technique. A ray of flame swelled wildly and turned into a huge fireball in an instant, flying towards Lu Shang. I can't see the seal at all. Yui Hong's face was extremely ugly. With his eyes closed, Lu Sheng rushed towards the fireball while holding a Tadeo, and said, Teacher Hong, you go and help that Jonin, he doesn't seem to be the opponent of that shark face. Advertisement. Yu Hai Hong, who was reminded by Lu Sheng, immediately reacted, and then said, Yuzuk, be careful. Your opponent is the genius who became the captain of the Umbu branch at the age of 13. He personally eliminated the murderer of the Uchiha clan, the S-class traitor Uchiha Itaki. As if Lu Sheng didn't hear it, he swung his knife to cut off the heat rushing in front of him, and the great fireball, which claimed not to kill fire style, was split into two. The figure passed through the middle of the fireballs on both sides, and Lu Sheng rushed in front of Uchiha Itake. Looking at Lu Sheng rushing forward with his eyes closed, Uchiha Itake did not marvel at his amazing perception, but said intriguingly, I didn't expect you to know Uchiha's reputation even at your age. Lu Sheng admitted, Illusion is the most disgusting kind of ninja in this world. Especially you, I dare not underestimate it at all. Ordinary illusions, Lu Sheng can ignore them as long as he closes his eyes. Even if he is hit by an illusion, Observation Haki can still capture the opponent's real body. But only the two illusions of Tsukuyomi and distinguished heavenly gods, Lu Sheng has no ability to resist at all. Uchiha Itaki in front of him has one of them, and Uchiha Shisui's distinguished heavenly gods is also on him. Lu Sheng had closed his eyes from the moment he attacked him. After speaking, Lu Sheng raised his sword and slashed towards Uchiha Itaki. Your sword skills are astonishing, perfectly interpreting fast, ruthless and accurate. Uchiha Itaki dodged sideways calmly, and then kicked Lu Sheng on the left side of the head, but Uchiha's Sherry Nan whether it is ninja even phantoms can see through. In front of my eyes, your swing speed is too slow. With his left hand wrapped around armament Haki, blocking Uchiha Itaka's kick, Lu Sheng responded with a side kick. Uchiha Itaka blocked with both hands, and with the help of Lu Sheng's kick, the figure jumped back. Advertisement. And Lu Sheng had already retracted the knife into its sheath, and assumed the posture of drawing the knife, then, try to avoid this knife. Arm and draw the sword. A strong crisis locked Uchiha Itaki, and a chill hit his heart. I saw Lu Sheng swung out suddenly, 
mixed with the jet black silver white sword light, transformed into a dark red sword energy 5 or 6 meters high, and roared towards Uchiha Itaki. The distance of a few meters is approaching in an instant. Seeing Slash for the first time, even Uchiha Itaki, who has always been calm, changed his face drastically. Boom! The sword energy drowned Uchiha Itaki, and the familiar sound of cracking smoke sounded again. When the sword Chi left a gully of more than 10 meters on the ground, a piece of wood that broke in two fell to the ground. The figure of Uchiha Itaki was already standing on the top of a tree, looking down at Lu Shang. Zizi. At this time, the ear-piercing sound of chirping birds reached everyone's ears. A figure appeared behind Uchiha Itaki, with a right hand shining with lightning, stabbing towards Uchiha Itaki's heart. Uchiha Itaki turned and glanced at Kakashi, his expression still flat. Advertisement. But Kakashi's face changed, he stopped the stabbing rakery, stepped on the treetop and jumped towards the big tree on the right. Boom. And when he turned his back to Uchiha Itaki, a strong air current blasted him out like a hurricane, and he crashed into a tree. After using the body replacement technique, immediately use the shadow clone technique. Is your purpose to lure Kakashi Jonin? Lu Shang turned his head to face the river below, looking through the eyelids, looking at Hashigakiki same Uchiha Itaki, detonate shadow clone, you dare to bear this kind of pain, what a terrible man. Uchiha Itaki looked at Lu Shang again, and asked again, young man, what's your name? My name is Lu Sheng Yuzuk, and I'm a genin of the same class as your brother, Lu Sheng introduced himself while holding a Tadeo. Hearing Lu Sheng say Uchiha Suzuki's name, Uchiha Itaka's face didn't fluctuate at all, but his emotional changes were sensed by Lu Sheng's observation hacky. Hashigakiki same grinned, the kid who can swing that kind of slash is actually a genin? The eyes of Kanaha's senior management are too blind, right? Lu Sheng pointed at Hashigakiki same with a knife and also grinned, I heard the breathing of your knife. Hey, you're right, my knife is alive. Hashigakiki same nodded while carrying same hata with spikes on his shoulders, and commented in amazement, Mr. Itaki, Kanaha is indeed the cradle of genius, not only are people like you born, even in peacetime, such geniuses can be born, I seem to see a new generation of Mu Ya Bai Ya. Uchiha Itaki said flatly, the movement just now should have attracted other people to come over soon. The boy's perception restrained my eyes. Unless I use that trick, it will be difficult to kill with one blow, but there is no need here waste time. He same, let's go. Finding an excuse for himself, Uchiha Itaki and Hashigaki he same disappeared in an instant. Feeling their aura go away, Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes, and sighed slightly in his heart, a guardian who hides in the dark? This is the first time I have met an enemy with such a gentle emotion. Advertisement. Chapter 53 The Guardian Hiding in the Darkness Advertisement Young man, what's your name? After the shadow clone disappeared, the figure of Uchiha Itaki appeared behind Lu Sheng, and a piece of kunao protruded from the cuff of the red cloud black robe, piercing Lu Sheng's back, and asked softly. Yuhi Hong next to her quickly reminded, Yizuk, be careful behind you. Whoosh. Lu Sheng turned around and swung the knife at Uchiha Itaki, not afraid of hurting himself at all. This desperate behavior made Uchiha Itaka subconsciously trance. Seeing the attacking soldiers and the boy with his eyes closed, Uchiha Itaka chose to give up the attack and jumped back. The flying figure put two fingers in front of the mouth, Uchiha Itaka said, fire style great fireball technique. A ray of flame swelled wildly and turned into a huge fireball in an instant, flying towards Lu Shang. I can't see the seal at all. Yui Hong's face was extremely ugly. With his eyes closed, Lu Sheng rushed towards the fireball while holding a Tadeo, and said, Teacher Hong, you go and help that Jonin, he doesn't seem to be the opponent of that shark face. Advertisement. Yu Hai Hong, who was reminded by Lu Sheng, immediately reacted, and then said, Yizuk, be careful. Your opponent is the genius who became the captain of the Umbu branch at the age of 13. He personally eliminated the murderer of the Uchiha clan, the S-class traitor Uchiha Itaki. As if Lu Sheng didn't hear it, he swung his knife to cut off the heat rushing in front of him, and the great fireball, which claimed not to kill fire style, was split into two. The figure passed through the middle of the fireballs on both sides, and Lu Sheng rushed in front of Uchiha Itake. Looking at Lu Sheng rushing forward with his eyes closed, Uchiha Itake did not marvel at his amazing perception, but said intriguingly, 
I didn't expect you to know Uchiha's reputation even at your age. Lu Sheng admitted, Illusion is the most disgusting kind of ninja in this world. Especially you, I dare not underestimate it at all. Ordinary illusions, Lu Sheng can ignore them as long as he closes his eyes. Even if he is hit by an illusion, Observation Haki can still capture the opponent's real body. But only the two illusions of Tsukuyomi and distinguished heavenly gods, Lu Sheng has no ability to resist at all. Uchiha Itaki in front of him has one of them, and Uchiha Shisui's distinguished heavenly gods is also on him. Lu Sheng had closed his eyes from the moment he attacked him. After speaking, Lu Sheng raised his sword and slashed towards Uchiha Itaki. Your sword skills are astonishing, perfectly interpreting fast, ruthless and accurate. Uchiha Itaki dodged sideways calmly, and then kicked Lu Sheng on the left side of the head, but Uchiha's Sherry non, whether it is ninja even phantoms can see through. In front of my eyes, your swing speed is too slow. With his left hand wrapped around armament Haki, blocking Uchiha Itaka's kick, Lu Sheng responded with a side kick. Uchiha Itaka blocked with both hands, and with the help of Lu Sheng's kick, the figure jumped back. Advertisement. And Lu Sheng had already retracted the knife into its sheath, and assumed the posture of drawing the knife, then, try to avoid this knife. Arm and draw the sword. A strong crisis locked Uchiha Itaki, and a chill hit his heart. I saw Lu Sheng swung out suddenly, mixed with the jet black silver white sword light, transformed into a dark red sword energy 5 or 6 meters high, and roared towards Uchiha Itaki. The distance of a few meters is approaching in an instant. Seeing Slash for the first time, even Uchiha Itaki, who has always been calm, changed his face drastically. Boom! The sword energy drowned Uchiha Itaki and the familiar sound of cracking smoke sounded again. When the sword chi left a gully of more than 10 meters on the ground, a piece of wood that broke in two fell to the ground. The figure of Uchiha Itaka was already standing on the top of a tree, looking down at Lu Sheng. Zizi. At this time, the ear-piercing sound of chirping birds reached everyone's ears. A figure appeared behind Uchiha Itaka, with a right hand shining with lightning, stabbing towards Uchiha Itaka's heart. Uchiha Itaka turned and glanced at Kakashi, his expression still flat. Advertisement. But Kakashi's face changed, he stopped the stabbing rakery, stepped on the treetop and jumped towards the big tree on the right. Boom. And when he turned his back to Uchiha Itaka, a strong air current blasted him out like a hurricane, and he crashed into a tree. After using the body replacement technique, immediately use the shadow clone technique. Is your purpose to lure Kakashi Jonin? Lu Sheng turned his head to face the river below, looking through the eyelids, looking at Hashigakiki same Uchiha Itaki, detonate shadow clone, you dare to bear this kind of pain, what a terrible man. Uchiha Itaki looked at Lu Sheng again, and asked again, young man, what's your name? My name is Lu Sheng Yuzuk, and I'm a genin of the same class as your brother, Lu Sheng introduced himself while holding a Tadeo. Hearing Lu Sheng say Uchiha Suzuki's name, Uchiha Itaka's face didn't fluctuate at all, but his emotional changes were sensed by Lu Sheng's observation Haki. Hashigakiki same grinned, the kid who can swing that kind of slash is actually a genin? The eyes of Kanaha's senior management are too blind, right? Lu Sheng pointed at Hashigakiki same with a knife, and also grinned, I heard the breathing of your knife. Hey, you're right, my knife is alive. Hashigakiki same nodded while carrying same hata with spikes on his shoulders, and commented in amazement, Mr. Itaki, Kanaha is indeed the cradle of genius, not only are people like you born, even in peacetime, such geniuses can be born, I seem to see a new generation of Mu Ya Bai Ya. Uchiha Itaka said flatly, the movement just now should have attracted other people to come over soon. The boy's perception restrained my eyes. Unless I use that trick, it will be difficult to kill with one blow, but there is no need here waste time. He same, let's go. Finding an excuse for himself, Uchiha Itaki and Hashigakiki same disappeared in an instant. Feeling their aura go away, Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes, and sighed slightly in his heart, a guardian who hides in the dark? This is the first time I have met an enemy with such a gentle emotion. Advertisement. Chapter 54 Hanabi is a genius. Advertisement. It was the first time Lu Sheng played against cage level, and Lu Sheng felt deeply. Cage level strength is not comparable to that of elite Jonin. From Tao to Zebu Ledin Zhan's body, Lu Sheng saw many flaws. Uchiha Itaki, on the other hand, has no flaws at all. 
Although the two types are different, Lu Shang finally felt the pressure against Sherry Nan for the first time. Is Lu Shang slow in swinging his knife? Not slow at all, but Uchiha Itaka still saw through the movement and easily dodged. Facing Lu Shang's slash, Uchiha Itaki, who had never seen such sword skills, only used the simplest D-level body replacement technique to escape his own sword energy. Eyesight, strength, psychological quality. Uchiha Itaki is all first class and powerful, and in the match, he also let Lu Shang down because of Lu Shang's age and status. The strength of the kick was average, and he was kicked by Lu Shang on purpose. Does not have the ability to use the Mangekyo Sharinan. Although Lu Shang didn't try his best and was confident that he would not lose to the normal Uchiha Itaki, but in a life and death battle, the probability of Lu Shang's death is extremely high. Because Uchiha Itaka's Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi are both a great threat to Lu Shang. Advertisement. And his Suzano, Ten Fist Sword and Yada Mirror are also bugs. Not stepping into the realm of a great swordsman, Lu Shang felt that his slashes would most likely be blocked by Yada Mirror, and slightly hit by one of the three abilities of Tsukuyomi, Amaterasu, and Shikwinjian, all of which would be either dead or maimed. And Izanagi and Izanami. Uchiha Madara, Uchiha Obito, Uchiha Itaki. The three incomprehensible figures of the Uchiha family really deserve their reputation. Lu Shang sighed slightly in his heart, feeling a little heavy. It can't go on like this? I didn't notice it when I played against Elite Jonin, but when I played against Cage Level who had more cards, my flaws in sword skills were exposed. It is necessary to let the sound of breathing of all things enter the level of the great swordsman as soon as possible, and upgrade the two-color haki. Kakashi, are you all right? While Lu Shang was meditating, Yuhi Hong and Asuma had already gone to care about the fallen Kakashi. Ah, I'm fine, I didn't expect Uchiha Itaka's consciousness to be so terrifying. Kakashi stood up, although his figure was a bit embarrassed, but there was no serious problem. Seeing the three people talking, Lu Shang came over and said hello to Shira Hong, Teacher Hong, I'm leaving first. Um, Kurane Yui nodded, and said with a gratified smile, Yuzuk, I'm lucky to have you this time. It's okay, I just met by chance. Lu Shang shook his head, then nodded to Kakashi and Asuma, then turned and left. Looking at his back, Kakashi sighed, it's really excellent. His strength is not weaker than ours. Asuma commented. Advertisement. Kurane Yui nodded in agreement, and said, on the second day after graduation, he easily defeated me in the survival exercise, and then killed Mist Shinobi unscathed in a sea level mission. The ghost man, one of the seven people, will never be beheaded again. At the venue of the Chinin exam, he swung a slash with the power of an S-rank ninjutsu, he has initially possessed the power of a shadow. Lu Sheng didn't know what the three of them thought of him, so he left and came to the small valley he was once familiar with. In the afternoon, the sun hangs high in the sky. The golden light fell down, shining on two figures standing on the water, one tall and one short. Looking at Hanabi, who has mastered the skills of climbing trees and treading water in just one morning, Lu Sheng couldn't help sighing, Hineda, you Hayaga clan, you really have a unique advantage in controlling chakra. This was also the case when I was a child. It took Lu Sheng a week to learn to climb trees with his feet, and half a month to master the skills of treading water, but it took Hineda only two days. Hanabi even took less than half a day. After hearing Lu Sheng's words, Hineda on the shore covered her lips and smiled. Hanabi, who was drenched and drenched, looked at Lu Sheng in front of him, and asked expectantly, Hey, Lu Sheng big brother, have I succeeded? Lu Sheng nodded, and praised without hesitation, Ah, the first stage, you have completed it perfectly. Great. Hanabi's cute little face suddenly burst into a bright smile. Immediately, Hanabi looked at Lu Sheng with fiery eyes, Lu Sheng big brother, what is the second stage of training? Lu Sheng reached out to remove a bunch of bangs sticking to Hanabi's nose, rubbed her head, and said with a smile, Don't worry, you have just mastered the skill of treading water, we will start the second stage after you are fully familiar with it. Aha! Uh -huh. Advertisement. Hanabi nodded like a chick pecking rice, and did not resist the idol's suggestion at all. The anxious heart cooled down, Hanabi's face became serious, and he took a step forward cautiously. Bare, bare feet. Stepping on the clear water, splashed a small circle of ripples. Hanabi was fascinated by the cold feeling. Although born in the Hayaga clan, Hayaga Hayashi taught her nothing but gentle fist and acupuncture techniques. 
Even the ninja school has not taught students the skills of climbing trees and treading water for six years. It was the first time I experienced the feeling of walking on water, and Hanabi fell in love with it immediately. While Hanabi was concentrating on treading water, Lu Shang walked ashore. Looking at Hanabi who turned his back on them, Lu Shang raised the corners of his mouth slightly, revealing a smile, the implication made Hinata blush slightly. Stepping backwards, Hinata retreated under a tree. She, who was hit by the wall, raised her head, and whispered with misty eyes, Lu, Mr. Lu Shang, is it okay not to be here, Hanabi is still here. Well, before the whole sentence was finished, Hinata's red lips were sealed. After Hanabi walked on the water for a while, he was able to walk and run. When she was able to jump on the water, she turned around with a smile on her face, and when she wanted to show off to Lu Shang, she was so startled by the scene in front of her that she subconsciously covered her lips with one hand and eyes with the other. Immediately, he opened a gap between his fingers, and with a shy gaze, he secretly looked at the two ecstasy under the tree. His eyes gradually blurred, and his body temperature began to rise. Chakra, which had been perfectly mastered, seemed to be disturbed by something. Plop. The sound of heavy objects falling into the water woke up the two people on the shore. Advertisement. Chapter 54 Hanabi is a genius. Advertisement. It was the first time Lu Shang played against cage level, and Lu Shang felt deeply. Cage level strength is not comparable to that of elite Jonin. From Tao to Zebu in Zhan's body, Lu Shang saw many flaws. Uchiha Itaki, on the other hand, has no flaws at all. Although the two types are different, Lu Shang finally felt the pressure against Sherry Nan for the first time. Is Lu Shang slow in swinging his knife? Not slow at all, but Uchiha Itaka still saw through the movement and easily dodged. Facing Lu Shang slash, Uchiha Itaki, who had never seen such sword skills, only used the simplest D-level body replacement technique to escape his own sword energy. Eyesight, strength, psychological quality. Uchiha Itaki is all first class and powerful, and in the match, he also let Lu Shang down because of Lu Shang's age and status. The strength of the kick was average, and he was kicked by Lu Shang on purpose. Does not have the ability to use the Mangekyo Sharinan. Although Lu Shang didn't try his best and was confident that he would not lose to the normal Uchiha Itake, but in a life and death battle, the probability of Lu Shang's death is extremely high. Because Uchiha Itake's Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi are both a great threat to Lu Shang. Advertisement. And his Suzano. Ten Fist Sword and Yada Mirror are also bugs. Not stepping into the realm of a great swordsman, Lu Sheng felt that his slashes would most likely be blocked by Yada Mirror, and slightly hit by one of the three abilities of Tsukuyomi, Amaterasu, and Shikwenjian, all of which would be either dead or maimed. And Izanagi and Izanami. Achiha Madara, Achiha Obito, Achiha Itaki. The three incomprehensible figures of the Achiha family really deserve their reputation. Lu Shang sighed slightly in his heart, feeling a little heavy. It can't go on like this. I didn't notice it when I played against Elite Jonin, but when I played against Cage Level who had more cards, my flaws in sword skills were exposed. It is necessary to let the sound of breathing of all things enter the level of the great swordsman as soon as possible, and upgrade the two-color haki. Kakashi, are you alright? While Lu Shang was meditating, Yuhi Hong and Asuma had already gone to care about the fallen Kakashi. Ah, uh, I'm fine, I didn't expect Uchiha Itaka's consciousness to be so terrifying. Kakashi stood up, although his figure was a bit embarrassed, but there was no serious problem. Seeing the three people talking, Lu Sheng came over and said hello to Shira Hong, Teacher Hong, I'm leaving first. Um, Kurane Yui nodded, and said with a gratified smile, Yuzuk, I'm lucky to have you this time. It's okay, I just met by chance. Lu Sheng shook his head then nodded to Kakashi and Asuma, then turned and left. Looking at his back, Kakashi sighed, it's really excellent. His strength is not weaker than ours. Asuma commented. Advertisement. Kurane Yui nodded in agreement, and said, on the second day after graduation, he easily defeated me in the survival exercise, and then killed Mist Shinobi unscathed in a sea level mission. The ghost man, one of the seven people, will never be beheaded again. At the venue of the Chinin exam, he swung a slash with the power of an S-ranked ninjutsu, he has initially possessed the power of a shadow. Lu Sheng didn't know what the three of them thought of him, so he left and came to the small valley he was once familiar with. In the afternoon, the sun hangs high in the sky. The golden light fell down, 
shining on two figures standing on the water, one tall and one short. Looking at Hanabi, who has mastered the skills of climbing trees and treading water in just one morning, Lu Sheng couldn't help sighing, Hinata, you Hayaga clan, you really have a unique advantage in controlling chakra. This was also the case when I was a child. It took Lu Sheng a week to learn to climb trees with his feet, and half a month to master the skills of treading water, but it took Hinata only two days. Hanabi even took less than half a day. After hearing Lu Sheng's words, Hinata on the shore covered her lips and smiled. Hanabi, who was drenched and drenched, looked at Lu Sheng in front of him, and asked expectantly, Hey, Lu Sheng big brother, have I succeeded? Lu Sheng nodded, and praised without hesitation, Ah, the first stage, you have completed it perfectly. Great. Hanabi's cute little face suddenly burst into a bright smile. Immediately, Hanabi looked at Lu Sheng with fiery eyes, Lu Sheng big brother, what is the second stage of training? Lu Sheng reached out to remove a bunch of bangs sticking to Hanabi's nose, rubbed her head, and said with a smile, Don't worry, you have just mastered the skill of treading water, we will start the second stage after you are fully familiar with it. Aha! Uh -huh. Advertisement. Hanabi nodded like a chick packing rice, and did not resist the idol's suggestion at all. The anxious heart cooled down, Hanabi's face became serious, and he took a step forward cautiously. Bare, bare feet. Stepping on the clear water, splashed a small circle of ripples. Hanabi was fascinated by the cold feeling. Although born in the Hayaga clan, Hayaga Hayashi taught her nothing but gentle fist and acupuncture techniques. Even the ninja school has not taught students the skills of climbing trees and treading water for six years. It was the first time I experienced the feeling of walking on water, and Hanabi fell in love with it immediately. While Hanabi was concentrating on treading water, Lu Sheng walked ashore. Looking at Hanabi who turned his back on them, Lu Sheng raised the corners of his mouth slightly, revealing a smile, the implication made Hinata blush slightly. Stepping backwards, Hinata retreated under a tree. She, who was hit by the wall, raised her head, and whispered with misty eyes, Lu, Mr. Lu Sheng, is it okay not to be here, Hanabi is still here. Well, before the whole sentence was finished, Hinata's red lips were sealed. After Hanabi walked on the water for a while, he was able to walk and run. When she was able to jump on the water, she turned around with a smile on her face, and when she wanted to show off to Lu Sheng, she was so startled by the scene in front of her that she subconsciously covered her lips with one hand and eyes with the other. Immediately, he opened a gap between his fingers, and with a shy gaze, he secretly looked at the two ecstasy under the tree. His eyes gradually blurred, and his body temperature began to rise. Chakra, which had been perfectly mastered, seemed to be disturbed by something. Plop. The sound of heavy objects falling into the water woke up the two people on the shore. Chapter 55 Succession Ceremony Fifth Hokage Advertisement Before I knew it, a month had passed. One month is enough to change a lot of things. After Kanaha's collapse plan, the national strength began to gradually recover, and the buildings damaged by the war were quickly restored to their original state under the concerted efforts of the villagers. On the street, the bustle, and bustle gradually resumed. However, the vigor of the village has not yet recovered, because Kanaha still lacks a pillar that can bring safety and guidance to the villagers. September 12th, morning. The atmosphere in the village today has fallen into unprecedented enthusiasm. Walking on the street, you can see everywhere, and the villagers have bright smiles on their faces. Customers and bosses in shops, women who buy vegetables in the market and people who are familiar with each other can hear such things as Princess Tsunade, Granddaughter of Shode, Master Tsunade, Legendary Ninjas from their mouths, and other words. Even the 8th class was separated by a month, and Shi Rihong specially summoned Lu Sheng and the other three a few days ago. So, Hinata brought Hinabi over early today. Mr. Lu Sheng, this dress is for you? Coming to the gym, Hinata handed Lu Sheng a white dress packed in a plastic bag. After receiving the clothes, Lu Sheng tore open the packaging bag, looked at the shirt with a red line on the back with a fire character on it, and smiled, thanks, Hinata. Lu Sheng big brother. Hanabi threw herself into Lu Sheng's arms, grabbed his clothes with both hands, looked up at him with a smile and said, the fire character was stabbed by my sister herself. She also told me that it will be winter soon I'm going to knit a scarf for Lu Sheng big brother. Hanabi. Advertisement. Hinata who was told by Hanabi face to face, her beautiful face suddenly turned red, 
and a rare mist radiated from her head. Lu Shang raised his hand and stroked Hanabi's long hair, looked at Hinata with a smile and said, Then please Hinata. Um. Hinata lowered her head and responded as thin as a mosquito. Picking up Hanabi with one hand, Lu Shang took the clothes and walked out of the gymnasium, asking casually, How much time is left until 5th Hokage's inauguration ceremony? There are still about two hours. Hinata followed behind, Kaido. Yes, today is the 5th Hokage succession ceremony. Shi Hai Hong convened the 8th class a few days ago to inform them of the news. This dress is the attire for the ceremony. Hinata and Hanabi are now also wearing white shirts with fire characters tattooed on the back. Bringing Hinata and Hanabi to the room, Lu Sheng took off his kimono and was about to take a shower in the bathroom. Lu Sheng big brother, do you want my sister to go in and rub your back for you? Hanabi covered her lips and said with a smirk, or I can too. Hanabi. Hinata was blushed again by Hanabi's words, and was about to catch Hanabi and teach her a lesson. However, Hanabi seemed to have expected it, and hid behind Lu Sheng in advance, sticking his head out and making a face at Hinata. Looking at Hanabi, who has a different personality from Hinata, who looks lively and cute, Lu Sheng squeezed her little face, and said with a smile, No, stay here with your sister, and we will start today's event after Hokage's inauguration ceremony is over. Train. Hmm. Hanabi squinted her eyes, enjoying Lu Sheng's movements. In the past month, Lu Sheng's strength has not changed much, but there is a little fan girl in his life. Advertisement. After learning the skills of climbing trees and treading water, Lu Sheng put Hanabi on the water and performed gentle fist to attack his acupuncture points. Every blow is full force, but it can't hurt even a single hair on him. Even his elder sister's 8 trigram 64 palms, an advanced palm technique in the family, could not make him take a step back. His powerful strength made Hanabi completely admire him. The relationship between the two became more and more intimate, from being an idol and a fan at first, to being as close as a big brother and a younger sister. Lu Sheng is also very fond of Hanabi. So before he knew it, Hanabi dared to say anything to him, and the content became more and more daring every time which made Hinata fainted from embarrassment several times by her words. The last time he fainted, Lu Sheng was just. Hinata. Closer to home. Lu Sheng went to the bathroom, took a cold shower, and then put on the white shirt and slacks brought by Hinata. Come out and sit on the dresser chair while Hinata and Hanabi dry his hair. Looking at the sisters in the mirror, one is holding a hair dryer, the other is holding a comb, Lu Sheng's smile is extremely gentle. Although there is no sense of belonging to this village, but after Lu Sheng learned that killing can gain experience, the reason why he didn't become rebellious is because of Hinata. If he hadn't known Hinata since he was a child, Lu Sheng knew that killing people can gain experience, he would have chosen to judge Kanaha, took the initiative to show his strength to the Akatsuki organization, and joined Uchiha Obito's camp. Enemy against the entire ninja world, during the Fourth Ninja World War, all ninjas were his enemies and all the experience he needed. Especially if you know your swordsmanship, you are a murderer. The chances of Lu Sheng being blackened are enormous. Advertisement. But with Hinata by his side, Lu Sheng's lonely heart is filled with Hinata, and now there is another lively and lovely Hanabi. He wants to protect this precious feeling. Even if the inheritance progress slows down, it doesn't matter. After drying his hair, Lu Sheng tied it into a single ponytail with a hair tie, and left the house with the Hinata sisters. Come to the wide venue below the Hokage building, which is already full of people. Regardless of men, women, or children, they all wore a white shirt with the word fire tattooed on the back. The arrival of the three of Lu Sheng attracted the attention of many people. A lot of eyes fell on Lu Sheng. Some are full of respect, some are full of passion, and some are full of awe. The owners of these gazes are all ninjas who have seen Lu Sheng's strength and ruthless killing. Unknowingly, Lu Sheng has become well known from an unknown genin. Not long after, a Baramashino and Yui Hong came over and said hello to Lu Sheng and Hinata. Kurane Yui is accompanied by Kakashi and Asuma. Initially possessing the power of shadow, Lu Sheng can no longer be viewed as genin. After more than an hour, on the roof of the Hokage building, a graceful figure appeared. Long blonde hair, a beautiful face that doesn't match her age at all, wearing a Hoyun robe and holding a Hokage hat. The fifth Hokage succession ceremony officially begins. Advertisement. Chapter 56 Body Flicker Technique and Shaving. Advertisement. 
Chapter 56, Body Flicker Technique and Shaving. P.S. There are only two updates today, three updates tomorrow, and a big explosion in the day after tomorrow. The number of updates will never let you down. I hope everyone will support the first order. 3. Another 10 days passed. In an inaccessible small valley, under the pouring waterfall, three figures seemed to be dancing, stepping on the water, fighting and interlacing. SHHHHHH dash. A tall and a short figure surrounded the silver-haired boy in the middle one after the other. His slender fingers and palms pierced out like arrows, aiming at the various acupuncture points on the boy's body, with a piercing palm style. Without mercy, facing their palms, Lu Shang closed his eyes and didn't notice it. When their palms were more than 10 centimeters away from the acupuncture points, Lu Shang suddenly opened his eyes, and a gleam flashed in the red eyes. Stepping on the water, Lu Shang took a step forward as if strolling in the courtyard. Obviously the movement was very slow, the attacks of Hinata and Hanabi had already landed on his body, but the palms of his hands were empty. Boom, boom. When they were in a daze, a huge force surged from their abdomen. With the soles of the feet synchronized one after another, Hinata and Hanabi were kicked out with clever force. The bare, bare soles of the feet drew a long ripple on the water and Hinata and Hanabi stopped, and the two pairs of pure white eyes were full of joy. Hinata came over and said in surprise, Mr. Lu Sheng, you succeeded. Lu Sheng big brother, was it a short distance teleportation just now? It's amazing. Hanabi said with eyes full of admiration. Advertisement. Looking down at the weight-bearing feet on the right, Lu Sheng said dissatisfiedly, it only takes one out of ten times to succeed, so it's far from being successful. You have to do what you want to be successful. Short Distance Teleportation, also named Short Distance High Speed Movement by Lu Sheng, is his next training program. After the battle with Uchiha Itake, for more than a month, he has simulated in his mind many times, what is his winning percentage against Uchiha Itake who has activated Mainjikyo Sharinan? If the opponent releases water, the winning rate is about 50 to 50. If it is a battle of life and death, the chance of death is more than 85%. The 85% is due to the fact that the other party is seriously ill, and after using the ability of Mainjikyo Sharinan, there will be sequelae. Otherwise, the chance of death will be higher. In addition to his powerful sword skills and two-color haki, Lu Sheng's speed is only average in the eyes of cage-level experts, and even worse in the eyes of physical experts. Fortunately, there is enough time for the long-range body flicker technique to explode and sprint, but the short-distance teleportation, Lu Sheng only entered it once a month ago, in the killing state of Kanaha's collapse plan. After that, it will be very difficult to achieve that kind of instant body at will. Nine times out of ten it fails. It is the shortcoming of speed that allows Lu Sheng to simulate a life and death battle with Uchiha Itaki in Lu Sheng's mind, and the probability of death is extremely high. Vision-controlled Amaterasu is a bit of a mystery. Although in the original book, Amaterasu hardly kills anyone. But in reality, this kind of flame that will never go out once burned, unless you have the body replacement technique of Orokimura's golden cicada shelling, and a Zanaga's technique of rewriting fate. Once other people are touched by the fire of Amaterasu, the broken arm of fourth rakage in the original book will be the fate of those who are hit. Advertisement. Including Lu Sheng? It's a pity that Lu Sheng doesn't seem to have any talent in the field of ninjutsu. In other words, he wasted this talent when he was a child. The body flicker technique can't do it at all, and the range of the body is half a meter. Chakra exploded and sucked the ground instantly, the time for such a short distance was too short. Out of 10 attempts, 6 or 7 were unsuccessful. So Lu Sheng applied this training method to treading water, and even tried it with heavy loads. If you train on the water, once you succeed, the success rate on the ground will be even greater. As a result, 9 out of 10 times were unsuccessful. Just managed to succeed once. It is still far from being satisfied. Of course, it's not like Lu Sheng didn't think about practicing one of the Marine Six styles. In the spiritual world of the Inheritance Template, there are not a few Marine Sword Masters who have fought against Hawkeye. Among them, there are more than five fingers who can master shaving. Lu Sheng also knows the practice method of shaving, which is to step on the ground more than ten times in an instant, and use that explosive force to move at high speed. But the physical fitness of people in this world is too big compared to the pirate world. Not counting the unique Titan tribe in the pirate world, the born king of destruction, 
almost all of them are ocean worlds, so that the biological meat of that world can provide human beings with great nutrition. Advertisement. Among children of the same age, the innate advantages of the Hokage world lag far behind the pirate world. Not to mention the trick of shaving, which is also a skill that can only be mastered by superhumans in pirate world. Lu Shang wants to learn to shave to make up for the lack of speed, but it is still whimsical for the time being. Therefore, Lu Shang can only continue to improve the body flicker technique. Seeing Lu Shang frowning, Hinata thought he was dissatisfied with his efforts, and repeatedly comforted him, Mr. Lu Shang, it's okay, we still have more time, and we are still in the stage of skyrocketing strength. It will definitely be erased. Hanabi nodded repeatedly, and said in agreement, yes. Lu Shang big brother, in Hanabi's eyes, you are the strongest. The voices of the two sisters brought Lu Shang back to God. He glanced at the gentle Hinata, then at Hanabi who looked like a little girl, and nodded with a smile, saying, don't worry, I don't care at all. Spend another three months, if the body flicker technique is not talented. I will try my best to improve my physique and change my shaving. Lu Shang, who silently made this decision, suddenly narrowed his eyes slightly. Glancing at the forest on the right, Lu Sheng exhorted, Hinata, Hanabi, go to the shore and get a piece of clothing to block it. The three practiced on the water for a long time. Except for Lu Sheng's kimono, which was not wet, the clothes of Hinata and Hanabi were already soaked. Up close, Lu Sheng could even see their underwear. Um, Hinata and Hanabi trusted Lu Sheng's perception very much, and walked to the shore obediently. Not long after, an afterimage rushed out from the forest and appeared in front of Lu Sheng in an instant. Wearing an umbu mask, the man whose face could not be seen clearly said in a deep voice, Lu Sheng Yuzuk, Fifth Hokage is welcome. Advertisement. Chapter 56 Body Flicker Technique and Shaving. Advertisement. Chapter 56 Body Flicker Technique and Shaving. P.S. There are only two updates today, three updates tomorrow, and a big explosion in the day after tomorrow. The number of updates will never let you down. I hope everyone will support the first order. 3. Another 10 days passed. In an inaccessible small valley, under the pouring waterfall, three figures seemed to be dancing, stepping on the water, fighting and interlacing. SHHHHHH dash. A tall and a short figure surrounded the silver-haired boy in the middle one after the other. His slender fingers and palms pierced out like arrows, aiming at the various acupuncture points on the boy's body with a piercing palm style. Without mercy, facing their palms, Lu Shang closed his eyes and didn't notice it. When their palms were more than 10 centimeters away from the acupuncture points, Lu Shang suddenly opened his eyes, and a gleam flashed in the red eyes. Stepping on the water, Lu Shang took a step forward as if strolling in the courtyard. Obviously the movement was very slow, the attacks of Hinata and Hanabi had already landed on his body, but the palms of his hands were empty. Boom! Boom! When they were in a daze, a huge force surged from their abdomen. With the soles of the feet synchronized one after another, Hinata and Hanabi were kicked out with clever force. The bare, bare soles of the feet drew a long ripple on the water and Hinata and Hanabi stopped, and the two pairs of pure white eyes were full of joy. Hinata came over and said in surprise, Mr. Lu Sheng, you succeeded. Lu Sheng big brother, was it a short distance teleportation just now? It's amazing. Hanabi said with eyes full of admiration. Advertisement. Looking down at the weight-bearing feet on the right, Lu Sheng said dissatisfiedly, it only takes one out of ten times to succeed, so it's far from being successful. You have to do what you want to be successful. Short distance teleportation, also named short distance high speed movement by Lu Sheng, is his next training program. After the battle with Uchiha Itake, for more than a month, he has simulated in his mind many times. What is his winning percentage against Uchiha Itake who has activated Mainjikyo Sharinan? If the opponent releases water, the winning rate is about 50 to 50. If it is a battle of life and death, the chance of death is more than 85%. The 85% is due to the fact that the other party is seriously ill, and after using the ability of Mainjikyo Sharinan, there will be sequelae. Otherwise, the chance of death will be higher. In addition to his powerful sword skills and two-color haki, Lu Sheng's speed is only average in the eyes of cage-level experts, and even worse in the eyes of physical experts. Fortunately, there is enough time for the long-range body flicker technique to explode and sprint, but the short-distance teleportation, 
Liu Sheng only entered it once a month ago, in the killing state of Kanaha's collapse plan. After that, it will be very difficult to achieve that kind of instant body at will. Nine times out of ten it fails. It is the shortcoming of speed that allows Lu Sheng to simulate a life and death battle with Uchiha Ataki in Lu Sheng's mind, and the probability of death is extremely high. Vision-controlled Amaterasu is a bit of a mystery. Although in the original book, Amaterasu hardly kills anyone. But in reality, this kind of flame that will never go out once burned, unless you have the body replacement technique of Orikimura's golden cicada shelling, and is Anaga's technique of rewriting fate. Once other people are touched by the fire of Amaterasu, the broken arm of fourth rakage in the original book will be the fate of those who are hit. Advertisement. Including Lu Sheng? It's a pity that Lu Sheng doesn't seem to have any talent in the field of ninjutsu. In other words, he wasted this talent when he was a child. The body flicker technique can't do it at all, and the range of the body is half a meter. Chakra exploded and sucked the ground instantly, the time for such a short distance was too short. Out of 10 attempts, 6 or 7 were unsuccessful. So Lu Sheng applied this training method to treading water, and even tried it with heavy loads. If you train on the water, once you succeed, the success rate on the ground will be even greater. As a result, 9 out of 10 times were unsuccessful. Just managed to succeed once. It is still far from being satisfied. Of course, it's not like Lu Sheng didn't think about practicing one of the Marine Six styles. In the spiritual world of the Inheritance Template, there are not a few Marine Sword Masters who have fought against Hawkeye. Among them, there are more than five fingers who can master shaving. Lu Sheng also knows the practice method of shaving, which is to step on the ground more than ten times in an instant, and use that explosive force to move at high speed. But the physical fitness of people in this world is too big compared to the pirate world. Not counting the unique Titan tribe in the pirate world, the born king of destruction, Almost all of them are ocean worlds, so that the biological meat of that world can provide human beings with great nutrition. Advertisement. Among children of the same age, the innate advantages of the Hokage world lag far behind the pirate world. Not to mention the trick of shaving, which is also a skill that can only be mastered by superhumans in pirate world. Lu Shang wants to learn to shave to make up for the lack of speed, but it is still whimsical for the time being. Therefore, Lu Sheng can only continue to improve the body flicker technique. Seeing Lu Sheng frowning, Hinata thought he was dissatisfied with his efforts, and repeatedly comforted him, Mr. Lu Sheng, it's okay, we still have more time, and we are still in the stage of skyrocketing strength. It will definitely be erased. Hanabi nodded repeatedly, and said in agreement, yes. Lu Sheng big brother, in Hanabi's eyes, you are the strongest. The voices of the two sisters brought Lu Sheng back to God. He glanced at the gentle Hinata, then at Hanabi who looked like a little girl, and nodded with a smile, saying, Don't worry, I don't care at all. Spend another three months, if the body flicker technique is not talented. I will try my best to improve my physique and change my shaving. Lu Sheng, who silently made this decision, suddenly narrowed his eyes slightly. Glancing at the forest on the right, Lu Sheng exhorted, Hinata, Hanabi, go to the shore and get a piece of clothing to block it. The three practiced on the water for a long time. Except for Lu Sheng's kimono, which was not wet, the clothes of Hinata and Hanabi were already soaked. Up close, Lu Sheng could even see their underwear. Um, Hinata and Hanabi trusted Lu Sheng's perception very much, and walked to the shore obediently. Not long after, an afterimage rushed out from the forest and appeared in front of Lu Sheng in an instant. Wearing an umbu mask, the man whose face could not be seen clearly said in a deep voice, Lu Sheng Yuzuk, 5th Hokage is welcome. Advertisement. Chapter 57 Becoming a Chenin, Lu Sheng who is invulnerable to fire and water. Advertisement. P.S. There are only two updates today, and three updates tomorrow, and there will be a big explosion the day after tomorrow. The number of updates will never let you down. I hope you will support it by ordering for the first time. 3. The summoning of 5th Hokage terminated Lu Sheng's training. After talking to Hinata, Lu Sheng followed Umbu and left in the direction of the village. Ten minutes later, in the office of the Hokage building, Lu Sheng just opened the door and entered when he saw a familiar figure. Yo, you're here too. Nara Shikamaru, with a lazy look, raised her hand to say hello, as if she was not surprised at Lu Sheng's arrival. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and nodded his head. Then stood beside Nara Shikamaru, 
Looking at fifth Hokage, Senjutsu Nade, and her assistant, Shizun holding a little pink pig in front of him, who was looking at him. The red eyes met Tsunade's scrutinizing eyes, and Lu Sheng's expression was as calm as ever. The demeanor and temperament make Shizun, who is onlooker, amazed in his heart. Advertisement. Tsunade looked at Lu Sheng for a moment, then turned his eyes back, propped his chin with both hands, and said seriously, I've heard about you, this year's Chunin exam, whether it's the ninja from our village or from other countries, among the 115 candidates, you are the best. Starting immediately, I will bestow upon you the title of Chunin as the fifth Hokage of Kanahagakur. Tsunade's words did not make Lu Sheng's Nara Shikamaru look happy and excited. Instead, Nara Shikamaru scratched his head, not hiding the helplessness on his face, Chunin, what a trouble. Lu Sheng didn't care. Fame and fortune have long been unable to shake his state of mind. Whether it is Kaduo's wealth or the level of ninjas, Lu Sheng feels that it doesn't matter. Seeing the reactions of the two, Sunade realized that they were two problem children. The corner of his mouth twitched slightly, and then he waved his hand and said, Shikamaru, you go out first, and come to pick up your chin and vest in three days. Izuk, you stay. Yes yes. Unafraid of Tsunade's aura, Nara Shikamaru turned and walked out of the office. After Nara Shikamaru left, Tsunade's expression became serious in an instant, and he looked at Lu Sheng seriously, and said, I have learned about your matter from Jireya, Kurane Ui, and witnesses on the day of Kanaha's collapse plan. Got it. There is no doubt that you are a genius representing this era. Tsunade commented, even during World War II and World War III, there is no peer who can be better than you. I have seen the photos of the dismembered corpses. I also agree with Jireya's words, you are a genius who was born in the war era. Tsunade entered the theme and invited, but in this era, your style is very suitable for Umbu's standard. Do you want to join Umbu and become my confidant? Sorry, I refuse. Without even the slightest hesitation, Lu Sheng spoke directly. Advertisement. Such a decisive decision made both Tsunade and Shizun slightly taken aback. Immediately, a flash of light flashed in Tsunade's mind, and he asked, Is it because of the Hayaga clan, that white-eyed little girl? After Lu Sheng showed his strength, he also showed his powerful strength and killing methods in the Kanaha collapse plan. His name has already entered the upper echelon of Kanaha. This high level is not only Hokage, but also the major families. Jonin are elite ninjas from various countries and the backbone of a ninja village. Elite Jonin, there are not many in a village. Shadow is already the pillar of the village. At the age of 12, he can wield the slash of S-level ninjutsu, and initially possesses the power of a shadow. In the future, he must be a 5-level cage-level power. Anyone who knows Lu Sheng will subconsciously investigate the people around him. Hineda, who has a childhood sweetheart relationship with Lu Sheng, has naturally entered the eyes of countless people. For more than a month, the reason why Hinabi can come with Hineda every day is most likely because of Hayaga Hayashi, or even the acquiescence of the Hayaga clan. Since Tsunade investigated Lu Sheng, of course he also knew about Hineda. Lu Sheng was slightly taken aback, then nodded randomly, Yes, I don't want to leave class 8. Advertisement. With your strength, you will be promoted to Jonin sooner or later, and you will still be automatically separated from the 8th class. Sunaid asked, At that time, what are you going to do? Then I will refuse the promotion. Lu Sheng replied directly, feeling a little disdainful in his heart. If it wasn't for the fetters with Hineda, I wouldn't have stayed in Kanaha. Entering a place like Umbu may involve some dark things, which can bring you experience. But with this experience, if you leave Kanaha by yourself, go to the black market to be a bounty hunter, or join the Akatsuki organization, and fight against the entire ninja world in the future, the experience gained is n times that of joining Umbu. Instead of wasting your precious time on it, you might as well stay at home, doing your daily routine tasks, with a pitiful 0.02% experience while training Hineda. Looking at Lu Sheng, who loves first, Sunade feels troubled in his heart. It is really difficult to win this hero, but she still said calmly, don't refuse so resolutely, you might as well think about it for a while. Even if not for yourself, think about that white-eyed little girl from Hayaga's family. Sunade is like an adult holding a lollipop at this moment, seducing a child, and said, don't you want to marry her brilliantly? Although your strength is very strong, there is still a huge gap between your backgrounds. If you join Umbu, 
I can promise that you will become the captain of the Umbu branch within one year and the captain of the Umbu within three years. Although joining Umbu, few people will know your identity, but the power you have is enough to make the Hayaga clan dare not underestimate your status. And joining Umbu, you are eligible to contact more advanced ninjutsu, and your status will increase afterwards. You can even read the forbidden technique of the sealed book. A few minutes later, Lu Shang walked out of Hokage's office. Tsunade lowered his head with a dejected face, and slammed his forehead heavily on the table. I am convinced, I have never seen such a person who is invulnerable in this life. Ha, ha. Shizu next to him had a stiff smile on his face, and he was also full of admiration for the young man who was completely free from the temptation of fame and fortune. Advertisement. Chapter 57 Becoming a Chenin, Lu Sheng who is invulnerable to fire and water. Advertisement. P.S. There are only two updates today, and three updates tomorrow, and there will be a big explosion the day after tomorrow. The number of updates will never let you down. I hope you will support it by ordering for the first time. 3. The summoning of 5th Hokage terminated Lu Sheng's training. After talking to Hineda, Lu Sheng followed Umbu and left in the direction of the village. Ten minutes later, in the office of the Hokage building, Lu Sheng just opened the door and entered when he saw a familiar figure. Yo, you're here too. Nara Shikamaru, with a lazy look, raised her hand to say hello, as if she was not surprised at Lu Sheng's arrival. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and nodded his head. Then stood beside Nara Shikamaru, looking at 5th Hokage, Senjutsu Nade, and her assistant, Shizun holding a little pink pig in front of him, who was looking at him. The red eyes met Tsunade's scrutinizing eyes, and Lu Sheng's expression was as calm as ever. The demeanor and temperament make Shizun, who is onlooker, amazed in his heart. Advertisement. Tsunade looked at Lu Sheng for a moment, then turned his eyes back, propped his chin with both hands, and said seriously, I've heard about you? This year's Chunin exam, whether it's the ninja from our village or from other countries, among the 115 candidates, you are the best. Starting immediately, I will bestow upon you the title of Chunin as the fifth Hokage of Kanahagakur. Tsunade's words did not make Lu Sheng's Nara Shikamaru look happy and excited. Instead, Nara Shikamaru scratched his head, not hiding the helplessness on his face, Chunin, what a trouble. Lu Sheng didn't care. Fame and fortune have long been unable to shake his state of mind. Whether it is Kaduo's wealth or the level of ninjas, Lu Sheng feels that it doesn't matter. Seeing the reactions of the two, Sunade realized that they were two problem children. The corner of his mouth twitched slightly, and then he waved his hand and said, Shikamaru, you go out first, and come to pick up your chin and vest in three days. Yuzuk, you stay. Yes yes. Unafraid of Sunade's aura, Nara Shikamaru turned and walked out of the office. After Nara Shikamaru left, Sunade's expression became serious in an instant, and he looked at Lu Sheng seriously, and said, I have learned about your matter from Jireya, Kurane Ui, and witnesses on the day of Kanaha's collapse plan. Got it. There is no doubt that you are a genius representing this era. Sunade commented, even during World War II and World War III, there is no peer who can be better than you. I have seen the photos of the dismembered corpses. I also agree with Jireya's words, you are a genius who was born in the war era. Sunade entered the theme and invited, but in this era, your style is very suitable for Umbu's standard. Do you want to join Umbu and become my confidant? Sorry, I refuse. Without even the slightest hesitation, Lu Sheng spoke directly. Advertisement. Such a decisive decision made both Sunade and Shizun slightly taken aback. Immediately, a flash of light flashed in Sunade's mind, and he asked, Is it because of the Hayaga clan, that white-eyed little girl? After Lu Sheng showed his strength, he also showed his powerful strength and killing methods in the Kanaha collapse plan. His name has already entered the upper echelon of Kanaha. This high level is not only Hokage, but also the major families. Jonin are elite ninjas from various countries and the backbone of a ninja village. Elite Jonin, there are not many in a village. Shadow is already the pillar of the village. At the age of 12, he can wield the slash of S-level ninjutsu, and initially possesses the power of a shadow. In the future, he must be a 5-level cage-level power. Anyone who knows Lu Sheng will subconsciously investigate the people around him. Hineda, who has a childhood sweetheart relationship with Lu Sheng, has naturally entered the eyes of countless people. For more than a month, 
The reason why Hanabi can come with Hinata every day is most likely because of Hayaga Hayashi, or even the acquiescence of the Hayaga clan. Since Tsunade investigated Lu Shang, of course he also knew about Hinata. Lu Shang was slightly taken aback, then nodded randomly, Yes, I don't want to leave class 8. Advertisement. With your strength, you will be promoted to Jonin sooner or later, and you will still be automatically separated from the 8th class. Tsunade asked, At that time, what are you going to do? Then I will refuse the promotion. Lu Shang replied directly, feeling a little disdainful in his heart. If it wasn't for the fetters with Hinata, I wouldn't have stayed in Kanaha. Entering a place like Umbu may involve some dark things, which can bring you experience. But with this experience, if you leave Kanaha by yourself, go to the black market to be a bounty hunter, or join the Akatsuki organization, and fight against the entire ninja world in the future, the experience gained is n times that of joining Umbu. Instead of wasting your precious time on it, you might as well stay at home, doing your daily routine tasks, with a pitiful 0.02% experience, while training Hinata. Looking at Lu Shang, who loves first, Sunade feels troubled in his heart. It is really difficult to win this hero, but she still said calmly, don't refuse so resolutely, you might as well think about it for a while. Even if not for yourself, think about that white-eyed little girl from Hayaga's family. Sunaid is like an adult holding a lollipop at this moment, seducing a child, and said, don't you want to marry her brilliantly? Although your strength is very strong, there is still a huge gap between your backgrounds. If you join Umbu, I can promise that you will become the captain of the Umbu branch within one year and the captain of the Umbu within three years. Although joining Umbu, few people will know your identity, but the power you have is enough to make the Hayaga clan dare not underestimate your status. And joining Umbu, you are eligible to contact more advanced ninjutsu, and your status will increase afterwards, you can even read the forbidden technique of the sealed book. A few minutes later, Lu Shang walked out of Hokage's office. Sunade lowered his head with a dejected face, and slammed his forehead heavily on the table, I am convinced, I have never seen such a person who is invulnerable in this life. Ha, ha. Shizun next to him had a stiff smile on his face, and he was also full of admiration for the young man who was completely free from the temptation of fame and fortune. Advertisement. Chapter 58 Uchiha Suzuki's Defection. Advertisement. Becoming a Chunin, Lu Sheng's life hasn't changed much. It's nothing more than an extra green vest, officially confirming the identity of the leader of the 8th class. But after Lu Sheng became Chunin, Yu He Hong was free. Before the Chunin exam, the 8th class can only perform D-level and C-level tasks, and no matter whether it is D-level or C-level, the instructor Jonin must be present and lead them to complete. Now that the team leader has been promoted to Chunin, the team has the team spirit cultivated for half a year, and with the understanding of Lu Sheng's strength, Shi Rihong has entrusted the 8th team to Lu Sheng's hands. In the next half a month, Lu Sheng, as Chunin, led the 8th class to perform three C-level missions. The three C-level missions are all different types. One is to escort the caravan leaving from Mu Yeli and protect them from being robbed by bandits on the way, the other two are to capture beasts that destroy crops and villages. Today is the night of the full moon, and the cloudless starry sky is dotted with stars. The silvery moonlight shone down and fell on a clearing in the forest. Three tents were set up there, and two men and a woman sat in front of a bonfire, preparing today's dinner. It's such a beautiful night scene, but for some reason, I feel a little restless. A Abarameshino looked up at the night sky and said calmly. Hinata flipped through the grilled fish on the bonfire, blinked her pure white eyes, and asked in doubt, there are no beasts within a kilometer around. Besides, our task is very simple and the client is not like the last time does Mr. N.A. lied about the mission level, everything is normal. Advertisement. Maybe it's my delusion. Abarameshino adjusted his sunglasses and felt that he was a little cranky. Bug's reaction was normal, Hinata's white eyes were normal, even if something unexpected happened, Lu Sheng was by his side. Even if Elite Jonin attacked, they were not afraid. It must be that I think too much. However, Abarameshino's words made Lu Sheng frown. A strange feeling came to my heart. His mind was empty, as if he had forgotten something. Lu Shang flipped through the grilled fish, and asked intentionally or unconsciously, Hinata, how long has it been since we graduated? Hinata looked up at the starry sky, put a finger in front of his mouth, and calculated, we graduated in March, 
and today is October 15th, and it has been seven and a half months. After finishing speaking, he Nada looked at Lu Sheng. Mr. Lu Sheng, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. He Nada, you hold it for me. Lu Sheng handed the iron skewer with the grilled fish to Hinata, got up and walked into Hinata's tent, took out a notebook from the backpack, and returned to Hinata's side. With the help of the fire, Lu Sheng opened the notes that recorded the future. Scanning the immature Chinese characters at a glance, Lu Sheng murmured in his heart, Kanaha 60 March, Kanaha's new generation graduated, the seventh class will conduct survival exercises, and the plot of Namiya will start in May. On June 23rd, the new generation has reached the registration criteria for the Chunin exam. The Chunin exam will start on July 1st, and there will be a month of training time after three games. After the Kanaha collapse plan, Uchiha Itaki returns to the village, Kakashi hits Tsukuyomi, and Jireya leads Azumaki Naruto to find Tsunade, on the way to start Raisinon training, is expected to find Tsunade on August 23rd. On September 1st, the trade between Tsunade and Orikimura failed, and the Battle of Sunan began. Near the middle of September, Tsunade will succeed 5th Hokage. Advertisement. This is Lu Sheng's clearest time period, which was recorded when he was a child. Turn the page to the next side with your fingers, and the content on it becomes blurred. After that, Class 7 will carry out a mission. The target seems to be Marino Ibiki's younger brother. He meets a ninja holding the Sword of Thor. And then there is the rooftop battle between Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Suzuki, and then, Lu Sheng he paused his fingers, and his eyes were slightly stunned, on the night of the full moon in October, Uchiha Suzuki left Kanaha. I see, no wonder it feels like I forgot something. Unknowingly, the fate of Ashura and Indra's life has already begun. Closing the notes, Lu Sheng looked at Hinata and Abarameshino, and said, after eating, rest early and return to the village at a faster speed tomorrow. Yes. Hinata and Abarameshino responded quickly. They all saw Lu Sheng's expression just now, but they didn't ask much. Even Hinata is the same. After dinner, Lu Sheng and Abarameshino went back to the tent to rest except Hinata went to the lake outside the forest to clean up briefly. In the early morning of the next day, the three put away their tents and returned to the village at a faster speed. As dusk fell, the eighth shift arrived at the mouth of Kanaha village. Advertisement. Lu Sheng brought Hinata and the two to Hokage office. It's just in time for you to come back. Seeing the three people from the eighth class come in, Tsunade was obviously relieved, and then said with a serious face, Next, I have an important task for you. After hearing fifth Hokage's words, apart from Lu Sheng, the faces of Hinata and Abarameshino suddenly became serious. Looking at Lu Sheng with a flat face, Sunaid said, according to the report from Harano Sakura of the 7th class, Uchiha Suzuki left Kanaha last night because he was tricked by Orikimaru. In the early morning, I asked Shikamaru to organize a five-member team to rescue Uchiha Suzuki. Sunaid said solemnly, since most of the Jonin and Shinin in the village have been sent out to perform tasks, Shikamaru and the others did not Jonin led the team, and there is a union village on the Orikimaru side, so I am a little worried. Yuzuk, it's just right for you to come back now. Tsunade ordered in a deep voice, I'm giving the task to the 8th squad now, and you immediately catch up with Shikamaru and the others. Yes. Lu Sheng and the three responded quickly. Walking out of the Hokage office, Abarameshino said, Inside the Hokage office, my bugs have caught the scent of Nara Shikamaru, indeed not for more than a day. Lu Sheng, do you want to go after him immediately? Abarameshino asked. Lu Sheng nodded and said, Let's go right away, I'll leave it to you to lead the way, Jinai. Don't worry, the bug has already pointed the way for us. Advertisement. Chapter 59 Reunion Between Class 8 and Gara Group. Advertisement. P.S. It will be put on the shelves in the early morning, and I hope everyone can subscribe for the first time to support it. After it is put on the shelves, the update will explode. The world in the early morning seemed silent. Coming out of Kanaha's village entrance, the 8th squad has been on their way. Even for dinner, I use the dry food in my backpack to solve my stomach complaints casually. The rest of the time, they are on the go. In front of the 8th class, a huge forest soon appeared. Nara Shikamaru's breath is getting stronger and stronger, he should not be very far away from us. Abarameshino, who was flying in front, slowed down. Even in the early hours of the morning, he still wore sunglasses, stared at a black bug on his index finger, 
and softly reported to Lu Sheng next to him, and there are three familiar auras ahead. Is moving fast, I don't know who exactly, but the bug remembers it so deeply, it should be someone who has intersected with us before. Hearing this, Lu Sheng, who was only deeply impressed by the plot of the battle between Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Suzuki at the end of the valley, frowned slightly, and did not know who the three auras were. But on the surface, he ordered, follow up and have a look. Yes. As the sound fell, the figures of the three leaping forward became even faster. Not long after, three figures from behind appeared in front of the eighth class. Advertisement. Among them, the back view of the red-haired boy with a big gourd on his back reminded Lu Sheng of the forgotten plot, and also made a Baramashino feel a little dazed. No wonder the insects felt that these three breaths were familiar. Although the contact time is not long, Hineda and Abarameshino were very impressed by the Gara team they met in the Death Forest. Especially after witnessing the battle between Gara and Xiaoli, both Hineda and Abarameshino knew that if Lu Sheng was not by their side at that time, they might have escaped death. Gara is a very scary monster. Shoot, swoosh, swoosh. Hearing the sound of blinking from behind, the three siblings, Kankuro and Tamari, who were rushing ahead also turned their heads. With the help of the silver light illuminated by the 16th full moon, the three of Lu Sheng came into view of Kankuro and Tamari. When they saw Lu Sheng's plain face, their expressions changed suddenly, and they subconsciously felt fear. Immediately, thinking of the restoration of the alliance relationship between Sheninja and Kanaha, the siblings just swallowed, and Tamari said in a trembling voice, Yes, it's you? What, what, there's that monster here, why did you ask us to come here? Kankuro cursed secretly with an ugly face. The two had a deep impression of Lu Sheng. After Kanaha's collapse plan, Lu Sheng's name not only entered Kanaha's senior management, but was also remembered by Sand Ninja's senior management. Even other villages, if they collect information about Kanaha's collapse plan, will definitely remember Lu Sheng Yuzuk, a genius. Advertisement. In addition to his amazing swordsmanship and the slashing of S-level ninjutsu, he brutally killed 66 people including Sand Ninja and Tone Ninja. The troops from Sand Shinobi Village who came to collect the corpses were very frightened by the pictures of the broken limbs and arms. Like Hineda and Abarameshino, the evaluation of Gara is the same. In the hearts of Kankuro and Tamari, Lu Sheng is also a very terrifying monster. And the strength of this monster is stronger than Gara. Lu Sheng and Gara don't know what their teammates think. Hearing Tamari's fearful voice, Gara turned his head and looked at Lu Sheng expressionlessly. The moment he met Lu Sheng's red eyes, Gara's face was still calm, but his pupils shrank slightly, and his emotions fluctuated. From this point of view, he still has sand armor wrapped around him. Gara thought for a while, then said slowly, Long time no see, Lu Sheng Yuzuk. Ah, long time no see. Lu Sheng didn't expect Gara to greet him, nodded slightly in response, and said bluntly, I haven't seen you for two months, but you have changed a lot. Gara didn't speak, but the figure of Azumaki Naruto appeared in his mind. Advertisement. This time Kanaha 5th Hokage asked for help, and the reason why he came here was also because of Azumaki Naruto. Compared to Lu Sheng, the first man who made him feel hurt. Gara was more impressed by Azumaki Naruto, a man who had completely defeated him, had the same fate as him, but was completely different from himself. Seeing that Gara fell silent, Lu Sheng didn't speak either. However, the four members of the two teams were a tacitly behind each other, looking at each other. Abarameshino looked at Kankuro and asked directly, Why are you here? Because of your fifth hokage, you asked our San Shinobi for help. Kankuro replied, Although it was not our intention, we, San Shinobi, owe Kanaha a lot for the incident more than two months ago. Abarameshino adjusted his sunglasses and said no more. Kankuro was looking for a topic, and asked, If you didn't guess wrong, you just returned to Kanaha not long ago, right? Abarameshino nodded, I just came out when I went back, I didn't expect this kind of thing to happen. Kankuro recalled the scene where Uchiha Suzuki injured Gara, saying, Uchiha Suzuki, that man is dangerous. Ah, uh, there was a rare smile on Abarameshino's face, which was intriguing, he is only the second place in our school. Kankuro was taken aback for a moment, then glanced at Lu Sheng in front of him, and nodded suddenly. Advertisement. Chapter 59 Reunion Between Class 8 and Gara Group. Advertisement. P.S. It will be put on the shelves in the early morning, 
and I hope everyone can subscribe for the first time to support it. After it is put on the shelves, the update will explode. The world in the early morning seemed silent. Coming out of Kanaha's village entrance, the 8th squad has been on their way. Even for dinner, I use the dry food in my backpack to solve my stomach complaints casually. The rest of the time, they are on the go. In front of the 8th class, a huge forest soon appeared. Nara Shikamaru's breath is getting stronger and stronger, he should not be very far away from us. Abera Meshino, who was flying in front, slowed down. Even in the early hours of the morning, he still wore sunglasses, stared at a black bug on his index finger, and softly reported to Lu Sheng next to him, and there are three familiar auras ahead. Is moving fast, I don't know who exactly, but the bug remembers it so deeply, it should be someone who has intersected with us before. Hearing this, Lu Sheng, who was only deeply impressed by the plot of the battle between Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Suzuki at the end of the valley, frowned slightly, and did not know who the three auras were. But on the surface, he ordered, follow up and have a look. Yes. As the sound fell, the figures of the three leaping forward became even faster. Not long after, three figures from behind appeared in front of the eighth class. Advertisement. Among them, the back view of the red-haired boy with a big gourd on his back reminded Lu Sheng of the forgotten plot, and also made a Baramashino feel a little dazed. No wonder the insects felt that these three breaths were familiar. Although the contact time is not long, Hineda and Abarameshino were very impressed by the Gara team they met in the Death Forest. Especially after witnessing the battle between Gara and Xiaoli, both Hineda and Abarameshino knew that if Lu Sheng was not by their side at that time, they might have escaped death. Gara is a very scary monster. Shoot, swoosh, swoosh. Hearing the sound of blinking from behind, the three siblings, Kankuro and Tamari, who were rushing ahead also turned their heads. With the help of the silver light illuminated by the 16th full moon, the three of Lu Sheng came into view of Kankuro and Tamari. When they saw Lu Sheng's plain face, their expressions changed suddenly, and they subconsciously felt fear. Immediately, thinking of the restoration of the alliance relationship between Sheninja and Kanaha, the siblings just swallowed, and Tamari said in a trembling voice, Yes, it's you? What, what, there's that monster here, why did you ask us to come here? Kankuro cursed secretly with an ugly face. The two had a deep impression of Lu Sheng. After Kanaha's collapse plan, Lu Sheng's name not only entered Kanaha's senior management, but was also remembered by Sand Ninja's senior management. Even other villages, if they collect information about Kanaha's collapse plan, will definitely remember Lu Sheng Yuzuk, a genius. Advertisement. In addition to his amazing swordsmanship and the slashing of S-level ninjutsu, he brutally killed 66 people including Sand Ninja and Tone Ninja. The troops from Sand Shinobi village who came to collect the corpses were very frightened by the pictures of the broken limbs and arms. Like Hineda and Abarameshino, the evaluation of Gara is the same. In the hearts of Kankuro and Tamari, Lu Sheng is also a very terrifying monster. And the strength of this monster is stronger than Gara. Lu Sheng and Gara don't know what their teammates think. Hearing Tamari's fearful voice, Gara turned his head and looked at Lu Sheng expressionlessly. The moment he met Lu Sheng's red eyes, Gara's face was still calm, but his pupils shrank slightly, and his emotions fluctuated. From this point of view, he still has sand armor wrapped around him. Gara thought for a while, then said slowly, Long time no see, Lu Sheng Yuzuk. Ah, long time no see. Lu Sheng didn't expect Gara to greet him, nodded slightly in response, and said bluntly, I haven't seen you for two months, but you have changed a lot. Gara didn't speak, but the figure of Azumaki Naruto appeared in his mind. Advertisement. This time Kanaha 5th Hokage asked for help, and the reason why he came here was also because of Azumaki Naruto. Compared to Lu Sheng, the first man who made him feel hurt. Gara was more impressed by Azumaki Naruto, a man who had completely defeated him, had the same fate as him, but was completely different from himself. Seeing that Gara fell silent, Lu Sheng didn't speak either. However, the four members of the two teams were a tacitly behind each other, looking at each other. Abarameshino looked at Kankuro and asked directly, Why are you here? Because of your fifth hokage, you asked our San Shinobi for help. Kankuro replied, Although it was not our intention, we, San Shinobi, owe Kanaha a lot for the incident more than two months ago. Abarameshino adjusted his sunglasses and said no more. Kankuro was looking for a topic, 
and asked, if you didn't guess wrong, you just returned to Kanaha not long ago, right? A Baramashino nodded, I just came out when I went back, I didn't expect this kind of thing to happen. Kankuro recalled the scene where Uchiha Suzuki injured Gara, saying, Uchiha Suzuki, that man is dangerous. Ah, there was a rare smile on a Baramashino's face, which was intriguing, he is only the second place in our school. Kankuro was taken aback for a moment, then glanced at Lu Sheng in front of him, and nodded suddenly. Chapter 60 Rescue Arrives Advertisement When the dawn broke through the night, the fresh morning came. Squad 8 and the Gara team, finally saw the five-member team that saved Uchiha Suzuki, Akimichi Koji, what he looks like. The figures of six people landed on a tree, Kankuro looked at the extensive destruction of the woodland, his eyes fell on Akimichi Koji lying on the ground, unconscious, his eyes were full of surprise. In the Chinin exam, the guy who was easily killed by Odinin is actually so good, it's very close, it should be in this direction. Lu Sheng just glanced at Akimichi Koji, closed his eyes slightly, then opened them, looked forward to the left, and said to Abarame Shino, Shino, he still has breath in his body, so I will leave it to you. Hinata will take over next. Abarame Shino nodded, understood. After speaking, the figure turned towards Akimichi Koji on the ground in an instant. The remaining five continued on. This time it was Hinata leading the way. Tamari secretly looked at Lu Sheng and Hinata and glanced at Kankuro, and there was a hint of surprise in each other's eyes. They, turned out to be the perception class? Perception class refers to a team in which all ninjas are perceptual ninjas. In the general perception class, they are the best at perceiving technique, but their strength is very average. But the three of Lu Sheng are not only powerful, they also have a powerful perception technique. The supercilious eyes of the Hayaga clan, the worms of the Abarame clan, Kankuro and Tamari suddenly remembered that during the third official match of the Chinin exam, when Lu Sheng Yuzuk played against Hayaga Niji, it was the same as if the eyes were not tied, and there was no need for visual perception technique at all. Hiss, advertisement. Kankuro and Tamari took a deep breath, and their bodies shook without leaving any traces. Monster level team? Neither Lu Sheng nor Hinata knew what the siblings were thinking. With Hinata's white eyes leading the way, a group of five people soon arrived at another battlefield. This battlefield has also ended the battle. Seeing Hayaganiji who was seriously injured and fell to the ground, Hinata covered her lips in fright and shouted, Ning, Niji big brother. Looking at Hayaganiji with many arrows stuck in his back, Lu Sheng frowned slightly, and said, Hinata, you don't have to follow anymore, go and take care of him, wait for the support from the medical team, or after the mission is over, I'll come back to you again. And, Hinata nodded, and said, Mr. Lu Sheng, you have to be careful. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and his figure burst out. The Gara team hastened to follow. The sun rises from the east and gradually hangs in the sky. Along the way, neither Lu Sheng nor Gara's team saw the battlefield that had ended. When the morning came, Lu Sheng, who had been silent for several hours, suddenly gave an order to Kankuro and Tamari of the Gara team, at two o'clock, that is, in the northeast direction, Narashikamara's breath has been found, you go to support him. Kankuro and Tamari were not, because of Lu Sheng's tone of dissatisfaction. Tamari thought of the Jinin exam, the man who had made her suffer with his wisdom, and said, I'll go. Another person left the team. Lu Sheng looked at Kankuro and continued, 9 o'clock, that is, go straight west, and I will leave it to you? Understood. Kankuro nodded and left the team. With the teammates on both sides not around, the speed of Lu Sheng and Gara was finally no longer restricted. After this incident, the new generation has experienced failure and hard work, and it is about to start growing. Advertisement. It was also an important part of their friendship blossoming. After images continued to intersect in the forest, Lu Sheng was darting forward while thinking slightly, observation Haki was always on, trying to find the breath of Uzumaki Naruto. It didn't take long for Lu Sheng to catch that familiar breath. He glanced at Gara next to him and said, Speed up a little bit. Gara nodded blankly. The figure of the two bursting shots, the speed was a little faster. Ten minutes later, the figures of Lu Sheng and Gara rushed out of the forest, and a grassland was reflected in front of them. The two figures who are fighting are so eye-catching on the emerald green grassland. Damn, you bastard, get out of the way. 
Uzumaki Naruto and several shadow clones besieged the silver-haired thin youth together. But Kimimaro used a bone sword and waved it lightly, and all of them were stabbed into smoke. After killing all the shadow clones, Kimimaro held the bone sword and rushed towards Uzumaki Naruto, who was stunned by his strength. His flat eyes were full of persistence. He is using his last life to repay the adult who needs him. Clang. The bone sword stabbed forward, but was blocked by a black scabbard. Looking at Lu Shang who was holding a Tadeo without even drawing it, Kimimaro asked plainly, Who are you? Before Lu Shang could answer, Uzumaki Naruto, who was guarded behind, shouted in surprise, Lu Shang? That's great, it's you who came. Although Uzumaki Naruto is very nervous, even at the tail of the crane, he has been dissatisfied with Uchiha Suzuki. But that was the fate of Ashura and Indra, and when he was a child, he envied Uchiha Suzuki for being liked by so many people, and the girl he liked was among them. The two look down on each other and have actually formed a bond. Especially after graduation, this fetter blossoms and bears fruit. Advertisement. In their hearts, they already regarded each other as friends. Lu Sheng, who is equally powerful and very popular with girls, and Uzumaki Naruto have never been dissatisfied. On the contrary, he was full of confidence in Lu Sheng's strength. Lu Sheng stared at Kimimaro, and said softly, Naruto, leave this guy to me, you go over there. Oh, then I'll leave it to you. Uzumaki Naruto nodded quickly, without even looking at Kimimaro, he ran past him. Passing by, Kimimaro didn't stop. The plain eyes were already full of dignity. Kimimaro stared at Lu Sheng's red eyes, frowned slightly and secretly said, This person. Lu Sheng put down the sword that blocked the bone sword, and the black substance covering the scabbard gradually disappeared. With his right hand resting on the handle of the knife, Lu Sheng said, Gara, you also follow, remember to bring Naruto back. I see. Gara nodded, turned into yellow sand and disappeared. Call. In the entire grassland, only Lu Sheng and Kimimaro remained. The strong wind howled, and the green grass was crushed to the ground. In the eye contact between Lu Sheng and Kimimaro, one can see a touch of coldness. Ugh. With the hand on the hilt, he drew the knife at a rapid speed. The sound of drawing the knife out of its sheath, splashed a dazzling white on. A dark red light reflected in the daytime sky and earth. Advertisement. List testimonials. Thank you all for your support all the way until now, the scholar is grateful. Chapter 61 Lu Sheng vs Kimimaro, 1 10th. Advertisement. Chapter 61, Lu Sheng vs Kimimaro. Boom. The dark red sword energy tore through the emerald green ground. An exaggerated and powerful slash 7 or 8 meters high made Kimimaro, who had already retreated when he sensed the danger, shrink his pupils slightly, and suddenly said, So it's you? The saber genius that Mr. Doe mentioned is you. If it's you, you can't deal with it normally. As the sound fell, Kimimaro flew upside down, and the curse mark of the earth on his chest exuded orange-red light, and the lines spread to the surroundings. Kimimaro, with lines drawn all over his body, holds a bone sword in one hand, and raises the other hand, facing the oncoming sword aura, five fingers. S-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. The five-finger bones shot out from the fingertips like bullets, like ants molesting a giant elephant, and hit the sword energy seven or eight meters high and two or three meters wide. Not surprisingly, the phalanges were like yellow sand falling into a tsunami, instantly twisted and smashed by the impacting air contained in the sword energy. Seeing the result of the test, Kimimaro secretly said with a flat face, Isn't it just empty? There is no chakra fluctuation, I really can't imagine how he did it. Seeing the sword aura approaching, Kimimaro stopped his retreating figure and avoided the spreading sword aura with just a side jump. After landing, he rushed towards Lu Sheng. Kimimaro commented, It's fast and powerful, but its weakness is too obvious. It has no threat to physical ninjas at all. Lu Sheng walked towards him with a knife, and provocatively said with a grin, To Jitsu Ninja, are you talking about yourself? How much strength can you exert with your sickly body? Kaimimaro's face remained calm, and he said with persistent eyes, I will stick to Uchiha Suzuki and arrive at Master Orikimaru. Clang crack. Advertisement. The sword and the bone sword collided, and dead bone pulses incomparably tough bones were cut off by Lu Sheng. Looking at Tadeo who was completely black and completely changed, Kaimimaro's pupils shrank slightly, what is your ability? It's called Haki. After Lu Sheng chopped off the bone sword, 
he slashed towards Kaimimaro's neck along the angle, wanting to kill him with one blow. Willow Dance Facing Lu Shang's attack, Kaimimaro's body bent sharply, and suddenly spun towards Lu Shang. A sharp bone protruded from his elbow, palm, and back shoulder. As he spun, the bone hit Lu Shang continuously. Tadeo a burst of strong impact caused Lu Shang to focus on cutting the Tadeo at the breathing place, and stopped. The sharp bone that turned, came with Kaimimaro's turn, and the attack shifted from the Tadeo to Lu Shang's arm holding the sword. Tear it up Zizi. The sound of cloth being torn was heard, and the cuff of Lu Shang's right hand was flying. The sharp bone was even on his arm, rubbing against Hanabi's voice. It's just a matter of seconds. From the moment the cuff was torn, Lu Shang frowned stepped a little, and the figure flew back a distance. Lu Sheng lowered his eyes and glanced, his right arm with the tattered sleeve, the skin was still fair, but there was a sharp pain. I believe that without armament Haki's protection, Kimimaro would have injured his entire arm just now. For a swordsman, arm and sword are his life. Advertisement. Looking at the frowning Lu Sheng, Kimimaro said, Looking at you, it seems that you have no experience in fighting Taijutsu ninjas who have blood succession limits. Next. I have, but he is not as strong as you. Lu Sheng replied flatly, with a thought. The damaged cuffs of the kimono were repaired at a speed visible to the naked eye. Immediately, Lu Sheng squatted down, took out two pieces of leggings from the bottom of his trousers, and threw them aside, making a heavy bang sound. Kaimimaro's face changed slightly, it's actually carrying weight. Your actions are all in my prediction. After Lu Sheng removed the weight, a smile full of fighting spirit appeared on his handsome face, then, let's start the second round. After the words fell, Lu Sheng took the initiative to rush towards Kimimaro with a knife. Like a gust of wind, the figure appeared in front of Kimimaro in just two seconds. Hashtag. Kaimimaro's pupils contracted slightly, and his body instinctively spun again, willow dance. The piercing sound brought about by the rotation of the pointed bone made Lu Sheng stop at his limit. The right hand is like a shadow, entangled with Haki's black knife, and swung it forward quickly. Kang 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 Kak Cha Cha Cha. The loud collision sound resounded. As Lu Sheng continued to swing the knife, a section of small bones shot out from Kaimimaro's body, which had turned into a whirlwind after image. Every bone, the incision is so smooth and straight. Advertisement. A few seconds later, Lu Sheng's red eyes flashed a gleam, and the corner of his mouth raised slightly, you're breathing, I have already heard it. Swishpuchi. Like a ray of light, Lu Sheng's figure passed through Kaimimaro's body and appeared behind him. Kimimaro, whose body was turning, stopped, a column of blood spurted out from his chest, and there was a huge scar, and all the ribs inside were severed. At this time, Lu Sheng, who was about to retract the knife back to its sheath, changed slightly. Call out. The feet gathered chakra, and the figure disappeared in place. In the next second, a huge sharp bone protruded from the ground, almost making Lu angry. I, I can't fall down yet, I can't let such a scary guy catch up with Aki, hello, Nami Suzuki. Blood flowed from the corner of Kaimimaro's mouth, his face became ferocious, but his will was always so firm. The curse mark of the earth on the chest once again flashed orange-red light and the body that was originally painted with black lines changed at a speed visible to the naked eye, and there was a huge change in appearance and normal state. Lu Sheng, who appeared not far away, looked at Kimimaro, his face gradually became serious, and he murmured, the breathing is getting weaker, this guy, is he going to fight for his life with me? Thinking of this, a killing intent appeared in Lu Sheng's eyes. Kimimaro in this state does not cause him too much trouble, but it can bring him the threat of death. In the event of Uchiha Suzuki's defection, apart from the Battle of the Valley of Ending, what Lu Sheng has not forgotten so far is the comprehensive bone forest. Absolutely don't let him use that trick. Advertisement. Chapter 62 The Great Swordsman Slash, Two Tenths. Advertisement. Chapter 62 The Great Swordsman Slash. Whoosh. The figure ran towards Kimimaro, and Lu Sheng assumed the posture of drawing a sword, armed. Kimimaro who entered the second form, turned around suddenly, a large number of bones wrapped around his right arm, forming a huge bone sphere, and as he turned around, he stabbed towards Lu Shang. Tisk, dead bone pulses bones, how annoying. The killing blow to capture Qi was blocked by the bone sphere, Lu Shang stopped the running figure, and with an impatient face facing forward, he drew his knife and swung a silvery white light. 
Boom. The light of the knife turned into sword energy nearly 10 meters high, roaring away like a tsunami of blood. The ground was torn apart, and the terrifying airflow crushed all the surrounding flowers and plants into powder. Facing Lu Sheng's sword energy, Kimimaro did not choose to dodge this time, and turned into the right arm of the strongest spear, colliding with the sword energy. A person more than one meter tall, resisting the sword energy as high as three or four floors, is like an ant trying to shake an elephant. I saw the figure of Kimimaro, as if receiving an irresistible force, stepped on his feet on the ground, and began to move backwards, dragging out a long trace. Crack. Known as the strongest spear of 260, the dead bone pulse, which could not be broken even by kicking the lotus flower, had a few cracks on the surface, and a few bone fragments sputtered out. But as expected of the strongest spear, Kimimaro was forced back more than 10 meters. The bone spear was only broken on the surface, but the power of the sword energy became weaker and weaker. Ten seconds later, the sword energy dissipated completely. The sword energy that Uchiha Itake would have to avoid even to die could not be slashed, appeared the first person who resisted head-on and resisted it. Swishpuchi. Just as the sword energy dissipated, before Kimimaro could be happy, a burst of severe pain surged up from his waist. Looking down, his lower body has disappeared. Advertisement. And behind him, Lu Sheng had put back his knife into its sheath, turned his back to him and returned to the original road, leaving only a sigh of admiration like a breeze, you are an amazing strong man, go all the way. Kimimaro lay on the ground, staring at the blue sky with slack eyes. In his gradually blurred vision, the white cloud floating in the sky vaguely changed into the shape of a flower. This flower brings back memories of his encounter with Orokimaru. Thinking of the adult whom I crazily adore, he is now being, Ajseeb, tormented, waiting for the arrival of Uchiha Suzuki, and then starting a new reincarnation. Kaimimaro's gradually dissipated consciousness suddenly condensed again. The severed upper body, the closed eyelids opened again. Dance, the last. Dance of the fern. Ultimate's weak voice was covered by the breeze blowing. Puchichiki. The sound of a sharp weapon entering his body reached Lu Sheng's ears from a long distance away. Turning his head to look, Lu Sheng saw Kaimimaro's body merged into a large and sharp white bone. A large number of bones broke out in all directions, spreading towards Lu Sheng at an extremely fast speed. Lu Sheng's pupils constricted, and his emotions fluctuated violently for the first time. Damn, is this Will? Lu Sheng ran towards the forest, his face more ugly than ever. His blinking speed was very fast, but Wei Linyan's speed was even faster. A continuously rising shadow covered from behind. I can't escape. Lu Sheng stopped running, turned around and looked at the approaching bone forest, his ugly face gradually calmed down. Lu Sheng closed his eyes slowly, and did not give up struggling, but rested his right hand on the handle of the knife. Advertisement. No one will come to save him, the only one who will save him is himself. If the will can make a dying person use his last strength, then death can also force out his potential. Be calm, be sure to be calm. The more this is the case, the more calm I have to be. The sound of breathing of all things, the breathing range covering more than half of the Kanaha, I must be able to capture it. Pu chi 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 plop, 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 plop. The sound of bones breaking through the ground continued to be heard in my ears. The sound gradually changes from strong to weak. Unknowingly, in Lu Sheng's ears, the sound of his heartbeat drowned out Gu Lin's voice. With the approach of death, the heartbeat frequency reached an unprecedented speed, and the heart seemed to burst in the next second. Who? Hashtag. The breathing is extremely short, and every exhalation and inhalation seems so heavy. It's your own breath. No, it's not just my own breath, but also the breath of flowers and trees, air, and bones. So quiet. Lu Sheng suddenly whispered. Obviously the ground is shaking, the bone forest is rolling, the heart is beating, breathing is panting. My emotions, my heart, have become so quiet. In the dark, there is an ability that has the same effect as observation hacky, like a spider weaving a web, centered on Lu Sheng, spreading in all directions. One meter, ten meters, one hundred meters, two hundred meters, three hundred meters, four hundred meters, one thousand meters. Advertisement. In the mind, it seems that the perceived picture is projected. 
flowers and trees, birds and beasts, flowing rivers. Lu Shang slowly opened his eyes, looked at the approaching bone forest, held the handle of the knife calmly, drew it and swept it out. Swish! An unprecedented silver-white knife light flashed across like a comet, and it was fleeting. Boom! The sword light didn't seem to be transformed into sword energy, but the bone forest approaching in front collapsed suddenly, and the sharp long bones broke apart. The bone forest with a width of two to three hundred meters is like harvested straw, with a row of smooth and straight cuts. Looking from top to bottom, the entire bone forest has turned into white snow. Boom! However, the sound of the ground shaking still did not stop. I saw the forest on the opposite side of the grassland, from left to right, the jungle with a diameter of three to four hundred meters, rows of towering trees, collapsed suddenly. A crescent-shaped arc of sword energy has broken into the forest. Wherever the sword chi passed, all the trees were split into two, leaving a smooth and straight cut. Until a big mountain blocked the way of Jian Qi's progress. Boom! There was a loud explosion, and a huge cloud of dust was rolled up. The strong shaking sound can be heard even by the Ju Xiaoqiang, the Gara team and others who are very far away from here. When the dust and mist dissipated, a crack appeared on the mountain that anyone could see, like a fifth of an apple cut horizontally, very conspicuous. In the forest area on one side of the mountain, there is a vast area of woods, as if it has been felled, and it is in a state of embarrassment. Advertisement. Chapter 63 Like Swords, Like Hinata More, Three Tenths. Advertisement. Phew, so tired. Lu Sheng didn't express any sigh for the slash just now. Instead, he fell on the snow-like bone forest and closed his eyes drowsily. That knife can be said to be a knife beyond the limit. The sound of breathing of all things does not need to be consumed. The swordsman can hear the breathing sound of all things, but the breathing part is changing every second, and the breathing place is different every time. The swordsman must seize the opportunity and hit the breathing position before he can cut it off. To capture the breath, the spirit must be very concentrated and extremely focused. In this way, the spirit and brain will be consumed. Swinging the knife just now, Lu Sheng's spirit felt unprecedentedly exhausted. The excitement after death made him tremble and tremble all over. Even when he wanted to lift his right hand, his nerves seemed to have no response, or when he lifted it, he would feel a big rock hanging on his arm, which was extremely heavy. Lu Sheng just wants to sleep now. If someone came to kill him now, the success rate would be absolutely 100%. Closing his eyes, Lu Sheng didn't know if he fell asleep or not. He only felt that his consciousness seemed to be locked in a dark space, where there were a lot of images flickering, all of which were his memories of practicing swords when he was a child. Advertisement. When I first came to Other World, I was so repulsive to everything. There is no excitement from exposure to superpowers, nor confidence from mastering the plot, only the panic and despair brought about by the ordinary. Until one day, he abandoned himself for a walk in the forest and met three children bullying the little girl. After rushing out to vent his resentment against fate, the darkness that enveloped him was broken by the belated dawn. Sword practice, practice sword day after day. From practicing swords in order to live at first, to practicing swords determined to embark on the road of the strong, and finally falling in love with swords, obsessed with the power brought by slashing. He likes the feeling of swinging a sword. He loves to hear the breath of all things. He likes the feeling of slashing. He likes the feeling of cutting off everything and the human body. How wonderful that feeling is. Mr. Lu Shang. Mr. Lu Shang. Lu Shang didn't know how long he had slept, until a familiar gentle voice broke into his consciousness, and then he slowly opened his eyes. He neighed a. Looking at the beautiful face that filled his eyes, Lu Shang showed a gentle smile on his tired face. He neighed a hugged Lu Shang's head affectionately, gently stroked and touched his handsome face with small hands, and said softly, Mr. Lu Shang, are you okay? Behind her, there are still nine strong men headed by Nara Shikamaru. Nara Shikamaru with a badly injured Akimichi Koji on his back, a Barameshino with a badly injured Hayaga Niji on his back, Inuzuka Tooth with a tired Uzumaki Naruto on his back, and the Gara team. They looked at the bone forest like snow, and the grassland the flattened forest outside, and the mountain that was cut with a trace. Advertisement. Shock was written all over his face, and his heart was full of shock. This kind of terrain was obviously cut by something, as if the 100-meter titan was cutting horizontally with a 100-meter sword. They don't believe in gods, 
and this place is obviously made by a large-scale technique. The power of sword-related jutsu is still at the mysterious level of S-rank ninjutsu, and only Lu Sheng can do it among them. It was the first time they saw that the chief student who had been with him for six years was so embarrassed. What kind of person is he fighting? Nara Shikamaru and others, the secret passage that shocked their hearts. Hinata, I. Lu Sheng hugged Hinata's waist with his hands, and pressed his head against her tall and grown peaks, speaking lazily without masculinity. Um. Feeling Lu Sheng's dependence, Hinata said softly, Mr. Lu Sheng, go on sleeping. Lu Sheng cooperated with Hinata's movements, leaned on her delicate back, sniffed her natural fragrance, and said softly, Please, Hinata. Shino, let's go. Hinata stood up with Lu Sheng on his back, nodded to Nara Shikamaru and others, then looked at Abarame Shino, and said. Abarame Shino nodded, carrying Hayaganiji on his back, and the two returned toward the original path. Seeing them leave, Nara Shikamaru also organized other people to follow. However, they looked a little disappointed. Advertisement. Especially Nara Shikamaru and Azumaki Naruto, one blamed himself for hurting his teammates, and the other blamed himself for not bringing Uchiha Suzuki back. A group of 11 people started to return the same way. On the way, the Gara team bid farewell to Azumaki Naruto and left the team on the way. Half a day later, a group of nine people met Kakashi who was rushing over on the way back. Looking at the demoralized nine people, Kakashi's dead fish eyes with no fighting spirit also showed a touch of distress. Zero. After returning to the village, Lu Sheng, Hayaganiji, and Akimichi Koji were still awake. Kakashi and Nara Shikamaru first sent Hayaganiji and Akimichi Koji to the hospital, and then the injured were bandaged inside. And Hinata returned to Lu Sheng's home with Lu Sheng on her back. Looking at Lu Sheng who was lying on the bed, sleeping tiredly, Hinata stroked his brow with distress, then walked lightly to the bathroom, fetched a basin of gentle water, and wiped Lu Sheng's body with a towel. Since Lu Sheng's kimono has a self-cleaning function, Hinata's body wiping job is very simple. However, when passing by below, what he touched made Hinata blush again. Resisting the shyness and astringency to finish, Hinata poured the water, then returned to Lu Sheng's side, opened her eyes, gently pushed and rubbed his hands and feet with her palms, to help him relieve the fatigue of his body. Time flies by, and it is already dead of night outside. Hinata didn't know how many hours she pressed it until her eyelids were so heavy that she couldn't open them, then she lay down and fell asleep next to Lu Sheng. The moonlight of the seventeenth full moon shone in, like silver sand, sprinkled on the faces of handsome men and beautiful women. The breathing and heartbeat of the two seemed to be in sync at this moment, and the atmosphere was peaceful and warm. P.S. The third update will be released first, and the fourth and fifth updates will be released before 6 a.m. Everyone, go to bed early, and you can watch it when you wake up tomorrow. 10,000. Advertisement. Chapter 64 Happy Birthday, Hinata? Four tenths. Advertisement. When Lu Sheng woke up, it was already the morning when the dawn broke through the darkness. The sound of cicadas chirping came from outside the window, and Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes. An uncomfortable feeling of powerlessness surged up immediately. Just when he was about to raise his head, his vision blurred for a while, causing Lu Sheng to lie down again. At this time, there was a sense of heaviness in my arms, and a familiar fragrance poured into my nostrils. Looking down at the girl lying in his arms, the feeling of last night appeared in Lu Sheng's mind. In a daze, I remembered that Hinata seemed to be wiping his body and then massaging his hands and feet without any sticky feeling. The feeling last night should be real. Thinking of this, Lu Sheng's eyes softened. Raising his hand to touch Hinata's soft long hair, Lu Sheng lay quietly, ignoring his complaining empty stomach. You killed Kimimaro and gained 1.22% experience. Your Eagle Eye Inheritance Template has been unlocked to 63.58%. While stroking and stroking Hinata's hair, Lu Sheng checked the system. Looking at the 1.22% experience, Lu Sheng just nodded in satisfaction. In the seven years since time travel, apart from the fight with the 309 kids, it was the first time that Lu Sheng was in such a mess. Kimimaro made him feel the suffocation of death for the first time. This experience is completely in line with his level. Advertisement. After looking at the system, Lu Sheng closed his eyes. Not to enter the spiritual world, but to listen to the breathing around you. He was out of strength yesterday, 
so he didn't have time to comprehend the realm of the great swordsman. Now that he is full of energy, Lu Sheng naturally wants to experience that feeling again. A moment later, Lu Sheng opened his red eyes, and a look of disappointment flashed in his eyes, the breathing range is three times larger than before. Was the knife yesterday just an epiphany? Lu Sheng's knife yesterday was somewhat stronger than the knife that cut off the iceberg in Hawkeye's original book. But Hawkeye swung that knife very easily. Lu Sheng, on the other hand, was exhausted. Back then everything breathed, and the coverage was pretty exaggerated. Lu Sheng's current feelings are still very clear. But after he focused on listening to the breathing of all things, he couldn't enter the state of yesterday. It's the same as returning to reality and entering a short-lived state after watching the battle between Hawkeye and Red Hair in the spiritual world. However, the range of breathing is several times stronger than yesterday's normal state. This can't help but remind Lu Sheng, the epiphany of death. Death is really a terrible thing. Lu Sheng sighed slightly in his heart. Boom. Lu Sheng big brother. At this moment, the sleeping Hineda and Lu Sheng, who was in deep thought, were suddenly awakened by a loud noise. The door of the room was pushed open forcefully from the outside. Advertisement. I saw Hanabi ran in with a worried face, her delicate and small body jumped up, and the whole body fell on Lu Sheng's body. Ahem. Lu Sheng, who is not physically strong, was almost suffocated by Hanabi. However, the face was wet and wet, looking at Hanabi with tears all over his face, Lu Sheng couldn't raise a trace of anger. Lu Sheng held Hanabi's head, gently wiped off her tears with two fingers, and asked softly, what's the matter, why are you crying? I, I heard, went to rescue Uchiha Suzuki's team, all were injured, Niji big brother was seriously injured, one of them was a silver-haired Shinin, unconscious I thought Lu Sheng big brother, something happened to you. Hanabi lay on Lu Sheng's body, choked up and said, Hineda, who was about to complain about her, softened her face. After hearing her words, Lu Sheng showed a smile, raised his head and kissed Hanabi's eyes, touched her head, and comforted, no matter what you hear in the future, you must remember, your Lu Sheng big brother, nothing will happen. This is my promise to Hanabi, understand. Hmm. Hanabi answered with a choked nasal voice, raised her hand and stretched out her little finger towards Lu, tearfully said, pull the hook. Lu Sheng couldn't help laughing, the little finger of his right hand hooked Hanabi's little finger and shook it up and down, pull the hook. We. Oui. Hanabi laughed through tears, after all, she was just a seven-year-old girl. However, Lu Sheng has found the second precious gem in his life. Time flies like water. Two months later. The time has come to mid-December, and the end of the year is coming soon. After experiencing Uchiha Suzuki's defection, the nine big and small strong seem to have transformed and began to grow up. Advertisement. Among the biggest changes are Azumaki Naruto and Nara Shikamaru. A Uzumaki Naruto who promises to bring Uchiha Suzuki back to the girl he loves, but fails. As if aware of his own weakness and resenting his own weakness, Uzumaki Naruto became less childish while looking for various ways to find clues to Uchiha Suzuki. The other is Nara Shikamaru who hurt his teammates and blamed himself very much. Although he is still lazy on the surface, as long as he enters the task state in his heart, he will cheer up and use his natural brain to prepare plans for the task. In addition, the twelve little powers, after the joint battle, have grown the flowers of friendship. In some gatherings, Inuzuka Kiba and Nara Shikamaru from class 7, class 9, and class 10 will come and invite class 8 to participate. There is also Hayaganiji's third class, the Gai class. Lu Sheng refused at first, until he was so annoyed that he took the eighth class to participate a few times. The relationship with Xiao Xiaoqiang in the original book has changed from an unfamiliar classmate relationship to a nodding acquaintance. Of course, this is what Lu Sheng thinks. Nara Shikamaru and others have already regarded him as a trustworthy partner. The end of the year is approaching, and the weather with heavy snow is coming. December 27th. Today, Lu Sheng prepared a surprise for Hineda. At Lu Sheng's house at night, the line is dim. Hineda and Hanabi, who were called by Lu Sheng, saw a cake filled with twelve candles in the living room. A pair of hands quietly covered the corners of her eyes from behind. A soft voice sounded from the ear, Happy birthday, beautiful white-eyed princess. Advertisement. Chapter 65 Lu Sheng is scared, five-tenths. Advertisement. Chapter 65, Lu Sheng is scared. Carnival day is over. After dawn, the heavy snowfall had stopped, 
and the ground was covered with a thick layer of goose feathers, covered in plain silver. Pedestrians on the street wore heavy clothes, and children began to build snowmen. The cold weather did not affect the bustle and bustle of Kanaha. At Lu Sheng's house, the curtains of the room were slowly opened. A young and handsome face appeared on the window. Lu Sheng glanced at the snow scene outside, then looked down at the two sisters lying on the bed, Chuang. Under the thick quilt, two small, delicate heads were exposed. Their faces were so beautiful and lovely, their facial features were exquisite, and their long lavender and black hair fell on the bed. Bowing his head on the foreheads of the two women, each of them slammed, when, Lu Sheng stood up and looked at the chaotic room, the madness of last night appeared in his mind, and he couldn't help smiling. The surprise that she carefully prepared last night really made Hinata lose control of her emotions. That gentle and shy girl played those crazy little games with herself under Hanabi's instigation. Thinking of those crazy little games, Lu Sheng's body couldn't help feeling hot and flowing, dispelling the chill brought by the cold winter. Of course, the content of those small games is not an exaggeration. It's just a simple pass of paper with a scorpion, and whoever falls will be punished with a squirrel to feed the other party a drink. If Lu Sheng wants to play this kind of small game, he only needs to be a little bit coquettish to Hinata, or Hinata, who is a bit more aggressive and has a submissive personality, will 100% agree. But why Hanabi was there last night? After the atmosphere got up, they played crazy and agreed to Hanabi's joining. Advertisement. Thinking back on Hanabi's feelings, Lu Sheng couldn't help feeling guilty. Animals, students, she is only 7 years old. No, Hanabi's birthday is March 27th. He is already 8 years old. Lu Sheng shook his head hastily, and stopped turning off. Then I went to the bathroom and room to wash up, and Lu Sheng started to tidy up the messy house. Although girls in this world are very precocious, Hanabi is still an 8-year-old girl. The cake last night was wasted by the three of them without taking a few bites. Even the gentle Hinata went crazy because of playing, and went to bed without cleaning up last night. They went to the bathroom and room to fetch a bucket of water. Lu Sheng wore a bathrobe and an apron around his waist and began to clean the house. First, sweep up the garbage on the floor, and then Lu Sheng uses a wet, she, towel to wipe off the cakes, tables and chairs stuck to the wall. Cleaning is a very troublesome thing, but Lu Sheng is not impatient at all. On the contrary, he is enjoying this feeling very much now. The dream of others, is wanting to be Hokage, wanting to be a powerful ninja, or wanting world peace. Lu Sheng has no such ambitions. He just wants to have the strength to protect himself, and live like this with Hinata every day. But thinking of the troubled times a few years later, and the Atsutsuki clan who came from outsider, Lu Sheng's strength is far from being able to protect himself, and there is still a long way to go. Therefore, he cannot be lazy. After cleaning the house, Lu Sheng came to the gym and began to exercise. Advertisement. Push UPS with weights, leapfrogs with weights, pull UPS with weights. Two hours later, I started running around the village with weights. The weight of training is far higher than before, even several times larger than before. From two months ago, Lu Sheng spent almost half of his day on exercising. For the body flicker technique, it has been completely abandoned. Because, he felt scared. Yes, Lu Sheng was scared. He was afraid to meet Kimimaro again, that type of ninja. In the ninja world, apart from the powerful Taijutsu ninjas, the ninjas who master time and space ninjutsu, and the ninjas who practice immortality, Mainjikyo Sherinan, can make Lu Sheng feel threatened. Other types of ninjas, such as Yuhi Hong, Asuma this kind of jonin, Dadai Zabazan, and Kakashi, this kind of elite jonin, Lu Sheng has no fear. Is Kimimaro strong? It is very strong, and it has the power to threaten the shadow in its heyday. However, he was seriously ill, Lu Sheng easily got rid of him. But it was such a sick child that made Lu Sheng feel the feeling of death for the first time. If death didn't force out his potential, Lu Sheng would surely die. However, in the original book, Kaimimaro's dance of early fern was easily avoided by Gara with a floating sand pile. This is a comprehensive esoteric attack. Why did Lu Sheng almost die? The reason is that he was too slow and could not fly. At that time, Lu Sheng knew that his real flaw was not his speed, but his inability to fly. If he remembers correctly, the Akatsuki organization still has a character who can be called incomprehensible. That person is not Uchiha Itake, nor Six Paths Pain, Angel Conan, but Dashdi Adara. 
Advertisement. Lu Shang, who has not tested the chakra attribute and has not mastered any kind of nature transformation, unless he instantly kills Diadera at the fastest speed, otherwise Diadera will use C4 Garuda and Co self explosion, and Lu Shang will undoubtedly die. That feeling of powerlessness, Lu Shang didn't want to experience it again. So he decided to give up the body flicker technique, and change the system and step. Moonwalk is one of the Marine Six styles. It is a trick that can run in the air by perfectly using the shave technique. If you want to learn moonwalk, you must master shave perfectly, if you want to master shade, you must improve your physique. In the ninja world, the only person who can use moonwalk is the might guy who has activated the eight inner gates formation. To master these two physical arts, Lu Sheng needs to spend a lot of effort. So in the next three years, Lu Sheng decided to do his best to improve his physique. After Lu Sheng ran around the leaves for three hours, Li Dezeo, he returned home sweating profusely. By this time, Hineda and Hanabi had already woken up. Seeing Lu Sheng coming back panting, and Hineda sitting on the sofa in the living room with Hanabi, they immediately got up and walked over, using the cuffs of their pajamas to wipe Lu Sheng's sweat. Then he was stopped by Lu Sheng, he said with a smile, no need to wipe, there is no more training, I just go to take a shower. You, um. Hineda nodded, blushing slightly. Obviously after waking up, she had already recalled what happened last night. Even Hanabi on the sofa didn't jump over, but sat there with a flushed face, bowing his head like an ostrich. You know, in the past no matter how sweaty Lu Sheng was, she would pounce on him without any care. It can be seen that this little witch is also hurt and hurt. Advertisement. Chapter 66 When he returns, troubled times will come, six tenths. Advertisement. After Lu Sheng came out of the shower, a burst of fragrance rushed from the direction of the restaurant. Glancing at the clock hanging on the wall, the current time is 10.45 a.m., Lu Sheng walked into the restaurant and asked, Have you all not had breakfast yet? Yeah, my sister made breakfast early, but she won't eat until Lu Sheng big brother comes back. Hanabi seemed to have overcome her shyness and regained her previous vivacity. She rubbed her belly and teased Hineda said, even my sister is hungry, and I don't want to let others touch my chopsticks. Lu Sheng touched Hanabi's head, looked at Hineda and said with a smile, if you cook here in the future, you don't have to wait for me for breakfast, and if you're not here, just bring me a lunch at noon just come here. In the mornings from now on, I will, exercise until 11 or 12 o'clock. Um. Hineda nodded obediently, but remembered this point in her heart. Earlier in the future, get up earlier? Sitting on the chairs, Lu Sheng and the three began to eat breakfast. The dinner was not serious, on the contrary very cheerful. Among the three, Hineda and Lu Sheng are only 13 years old, and the other is Tuanuan. Lu Sheng himself is not a withdrawn person. When it was just him and Hineda before, he would often find topics to chat with Hineda, but now with Hanabi, a lively girl, there is no shortage of atmosphere. While eating, Lu Sheng chatted with Hanabi, and told her not to relax in her cultivation, and to go to the small valley to practice on the water after the winter passed. Hineda was eating quietly at the side, looking softly at the person she loves and her younger sister, with a happy smile on her face. Advertisement. Such a life, good garden? I really want time to freeze at this moment, and the three will never be separated. At this moment, Lu Sheng suddenly turned his head to look at Hineda and said, Hineda, after a while, let's go on a trip together, what do you think? Why? Hineda was taken aback by the sudden words. Immediately looking at Lu Sheng with expectant eyes, he couldn't help but recall the words Lu Sheng said during the Chunin exam to travel together in the ninja world. Her pretty face gradually turned red, Hineda lowered her head, and answered in a nasal voice as thin as a mosquito. Hey, what about me, what about me? Hanabi next to him immediately put down his bowl and chopsticks when he saw the two people flirting again, looked at Lu Sheng expectantly, and asked, Lu Sheng big brother, can I come with you? Lu Sheng touched Hanabi's head, and refused with a smile, you are still young, when you grow up and become genin, let's go out together, okay? Hanabi responded with great disappointment, knowing Lu Sheng's will, she did not continue to insist. After eating, Lu Sheng came to the gym by himself while Hineda and Hanabi were cleaning up the dishes, and began to complete today's daily tasks. Slashing is the best test of Lu Sheng's growth. When he was a child, Lu Sheng had just realized the sound of breathing of all things, 
so Lu Shang could only go outside to practice slashing, for fear of accidentally destroying the gymnasium. After growing up, he managed to master the mysteries of swinging a knife and slashing before returning home. But now, Lu Shang has a kind of back-to-basics style of a master. Advertisement. He holds a bamboo sword that is not Shijur Kintoki, and swings it very normally. Every time it fell, there was no whirlwind that cut off the airflow, and Lu Shang's hair and clothes could not even be seen flying. But the statistics of the number of system tasks are soaring every second. After an hour and a half, Lu Sheng stopped swinging the knife. Not far away, Hineda and Hanabi have already started today's training, and they didn't come to disturb him. Putting down the bamboo knife, Lu Sheng sat down cross-legged, posing in the sword zen posture, closed his eyes and entered the spiritual world. Since September, Lu Sheng hasn't entered the spiritual world. 0.02% swordsmanship experience can't bring him much help. So he accumulated it all at once, plus Kaimimaro's 1.22% experience, and realized it together. Consciousness began to shuttle, and Lu Sheng's soul seemed to cross the boundary and attached to a man with eagle eyes. In the spiritual world, Hawkeye seems to be on the verge of Dugachu's defeat. 0. Seeking flowers. For a few percent of the sword life, there are no more than two battles, all of which are cats catching mice and crushing those challengers who come here for fame. It is worth mentioning that Hawkeye is already the strength of the great swordsman. In those few two battles, Lu Sheng entered his perspective and entered a familiar state. The feeling that everything breathes in a wide range, as if everything can be cut off, made Lu Sheng obsessed and fascinated. After he exited the spiritual world, Lu Sheng still did not open his eyes, but closed his eyes and immersed himself in the feeling just now. Everything around him breathed, and the range gradually expanded. Advertisement. During the Chenin exam, Lu Sheng's maximum listening range was more than 100 meters. It is 70% of his strength to cut through the giant wall of the venue. But now, his listening range has reached 4 to 500 meters. The number of breaths of dead objects not only skyrocketed, but even the breath seemed so heavy. Lu Sheng's realm is already a top-notch swordsman. The foundation is extremely solid, and the slash is extremely pure. As long as the breathing range of all things is increased, he can step into the realm of the great swordsman at any time. After a long time, Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes, Duke Chu lost the remaining 30% of his kendo life? The world's number one swordsman is really powerful. It was only 2 o'clock in the afternoon when the practice of kendo was over. Lu Sheng asked Hineda to take Hanabi home, while he began to exercise boringly. One month later, when the new year comes, Lu Sheng announced that the 8th class had a long rest, and he came to the Hokage office, took a long vacation, and left Kanaha with Hineda, who had already been accepted by the Hayaga family. Embark on a journey through the ninja world. Soon after, Destiny Child will also start a two-an-a half-year practice with the legendary son in Jireya. When he returns, troubled times will come. P.S. Not long after I woke up, the update is late. Scholar will not go to the water protagonist and Hineda's travel experience, the next chapter or the next chapter, and the boyhood, and start Shippuden. 7. Advertisement. Chapter 66 When he returns, troubled times will come, 6 tenths. Advertisement. After Lu Sheng came out of the shower, a burst of fragrance rushed from the direction of the restaurant. Glancing at the clock hanging on the wall, the current time is 10.45 a.m., Lu Sheng walked into the restaurant and asked, Have you all not had breakfast yet? Yeah. My sister made breakfast early, but she won't eat until Lu Sheng big brother comes back. Hanabi seemed to have overcome her shyness and regained her previous vivacity. She rubbed her belly and teased Hineda said, Even my sister is hungry, and I don't want to let others touch my chopsticks. Lu Sheng touched Hanabi's head, looked at Hineda and said with a smile, If you cook here in the future, you don't have to wait for me for breakfast, and if you're not here, just bring me a lunch at noon just come here. In the mornings from now on, I will, exercise until 11 or 12 o'clock. Um. Hineda nodded obediently, but remembered this point in her heart. Earlier in the future, get up earlier? Sitting on the chairs, Lu Sheng and the three began to eat breakfast. The dinner was not serious, on the contrary very cheerful. Among the three, Hineda and Lu Sheng are only 13 years old, and the other is Tuanuan. Lu Sheng himself is not a withdrawn person. When it was just him and Hineda before, he would often find topics to chat with Hineda, but now with Hanabi, 
a lively girl, there is no shortage of atmosphere. While eating, Lu Sheng chatted with Hanabi, and told her not to relax in her cultivation, and to go to the small valley to practice on the water after the winter passed. Hineda was eating quietly at the side, looking softly at the person she loves and her younger sister, with a happy smile on her face. Advertisement. Such a life, good garden? I really want time to freeze at this moment, and the three will never be separated. At this moment, Lu Sheng suddenly turned his head to look at Hineda and said, Hineda, after a while, let's go on a trip together, what do you think? Why? Hineda was taken aback by the sudden words. Immediately looking at Lu Sheng with expectant eyes, he couldn't help but recall the words Lu Sheng said during the Chunin exam to travel together in the ninja world. Her pretty face gradually turned red, Hineda lowered her head, and answered in a nasal voice as thin as a mosquito. Hey, what about me, what about me? Hanabi next to him immediately put down his bowl and chopsticks when he saw the two people flirting again, looked at Lu Sheng expectantly, and asked, Lu Sheng big brother, can I come with you? Lu Sheng touched Hanabi's head, and refused with a smile, you are still young, when you grow up and become genin, let's go out together, okay? Hanabi responded with great disappointment, knowing Lu Sheng's will, she did not continue to insist. After eating, Lu Sheng came to the gym by himself while Hineda and Hanabi were cleaning up the dishes, and began to complete today's daily tasks. Slashing is the best test of Lu Sheng's growth. When he was a child, Lu Sheng had just realized the sound of breathing of all things, so Lu Sheng could only go outside to practice slashing, for fear of accidentally destroying the gymnasium. After growing up, he managed to master the mysteries of swinging a knife and slashing before returning home. But now, Lu Sheng has a kind of back-to-basics style of a master. Advertisement. He holds a bamboo sword that is not Shijur Kintoki, and swings it very normally. Every time it fell, there was no whirlwind that cut off the airflow, and Lu Sheng's hair and clothes could not even be seen flying. But the statistics of the number of system tasks are soaring every second. After an hour and a half, Lu Sheng stopped swinging the knife. Not far away, Hineda and Hanabi have already started today's training, and they didn't come to disturb him. Putting down the bamboo knife, Lu Sheng sat down cross-legged, posing in the sword zen posture, closed his eyes and entered the spiritual world. Since September, Lu Sheng hasn't entered the spiritual world. 0.02% swordsmanship experience can't bring him much help. So he accumulated it all at once, plus Kaimimaro's 1.22% experience, and realized it together. Consciousness began to shuttle, and Lu Sheng's soul seemed to cross the boundary and attached to a man with eagle eyes. In the spiritual world, Hawkeye seems to be on the verge of Duguchu's defeat. Zero, seeking flowers. For a few percent of the sword life, there are no more than two battles, all of which are cats catching mice and crushing those challengers who come here for fame. It is worth mentioning that Hawkeye is already the strength of the great swordsman. In those few two battles, Lu Sheng entered his perspective and entered a familiar state. The feeling that everything breathes in a wide range, as if everything can be cut off, made Lu Sheng obsessed and fascinated. After he exited the spiritual world, Lu Sheng still did not open his eyes, but closed his eyes and immersed himself in the feeling just now. Everything around him breathed, and the range gradually expanded. Advertisement. During the Chunin exam, Lu Sheng's maximum listening range was more than 100 meters. It is 70% of his strength to cut through the giant wall of the venue. But now, his listening range has reached 4 to 500 meters. The number of breaths of dead objects not only skyrocketed, but even the breath seemed so heavy. Lu Sheng's realm is already a top-notch swordsman. The foundation is extremely solid, and the slash is extremely pure. As long as the breathing range of all things is increased, he can step into the realm of the great swordsman at any time. After a long time, Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes, Duke Chu lost the remaining 30% of his kendo life? The world's number one swordsman is really powerful. It was only 2 o'clock in the afternoon when the practice of kendo was over. Lu Sheng asked Hineda to take Hanabi home, while he began to exercise boringly. One month later, when the new year comes, Lu Sheng announced that the 8th class had a long rest, and he came to the Hokage office, took a long vacation, and left Kanaha with Hineda, who had already been accepted by the Hayaga family. Embark on a journey through the ninja world. Soon after, Destiny Child will also start a 2 and a half year practice with the legendary son in Jireya. When he returns, 
Troubled times will come. P.S. Not long after I woke up, the update is late. Scholar will not go to the water protagonist and Hinata's travel experience, the next chapter or the next chapter, and the boyhood, and start Shippuden. 7. Advertisement. Chapter 67 A New Winter, The Realm of the Great Swordsman, 7 tenths. Advertisement. Chapter 67, A New Winter, The Realm of the Great Swordsman. Kanaha 61, November 11th. Within the territory of the Land of Fire, the earth is covered with snow, and the white sky is covered with large swaths of goose feathers. In a place like a woman's double peaks, there are snow-capped mountains of all sizes. The two figures walked along the snowy road and climbed towards the top of the mountain under heavy snow. The goose feathers fell on the red-oiled paper, and the strong wind could not shake the paper umbrella, which was held tightly by one hand. I saw a man and a woman under the umbrella. The man is extremely handsome, with silver hair and red eyes under a smooth and fair face, wearing a black kimono, with a simple white scarf tied around his neck, he is not afraid of the cold wind. The woman is wearing a heavy white coat, with a red scarf tied around her neck, holding the corner of the man's clothes with 067 in one hand, blocking her eyes with the other hand, looking at the snow-capped mountains on the opposite side. The two are exactly the tour, Lu Sheng and Hinata who have been traveling for almost a year. One year is not a long time, but it is enough to change many people and things. During this year, both Lu Sheng and Hinata have undergone obvious changes. First of all, both of them have grown taller. Lu Sheng's height is already 172 centimeters, and Hinata's height is also 161 centimeters. Both of them have waist-length hair. Lu Sheng is still tied into a single ponytail, while Hinata has straightened hair. However, compared with Lu Sheng, Hinata has changed even more. Under the heavy white clothes, the scale is no longer one-handed. Although it cannot be compared with the 91E of Shippuden, it is at least D, and she will continue to develop in the next two years. Advertisement. Lu Sheng still remembers Ruz's collarbone more than a year ago. This change is really too big. However, this change brought a lot of love and fun to the two of them at night. Closer to home, Lu Sheng and Hinata climbed towards the summit, not to watch the snow, but to test their progress. For a year, Lu Sheng didn't just travel with Hinata in the ninja world, he didn't stop practicing kendo and body training. On the contrary, every time the two passed through a place, Lu Sheng would use the local equipment, or the power of nature, to increase the difficulty of his cultivation. Lu Sheng now is far from what he was in January. The reason why he is so confident is, your Hawkeye inheritance template has been unlocked to 70.25%. Arriving at the top of the snow mountain, Lu Sheng put away the paper umbrella and handed it to Hinata next to him. Looking through the heavy snow, I looked at the snow-capped mountains opposite. Hoo-hoo. There was a knife-like cold wind whistling in his ears, making Lu Sheng's clothes flutter, and his face was aching. Without the obstruction of the paper umbrella, the snowflakes quickly covered Lu Sheng and Hinata's bodies with a layer of pure white. The heavy snow intensified and showed no sign of stopping. Lu Sheng's line of sight was quickly covered with a thick layer of silver, covering the face of the opposite snow mountain. Lu Sheng turned a blind eye, stared at it for a while, and then slowly closed his eyes. With his right hand resting on the handle of the knife at his waist, Lu Sheng assumed the posture of drawing the knife. Woo! Advertisement. Plop, puff. The strong wind sound of howling ghosts and wolves came into the ears. Lu Sheng's movements were frozen for a long time. A heartbeat broke through the wind just now, and it came into the ears faintly. The sound ranges from weak to strong, from slight to severe. The invisible perception began to weave into a net, covering the sound of the strong wind, receiving the heartbeats of Lu Sheng and Hinata into the ears. The strange yet familiar state made Lu Sheng's emotions and heart quiet. Consciousness seems to have entered a closed secret room, overlooking Feng Yuan's thousand-meter world from the perspective of God. The breath of all things, like gas, was transformed into an invisible giant hand by his perception, and he held it tightly in his hand. Lu Sheng didn't draw the saber quickly, but gently pulled the blade out of the sheath. Raising the sword in his hand, Lu Sheng slowly opened his eyes. His red eyes were like an indestructible sharp blade, tearing open the snow scene covering the front. WH Boom. The Tadeo held high suddenly turned into a silvery white light, slashing down from top to bottom. The atmosphere in front suddenly exploded. 
The space seems to be distorted, the materialized airflow blows away the heavy snow in front of it, and the weather with heavy snow suddenly becomes clear, showing the snow-capped mountains on the opposite side. An indescribably terrifying dark red sword energy directly cut the opposite snow mountain from the middle, cutting it in two. This is much more than that? Hineda covered her lips and looked at the sky in shock. Advertisement. The white sky looked gloomy at this time. An incomparably deep gully, like a moat, hangs above the snow mountain, as if it has been cut off. The sky was indeed cut open. Lu Sheng's consciousness overlooks Fang Yuan for a thousand meters, and the breathing range of listening is not only the earth, but also the sky. As Lu Sheng swung his saber down, the airflow at a height of 1,000 meters was also cut off, distorted to form such a moat, which made people look like they cut off the sky. Ha, he he, ha ha ha. Lu Sheng put the knife back into its sheath, put his right hand around Hinata's fragrant shoulders, and leaned forward tremblingly, looking at the snow-capped mountains and the sky that were divided into two, with a huge arc on the corner of his mouth, and let out an unbearable laugh, finally, finally mastered this terrifying power. The slash just now was still the ultimate slash. After swinging it out, it seems that all the energy of the 1.9 stick has been absorbed. But Lu Sheng's mood was more excited than a year ago. Because this knife is not an epiphany of death, it is not everything that stimulates potential. It was the great sword he had truly mastered and was able to wield. From now on, he is a real great swordsman. A great swordsman with the power to break mountains and seas. Traveling through eight years, practicing sword for seven years, for this moment. Hineda, let's go home. Lu Sheng lay on Hineda's back again, hugged her neck with both hands, and said happily, um. Hineda seemed to feel Lu Sheng's mood, and nodded vigorously, with a happy smile on her back, she went back down the mountain on the same road. Advertisement. Chapter 68 Hineda who wants to be entrusted for life, 8 tenths. Advertisement. Four days later, Lu Sheng and Hineda finally returned to Kanaha after almost a year. Walking into the entrance of the village, Lu Sheng and Hineda first went to the Hokage office to report to Tsunade. Looking at the two people who have changed significantly since the beginning of the year, Tsunade sighed helplessly, You guys are back. I don't have the slightest thought of eight trigrams about the love journey of you little brats. But since you are back, don't forget about the ninja. I will give you three more days to rest and I will restart the 8th class in 3 days. Yes, Lu Sheng and Hineda said in response. Leaving Hokage's office, Lu Sheng and Hineda parted ways on the street. It was rare for Hineda to return to her home instead of going back with Lu Sheng. After all, I have been away from home for nearly a year, and the first time I return to the village, I naturally have to go home first. Moreover, after Hayaga Hayashi untied Hayaga Niji's heart knot and saw Lu Sheng's size, he was no longer the same indifferent to Hineda as he was when he was a child. The main family will be inherited by Hanabi in the future, and Hineda will not be engraved with caged bird as long as she is married. My two daughters will not be like myself and my younger brother in the future, and will also let the Hayaga family get a cage-level son-in-law 09. Whether it is Hayaga Hayashi or the Hayaga family, they all support Lu Sheng and Hineda together. And from the mouths of Hanabi and Hayaga Niji, after Hayaga Hayashi learned of Hineda's strength, he even tacitly agreed that Hanabi went to Lu Sheng to help with training. Although I haven't met Hayaga Hayashi yet, both parties are happy. Back home, Lu Sheng began to clean the house that had not been lived in for nearly a year. While he was cleaning, sisters Hineda and Hanabi unexpectedly came over. Advertisement. The three of them worked together to clean up the dusty house. After working for several hours, the three of them looked at the brand new house with accomplished smiles on their dirty faces. After taking a shower in the bathroom and living room, Lu Sheng and Hanabi chatted on the bed in light bathrobes. And Hineda went out to buy vegetables and prepare today's dinner. Hanabi sat on Lu Sheng's body, pressed his hands on Lu Sheng's head, pressed the acupuncture points on his head with two palms, stared at him with closed eyes, with a stern face, and asked with a smile, Hey, Lu Sheng big brother. Where have you been with your sister this year? Where is the funniest place? Lu Sheng opened his eyes, looked at Hanabi, who was much older than a year ago, and had long hair, and replied with a chuckle, I have been to so many places, so many that I can't remember them all. Do Hanabi want to know? Yeah. Hanabi nodded repeatedly. Raising his hand and pinching her small face, Lu Sheng smiled and said, When Hanabi grows up, 
The big brother will take you to have a look, okay? Lu Sheng's tone was clearly coaxing the child. But Hanabi nodded vigorously, and said expectantly, it's agreed. After Hanabi graduates, Lu Sheng big brother will also take Hanabi to travel and can't bring sister. Yes. Lu Sheng nodded perfunctorily and closed his eyes again. Hanabi, on the other hand, was full of endless energy, massaging, and massaging Lu Sheng intently. The fingers fall from the head to the back of the neck, and then from the back of the neck to the shoulders, arms, waist, legs, butt. Hanabi's immature and lovely face is full of seriousness. Eyelids open slightly, looking at Hanabi who was focusing on himself, Lu Sheng was in a daze, as if he saw Hinata when he was a child. Lu Sheng smiled slightly and continued to close his eyes. Enjoying the top massage and massage skills of the Hayaga clan, Lu Sheng fell asleep without knowing it. When Lu Sheng woke up, it was already pitch black outside. Mr. Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng Big Brother. Advertisement. Under the soft and lively call, the two faces of Hinata and Hanabi appeared in Lu Sheng's eyes. Under their serving, Lu Sheng got up and washed up, and went to the restaurant for dinner together. Life seems to have returned to a year ago, the atmosphere is still warm, and there seems to be no change. Kanaha 61, December 27th. Before I knew it, Hinata's birthday came again. Memories of last year, like slides, are often played back in Lu Sheng's mind. Today, the sky of Kanaha village is covered with heavy snow, which is very similar to last year's scene. Lu Sheng and Hinata have been back for nearly two weeks, and the eighth shift has already restarted. Whether it is Lu Sheng and Hinata, or a Baramashino, they are all different from last year, and there have been major or minor changes. In the past two weeks, the 8th class went out to perform a B-level mission to protect a noble in the land of fire go to 10 small circles to buy local specialties. I met a few wandering ninjas when going back and forth, and it was not difficult. Today, Lu Sheng prepared surprises as always. However, after nightfall, only Hinata came. Lu Sheng who was hiding in the corner was slightly taken aback, but he didn't care. Like last year, he quietly walked behind Hinata, Lu Sheng covered her eyes with his hands, and said softly, beautiful white-eyed princess, happy birthday. Hinata did not take Lu Sheng's hand away this time, but leaned on Lu Sheng's arms, raised her head and murmured, Mr. Lu Sheng. Looking at the affectionate, Dong, Hinata, Lu Sheng lowered his head with a smile, and kissed his bright red lips. This suffocation lasted until they suffocated each other before it ended. Sitting on the sofa in the living room, Lu Sheng hugged Hinata from behind, and the two blew out the candles and cut the cake. Advertisement. Without turning on the light, they just chatted in the dark. For some reason, Lu Sheng feels that Hinata's emotions are more out of control today than last year. It shouldn't be, this is not the first time. She must remember what day it is, shouldn't she get used to it? Clatter. As the night gradually darkened, Lu Sheng lay on the bed after taking a shower listening to the sound of water dripping in 107 countries. The room is still dark, only the bathroom and the room are lit. After an unknown amount of time, Lu Sheng felt a warmth in his arms. Lu Sheng hugged subconsciously, and then his face was surprised. Looking down at Hinata with only one head exposed under the quilt, Lu Sheng couldn't help laughing, is that why you are in such an abnormal mood today? N. Hinata replied as thin as a mosquito, buried her head in Lu Sheng's arms, and tremblingly said, I, I want to give myself, all to Lu Sheng Jun. Hearing this, Lu Sheng was not excited, touched her hair, and said in a low voice, actually, I also really want to take all of Hineta, and this idea has been around since last year. But, not yet. Lu Sheng said softly, Hineta is not familiar enough yet, I want to take everything from you when you are the most beautiful. Lu Sheng is not referring to the time of marriage, but the time between the ages of 16 and 19. Hinata at that time was the most beautiful. However, Hinata made a mistake, hugged Lu Sheng tightly, and happily replied, Yeah. At this time, Lu Sheng suddenly lowered his head, leaned close to her ear, and whispered, I can't do that now, but Hinata, you can help me, you just irritated me. How, how can I help? Hinata's confused voice sounded. Come on, I'll teach you. Advertisement. Chapter 69 Two years later, 9 tenths. Advertisement. Chapter 69, Two years later. In the early morning, the courtyard of Lu Sheng's house. Stepping on the snow covered with goose feathers, Lu punched his fists in a refreshed manner. 
The cold that started to melt the snow couldn't affect Lu Shang in the slightest. Because no matter how cold the weather is, it will be melted by his fiery heart. The scene of last night played back in his mind, and Lu Shang couldn't help showing a happy smile on his face. Lu Shang didn't take all of Hinata last night, but he also experienced Hinata. From waking up to now, Lu Shang's heart has never been peaceful. Even the knife meditation didn't have any effect, he could only go outdoors to punch, let the cold of the melting snow dispel his hot heart. Lu Shang didn't know how long he had been beating, but he didn't stop until he noticed that Hinata's breath began to move in the house, and turned back to the house. In Yushili, Hinata was gargling, and the side of the mouthpiece was full of white foam. When she saw Lu Shang appear through the mirror, she subconsciously looked at Lu Shang, who was leaning against the door with his hands in his arms, with a playful smile on his face. The beautiful face immediately flushed red at a speed visible to the naked eye, and a white mist that had not been seen for a long time emanated from her head. The mouthwash in the pot seems to still have the smell of Lu Shang mixed in. With a loud bang, he Nada fainted on the ground under Lu Shang's wide-eyed eyes, with mosquito coils in her beautiful eyes. Advertisement. Oops, playing Daffabet? Lu Shang's face changed in surprise, and he hurried over to help he Nada up. When she was in a coma, her eyes were opened, and there were circles of mosquito sabayati patterns inside, which made Lu Shang dumbfounded. Provoked to be like this, Lu Shang has never seen Hinata twice in the past few years. The last time she looked like this, it was Lu Shang who taught her the technique of kissing. Especially after getting along for a long time, Hinata has already developed a great immunity in this regard, and even took the initiative many times. Otherwise, last night, she didn't have the courage to dare to say that she wanted to give herself to Lu Sheng. But unexpectedly, Lu Sheng just showed a gentle smile, and fainted the girl in embarrassment. If I had known, it opened last night. Helping Hinata wipe off the foam around the slit, Lu Sheng put her back on the bed. According to past experience, it takes at least 20 minutes to wake up from this level of coma. So, Lu Sheng walked out of the room and went to the kitchen to prepare breakfast. Ten minutes later, Lu Sheng who was cooking porridge, observation hacky sensed Hinata's breath and began to move. Lu, Lu Shenzhen. Nearly ten minutes later, Hinata's voice, as thin as a mosquito, came from behind. Lu Sheng turned to face Hinata who was standing in front of him with her head lowered and her index fingers turned. She couldn't help drying her hands, held her head, and stared at Zhang Tong's red face. Staring at those misty beautiful eyes, he said with a smile, Hinata, your appearance will make me very sad, do you despise me? Advertisement. No, I didn't, I didn't dislike Mr. Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng's ridicule, however, exploded in Hinata's mind like a thunderstorm, and her red face turned pale instantly. She shook her head in panic and said, the mist in her eyes quickly condensed into water, as if it will burst out in the next second. Hey, I'm just kidding. This reaction shocked Lu Sheng, he quickly hugged Hinata, and comforted him softly. Don't cry, I'm just joking. Hinata treats me so well, how could she dislike me? As if to change the subject, Lu Sheng lowered his head and chuckled, otherwise, how could you swallow it, right? Mr. Lu Sheng, you hate it. Hinata, who was so emotionally disturbed that he was so gentle that he wouldn't stare at Lu Sheng, patted his arm, Xiang, forcefully, which was rare, and said angrily with a teary smile. Hugging the girl tightly in his arms, Lu Sheng rested his chin on her hair, smiling without speaking. Hinata, too. After this incident, the relationship between the two became more pure. Time is like water, passing so fast, it makes people feel overwhelmed. Two years passed like this. In two years, Kanaha has not changed much. Only the villagers have undergone considerable changes. There are a few more wrinkles on the old man's face, the middle-aged men and women are more stable and the young men and women are less energetic and more mature. But the new generation is just growing up. The 16-year-old new generation can no longer be described as a kid, but a teenager. Advertisement. Among the 12 Xiaoqiang, Yamanaka Ino and Harano Sakura have completely lost their childishness. Especially Harano Sakura, who joined Tsunade's school just like the original book, her temperament became heroic. Yamanaka Ino's figure also became taller. Tia Nation's temperament and ancient style are more intense. But compared with them, Hinata has changed the most. Three years ago, no, it should have been four years ago, Hinata was still a delicate, small, and long doll, using the vocabulary of Lu Sheng's previous life, 
She was a little girl who was only 148.3 centimeters tall and hadn't grown up yet. Luo, Li, two years ago, Hinata's height soared to 161 centimeters. Two years later, Hinata's height is only 162 centimeters, and looks unchanged. But her bamboo collarbone four years ago has turned into a fruitful 91e. Zhao's. It is Harano Sakura, Yamanaka Ino, and Tian Tian, the secret of growth that three people of the same age envy and hate, but can never catch up with. Next, there is Hanabi. Before I knew it, Hanabi was already 11 years old. The height has changed from 132.4 cm to 145.4 cm, which is less than 3 cm from when Hinata was 12 years old. He has long black hair with a bit of flaxen color, imitating Lu Sheng's dress, always wearing a golden brown kimono, with a lively and lovely temperament. And Lu Sheng's appearance has undergone slight changes in the past two years. The first is the height, which has skyrocketed to 180 centimeters. His handsome face was less immature and more mature, with a stern temperament and a touch of elegance, wearing a black kimono that has not changed for 10,000 years, and an ordinary sword around his waist, like a nobleman walking out of a picture scroll. Advertisement. Chapter 70 Restart of the Plot, S Level Mission, 10 Tenths. Advertisement. Chapter 70, Restarting the Story, S Class Missions. At noon, the living room of Lu Sheng's house. Lu Sheng was sitting on the sofa, holding a book in one hand, reading it carefully, resting the other hand on the small head lying on his thighs, stroked it gently like a comb, long black hair with a little flax in color. Hanabi, lying on his lap, is also holding a book and reading, it is a ninja school textbook. Tick tock. Shishi. The only sound in the living room is the beating of the second hand and the turning of the pages of a book. Yuzuk. After an unknown amount of time, an anxious female voice broke the tranquility of the living room from outside to inside, from far to near. Lu Sheng and Hanabi put down their books at the same time. Lu Sheng looked sideways at the door, while Hanabi sat up with slightly wrinkled brows, a hint of displeasure appeared in her pure white eyes. Shizun, dressed in black and gray, ran in anxiously. Looking at Lu Sheng who was sitting on the sofa, looking at her with puzzled eyes, Shizun said loudly, Yuzuk, Master Tsunade has summoned your 8th class, please come to office 623 of Hokage immediately. Hearing this, Lu Sheng raised his eyebrows. It was obviously urgent to let Shizun, who was a confidant and disciple, go out instead of letting Umbu come to inform. Lu Sheng nodded and said, I'll inform them right away. Advertisement. No, I'll just notify Hinata and Shino. Shizun shook his head and said, as the team leader, Please pack up your things immediately and go there ahead of time to follow Nafeng Wooden Golem's instructions. Good. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, touched Hanabi's head, and said, Remember to lock the door when you go back. Aha. Uh -huh. Knowing that Lu Sheng has business to attend to, Hanabi nodded obediently. Lu Sheng went to the sword hall to take the Tadeo, and then walked towards Hokage's office. Shizun has gone to inform, Hinata and Abarameshino. When he came to Hokage's office, Lu Sheng saw Tsunade frowning. Yuzuk, you came just in time. Seeing Lu Sheng coming in, Tsunade's frowning brows eased, and he got straight to the point in a deep voice, Now, as fifth Hokage, Ajfa, I will issue an S-level task to you and the eighth class. Lu Sheng looked calm and listened quietly to Tsunade's next words. Tsunade took out a letter from the drawer, looked at Lu Sheng with a serious face and said, This is a declassified letter. It is our Kanaha allies, San Shinobi Village is asking for help from us. Just a few days ago, Sharon's fifth Kaze cage, one tail Jinchuriki Gara, was captured by people from the Akatsuki organization. Tsunade succinctly said, the Akatsuki organization is a terrorist organization formed by many S-level traders. Organization, it can be determined that their target is tailed beast, and all Jinchuriki are their targets, including Naruto. The seventh class has already set off for Sunagakur yesterday, but I am still a little restless and not at ease. Tsunade said, So, I have issued the same S-level mission as the seventh class to you, and I hope that you, Jonan, can immediately lead the eighth squad and go to reinforce the seventh squad. Yes, I understand. Lu Sheng nodded and agreed directly. Feeling a little stunned, is Gale Wind finally about to start? Lu Sheng is in the Hokage office, Waiting for the arrival of Hinata and Abarameshino. Advertisement. Not long after, 
the figures of a man and a woman walked in from outside. Sunaid briefly talked to them again, after explaining the mission. The figure of the 8th class left Hokage Sophis. It is worth mentioning that Lu Shang is already a Jonin. Hineda and a Barameshino, also promoted to Chinin in two years. After becoming Jonin, Lu Shang was supposed to leave class 8 and become an instructor leading Jinin. Unless the 8th class is assigned a high-level task, it will not return to the team. But Lu Shang refused to be promoted to Jonin, and Yu Hai Hong gradually stopped performing tasks, so Tsunade had to break the rules and allow Lu Shang to continue to be the leader of the 8th squad as Jonin. Now Lu Shang is both the team leader and the person in charge of the 8th class. However, this status was what it was two years ago. Tsunade's promotion was just to make Lu Shang a regular. After leaving Hokage Safis, the 8th shift headed towards the entrance of the village. Lu Shang asked ambiguously, Zina, did you find it? Ah, a Barameshino looked through the sunglasses, staring at the black bugs on his index finger, and said calmly, as long as there is no rain on the road, even in the desert, I can find their scent. Then you will lead the way for now. If the smell disappears, Hineda will take over. Lu Shang glanced at the backpack behind Hineda and asked remindingly, did you bring the map? Um, Hineda nodded with a serious face, everything is ready, then, let's go immediately. Advertisement. After leaving the village, the three of them hurried on their way in an instant, starting the first S-class mission of the 8th class. The body flicker technique is on the go, very fast. Especially since there was no client around, and the three of them were Jonin and Shinin, they left the land of fire and headed towards the land of wind in just half a day. After a night's rest, the 8th shift continued on its way, and soon a forest appeared ahead. Passing through the forest is the land of the wind. However, after the three of the 8th class passed through half of the forest, they encountered Kakashi's summoning beast, Parker, one of the eight ninja dogs, on the way. From Parker's mouth, he learned that the members of the organization were hiding in the country of Chuanzi, which successfully evoked the fuzzy memory deep in Lu Sheng's brain. In memory, Gara was indeed in a cave where the tailed beast was extracted. It turned out to be in the country of Kawa, Lu Sheng who has a perfect score in theoretical knowledge, is also very familiar with geography. The country of Sichuan is sandwiched between the country of fire and the country of heaven, the south of the country of rain, and the east of their current position. The only thing to do is to turn to the right and go through the forest to the country of Kawa. So, under the lead of Parker, the three people in the 8th class prepared to turn around and go to the country of Sichuan. Huh? Whoa. At this time, Lu Sheng's eyes suddenly shrank. Turning around abruptly, he quickly drew the saber with his right hand, and swung a crescent arc sword aura three to four meters long towards a towering tree behind him. Boom! The sword energy cut off several big trees, splashing a dense cloud of dust. Advertisement. Chapter 71 Moonwalk, the second to draw the sword, one-fifth. Advertisement. Chapter 71, Moonwalk. Blind eyes, open. Seeing Lu Sheng's actions, the veins on both sides of Hineda's eyes immediately bulged, and his hyperopia and perspective vision covered a range of one kilometer. Immediately, Hineda asked suspiciously, Mr. Lu Sheng, what's wrong? Under her supercilious ability, Fang Yuan has no fluctuation of chakra for one kilometer. The bugs told me that no one was following us, a Barameshino added, but their tense bodies proved that they were not convinced. Because their trust in Lu Sheng has been deeply rooted in their hearts. Lu Sheng put the knife back into its sheath, looked at the front where the dust and mist dissipated, frowned slightly and said, it may be my illusion, there was indeed a breath over there just now, forget it, keep going. Lu Sheng, who found that breath, had no choice but to give up. Led by Parker, the figure of the 8th class approached the country, at the same time, in a closed cave in the country of Chuan. All members of the Akatsuki organization who were using the seal of the magical nine dragons, and Ju, who was in charge of the surveillance task, said in a hoarse voice, it seems that an incredible guy has come. My large-scale technique has been discovered. Who is it? Payne, who was standing at the zero position, asked in a deep voice. Zhuiwei reports, Lu Sheng Yuzuk, a ninja who cuts through hardships. TCH, I haven't even heard of it, um. Diodera's real body curled his lips in disdain. Um. Advertisement. He same grinned and said, don't underestimate him, he's just a teenager, he seems to be the same age as Mr. Itaka's younger brother. When Mr. Itaka and I were in Kanaha, 
Mr. Itaku was with him there was a battle, and his sword skills were a bit unreasonable, and he could even swing the slashing power of S-level ninjutsu. After saying this, Diodera's disdain was only reduced a bit, and she still said arrogantly, then let me get rid of him and see if he is as powerful as you said. Don't mess around, you are the main body now. Pain said flatly to stop, this technique needs to be maintained for three days, and you all have to leave after it is done. There is no need to waste 30% of chakra, because you use that music. Without giving Diodera a chance to refute, Pain cast his eyes on Kisame, since you are a master of swordsmanship, I will leave that person to you, Kisame. After all, the person present with the most chakra is only you. Hey, leave it to me. Kisame readily agreed. Ju, who was in charge of monitoring, spoke again, someone is here again, this time it's Kanaha's ninja. After saying this, Pain looked at Diodera with an unkind look. Snort. The red sand scorpion snorted coldly, I said earlier that this brat's technique is not suitable for stealthy actions. Why? Diodera was devastated. At this time, Uchiha Itaka took the initiative to say, since it is Kanaha's ninja, then let me go. Pain nodded, that's up to you. The territory of the country of Kawa, a region full of rocky mountains. Separated from Parker, Abarameshino catches the scent of Kakashi, and the eighth is on full speed. At this time, Lu Sheng said slowly, be careful, there is an aura approaching. Blind eyes, open. Advertisement. Hineda opened her eyes again, looked around, and said with a serious face, at seven o'clock, he's coming, so fast. Pukichi. A long knife tied with a bandage protruded from the ground, like a shark's fin, plundering towards Lu Sheng and the others. Little trick. Shua. As the plain words fell, Lu Sheng drew his saber and moved forward, swinging it down from top to bottom. Boom. With just one blow, a beam of sword energy 12 to 3 meters high roared out like a tsunami. The whole land was shaking, and the dry soil was mercilessly torn apart by the sword energy. The white knife that came stealthily was submerged by the sword energy in an instant. Boom. A figure broke through the ground and soared into the sky. And at the moment when he was soaring to the sky, a figure was earlier than him, and with the help of the cover of sword energy, he stepped on the air and ran towards the sky. The Tadeo in his hand has been sheathed, and he is in the posture of drawing the sword. Swished hear it. As soon as the figure hiding in the ground emerged, a silvery white saber light grabbed his flightless weakness and slashed across his waist. Zero, seeking flowers zero zero. The sound of cloth being torn was heard, and the ghost shark who had just appeared looked down at his body that had been divided into two. The shark face and dead fish eyes were rarely full of shock. So fast, so terrifying to draw the knife. Advertisement. Kisame felt that it was a kind of slash that a swordsmanship ninja would never be able to receive in this life. The body that was divided into two fell to the ground, and soon became another person. Like turning technique, one of Rinnegan's abilities. Distribute chakra, a member of the Akatsuki organization, to a living sacrifice to create an exquisite puppet that can be used even by the blood successor. A Shino looked at Lu Sheng who fell from the sky, and said in shock, is that moonwalk? Humans can really do it and run in the air. Well, that's a trick developed by Mr. Lu Sheng. Hineda nodded and said with adoring eyes. In the cave, on Gadu statue's finger. Ah. Kisame, who had just acted for less than a minute, grinned and said, I was killed in seconds, what a scary little brat. Um. Pain asked in a deep voice, Kisame, what's going on? That kid named Lu Sheng Yuzuk's sword skills seem to be even more terrifying. Kisame didn't feel ashamed, after all, it was just a fake of 30% chakra, and told all the truth, with a wave of your hand. It's more than 10 meters away. Hi, Absolute S-Level Ninjutsu's profound slashing technique, the ability to run in the air, and the sword drawing technique that is so fast that it can't be seen, and will be cut off if it is cut. That little ghost is even scarier than the legendary Wudyebya. Following Gaixir's words, the cave fell into silence. Tisk, Kanaha is really full of talents. After a long time, Kakuza sighed, such a talent is willing to hide, if released, his head must be very valuable in the black market. Scorpion, Diodera, you have to be careful. Pain warned, most of his eyes fell on the red sand scorpion. A tribute restraint, whether in the world of pirates or the world of ninjas, is so deadly. Advertisement. Chapter 72 Breaking the Boundary, Two Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 72 Breaking the Boundary. Lu Sheng, Hineda, 
Shino, long time no see. After solving the obstacle of Kisame, the three members of the eighth class soon came to a canyon, the cave was blocked by boulders, and the water surface of a long river lay across. The seventh class also seems to have just arrived. Seeing the arrival of the three of Lu Sheng, Uzumaki Naruto raised his hand and greeted with a smile. Harano Sakura next to him also greeted with a smile. After Uchiha Suzuki's defection incident, Nara Shikamaru organized a small party from time to time. Lu Sheng who attended several times was annoyed by Nara Shikamaru, Inuzuka Ya, and Azumaki Naruto. From a classmate relationship to a trustworthy partner, this is what Azumaki Naruto and others think so. 107 Long Time No See The three of Lu Sheng stepped on the water, nodded slightly to Azumaki Naruto, and after greeting Azumaki Naruto, they glanced at Granny Cho, who was walking with the seventh class. Kakashi seemed to catch Lu Sheng's gaze, and introduced actively, this is the advisor of Sand Ninja Village, the partner who came with us to save Gara this time. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and nodded to Cho. You Kanaha call it a new generation of Kanobabia, a super genius who can wield an S-level slash at the age of 12. Cho looked at Lu Sheng and commented, I thought it was an exaggeration, but looking at it now come, it's more than that. The older the ginger, the hotter it is, and the sharper the eyes. The moment their eyes met, Cho had already seen it. Advertisement. Under Lu Sheng's breezy aura, there was an aura that was not at the same level as the two little devils next to him, and the two little devils walking with him. Lu Sheng's mood did not fluctuate because of Cho's praise. After saying hello, he turned his gaze to the front. On the boulder blocking the cave, there was a piece of talisman paper. Lu Sheng raised his eyebrows and asked, Boundary. Ah, it's the five barriers. Kakashi nodded and said, In addition to this one, there are four other places. If you can't uncover five talisman papers at the same time, you can't get rid of this one. Enchantment. Lu Sheng nodded, and put his right hand on the handle of the knife at his waist, I'll try it first, if I can't break it, let Hinata look for other talisman papers. Stand back for a moment. After hearing Lu Sheng's words, all members of the 7th and 8th classes retreated behind him. Looking at Lu Sheng in the sword drawing pose, Cho said, it is rumored that he can perform the S-level esoteric slash without consuming a trace of chakra. The sword technique is even more terrifying than Mu Yebya. Kakashi scratched his head and said awkwardly, in this respect, my father is indeed far inferior to him. That is to say, he can really wield an S-level esoteric slash. Cho narrowed his eyes, I have lived for so long, and I have never heard of such a sword technique. Presumably, if the warriors in the Iron Kingdom knew for this matter, I will definitely be jealous to the point of madness. Kakashi didn't seem to understand, and said, Lu Sheng doesn't like high profile, 5th Hokage invited him to join Ambu many times, promising various rich conditions, but he didn't agree. Cho remained silent. At this time, Lu Sheng had already gathered momentum. Staring at the seal talisman on the boulder, Lu Sheng tightened his fingers slightly with the palm resting on the handle of the saber. SHHHHH. Under the clear groan of unsheathing, the dazzling light of the knife suddenly appeared. A small gap appeared in the water flow in front of it, which was forcefully pulled apart by a pair of invisible giant hands, and the entire long river was divided into two. Advertisement. Boom. A dark red sword aura 16 to 7 meters high, several times higher than the boulder, struck menacingly. The dazzling dark red light reflected on the faces of Lu Sheng and others. Seeing the sword energy that made the water flow and the canyon vibrate, even the 8th and 7th squads who had seen it a few times, everyone's faces could not help showing a touch of shock and talent. When I saw Cho for the first time, her cloudy old eyes were full of fear. However, it is such a powerful sword energy. Since its appearance, it has not moved forward. The dark red light more than 10 meters high, from violent to weak, finally dissipated slowly between heaven and earth. What was presented was an unscathed boulder. However, there is a deep trace in the canyon above the boulder. Lu Sheng was not discouraged, but smiled slightly, the breathing is getting heavier and heavier, it seems that the chakra provided is gone. Swish boom. He raised the Tadeo high, but it suddenly fell down again. The sword energy nearly 10 meters high struck again. Crack. The violent sword energy is no longer blocked by invisible barriers. Under the violent impact of the sword energy, a hole suddenly appeared in the seal amulet attached to the boulder, and a crack spread and spread rapidly in all directions. Advertisement. 
The sound of glass shattering resounded in everyone's ears. Boom. Finally, with a loud noise, the boulder was completely shattered, and a thick cloud of dust filled the air. After the dust and mist dissipated. In the cave, the bodies of Gadu statue, Diadera, and Red Sand Scorpion who were extracting the tailed beast as well as the phantoms of the rest of the Akatsuki organization members, immediately caught the eyes of Lu Sheng and others. Gara. Uzumaki Naruto saw at a glance that Gara was being extracted from the tailed beast. Looking at the inhuman Gara, the beard on his face began to thicken, and the sky blue eyes turned into red vertical pupils. With a shout of 1.1, Uzumaki Naruto rushed into the cave. Naruto. Seeing Uzumaki Naruto rushing in recklessly, Kakashi and Harano Sakura hurriedly followed with anxious faces. Cho's gaze was on the red sand scorpion, who looked completely different from his grandson. The eighth class followed closely behind. Seeing the seven people who walked in, the phantom nine dragons covering Gara's body disappeared. Pain's phantom took a deep look at Lu Sheng, and then told Diadera and the red sand scorpion plainly, You guys be careful. Boom. A huge cloud of white smoke covered the entire cave. After the fog cleared, Gadu statue had disappeared, leaving only the art duo and Gara's body on the ground. Advertisement. 73 Absolute Restraint, 3 fifths. Advertisement. Among you, who is Lu Sheng Yuzuk? Diadera sat on Gara's body and looked at the group of seven people. His gaze first glanced at Izumaki Naruto with red vertical pupils, and then fell on Lu Sheng with a dagger at his waist. He smiled and said, Is that you? that silver-haired kid. Call out. As soon as the words fell, Lu Sheng's figure disappeared from Diadera's eyes. Without the track of body flicker technique, it appeared in front of Diadera in an instant. Swish. The bright silvery white knife light, drawn like a horse, passed Diadera's waist in a flash. So fast. Diadera's eyes widened and he sighed like Uchiha Itaki and Kisame. Immediately, the body that was divided into two turned into a mass of white clay. The figure of Diadera appeared at the entrance of the cave, holding the body of Gara that he took away by the way under his arm, looked at Lu Sheng solemnly, and shouted, Brother Scorpion, you have to be careful, that guy has a serious murderous intention, and there are problems with speed and knife. You don't need to say more about 09, take care of yourself first, brat. The Red Sand Scorpion said in a low voice. Diadera hooked his fingers at Izumaki Naruto, and smiled provocatively, Nine Tails, do you want to get this guy's body back? If you want, follow along. Advertisement. After finishing speaking, Diadera ran out of the cave and threw out a clay model of a bird. With the index and middle fingers close together, the model exploded into a white smoke and turned into a huge white bird. Jumping on the big, bird's back, Dilla quickly lost. Seeing him take away Gara's body, Uzumaki Naruto, whose emotions have been affected by nine tails, rushed out of the cave, bastard. Give me back Gara. Naruto. Kakashi followed with a worried expression, and what Jiraiya had said to him after returning from practicing practice sounded in his mind. He had to keep up and stop Uzumaki Naruto who was about to lose control at any moment. Seeing the departure of the teacher and companions, I was a little overwhelmed. At this time, Lu Sheng suddenly said, Hineda, Shino, little Sakura, you all follow up and help, guys here, just leave it to me. And me? Cho added, his eyes still on the red sand scorpion, I want to stay and take a look at my grandson's appearance. Yes. After hearing Lu Sheng's words, Harano Sakura, who was at a loss, suddenly became firm. Along with Hineda and Abarame Shino, the Japanese followed suit. In the dimly lit cave, only red sand scorpion, Lu Sheng, and Kande were left. Lu Sheng rested his right hand on the handle of the saber at his waist, looked at the ugly red sand scorpion, and asked knowingly, Advisor Kande, you just said, he is your grandson, right? Yes. Cho nodded. Before I came out, 5th Hokage told me that the Akatsuki organization is a terrorist organization composed of many S-rank rebels. Lu Sheng drew out his sword, pointed at the Red Sand Scorpion, and said, Since it is a rebel shinobi, and one of the murderers who killed the Kanaha Alliance, the 5th Kaze Cage of San Shinobi Village, then. I beheaded him on the spot, you shouldn't blame me. Right. Advertisement. Listening to Lu Sheng's deliberately reminded words, Cho said expressionlessly, Whatever you want, scorpions are not as weak as you imagined. Kill me? Interesting. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion also heard Lu Sheng's words, 
and the bloodshot eyes under the scarlet sand scorpion stared at Lu Sheng and Zhou with murderous intent. Exactly? I still need two puppets here, and you two are just enough to get them together. Three hundred pieces, let you become my eternal art. SHHHHHH. Before the whole sentence was finished, Lu Sheng's figure disappeared from the eyes of the scarlet sand scorpion. The sound of piercing the air is completely different from the body flicker technique, without a trace of the body flicker technique. The moment it disappeared, a shadow came over, and the bright silvery white knife light burst out like daylight tearing through the darkness. It's so fast. Phew. Puchy click. Facing this weird instant, and the sword technique that was so fast that it was difficult for the naked eye to catch, the red sand scorpion also exclaimed in the same way, a scorpion tail shot out from the back of the crimson liuho, and collided with the light. This kind of reaction perfectly reflects the experience of using the scarlet sand scorpion. If it was Lu Sheng three years ago, the qi machine captured by Lu Sheng might have been disrupted by his reaction. But after the knife light collided with the scorpion tail, the sound of cutting off the human body resounded instantly. A long scorpion tail flew out. When the scorpion's tail was severed, the scarlet sand scorpion's crimson liuho had already opened its jaws, and a large number of toxin-stained kanban shot towards Lu Sheng like a rain of arrows. Call out. All his actions were within Lu Sheng's prediction. Advertisement. As early as the moment the scorpion opened, Lu Sheng used the razor to disappear and retreated to Cho's side. At a distance of several meters from the red sand scorpion, Lu Sheng held the Tai Dao Hai, the blade was covered with a layer of black substance, transformed into an extraordinary black sword, and swung it down forcefully. Boom! The five or six meter high sword energy tore apart the ground. The sword energy is not superficial, but the terrifying impact and distorted airflow directly crushed the bursting Kianbinayo, and roared towards the red sand scorpion with undiminished power. Scary little ghost, is it really what Kisame said, the S-level profound slash, did you just pick it up? Seeing the ridiculously exaggerated slash, the scarlet sand scorpion suddenly felt troubled. Puppeteer is a very scary profession. There are countless hidden devices in their puppets, and all of them are masters at playing drugs. Powerful puppet masters cannot use chakra to measure their level, because it is an easy task for them to leapfrog challenges. Those who fight against the puppet master don't even know how they died. But puppets also have weaknesses, and they are very obvious flaws. They are not good at close combat? Therefore, if the enemy is a powerful Taijutsu master or a sword ninja, the puppet master will not have the advantage of facing ordinary ninjas. On the contrary, puppetry will swap positions with previous enemies. Be careful of the opponent's approach at all times and protect your own puppet. Lu Sheng is obviously his natural enemy. Just like that. Both Pain and Diodera deliberately reminded the Red Sand Scorpion. Advertisement. Chapter 74, Paving the Way for the Future of Kendo, Four Fifths. Advertisement. P.S. It seems that there are some people who don't quite understand, in order to avoid unnecessary doubts. The scholar said, the strongest swordsman in the pirate world is slashing, and slashing is divided into melee and long range. Long distance slashes are called flying slashes. Flying Slash is another way of talking about sword chi in the island country. In order not to make everyone feel awkward, the scholar will use sword chi as a narration instead of flying slash, but sword chi will only be used as a narration, so Kakashi and others said to be slashed. There are strengths and weaknesses in slashing, and there are also great advantages and disadvantages. For a melee slash, as long as Lu Sheng catches the energy, even steel can be cut in two and the flying slash is sword energy. The formidable power is also very powerful, if hit from the front, the damage will definitely not be light. But Jian Qi is easy to dodge, especially in the ninja world who is good at body flicker technique. Lu Sheng seldom wields sword energy, and usually uses it to remove obstacles and distract the opponent's attention. After the sword Qi crushed Kanbinayo, Lu Sheng hid behind the sword Qi, and observation Haki caught the breath of the red sand scorpion. When he sensed the aura of the red sand scorpion and moved to the side to avoid the sword aura. Call out. The figure turned into an afterimage and disappeared, and Lu Sheng reappeared beside the red sand scorpion, slashing at Fei Liuho's back with a knife. If hit head on, Fei Liuho and the red sand scorpion inside would definitely be cut in two. Seeing the black knife slashing towards him, the eyes of the red sand scorpion widened slightly, 
and the remaining part of Fei Laihu's scorpion tail pierced into the ground, and the body of the puppet that hadn't landed turned to the right. Boom click. Advertisement. Lu Shang seemed to have seen this scene in advance, turned his body 180 degrees, and kicked out with his left foot covered in black matter. Wrapped around Haki's kick and kicked the red sand scorpion away. The Philia who burst out and exploded completely in the air. A thin red-haired young man in a red cloud and black robe was revealed behind the falling debris. The young man's appearance was in contrast to the ugly scorpion just now. He was so young and handsome, full of the temperament of an artist. Scorpion. Looking at the youth that overlapped with his memory, Cho's calm emotions finally produced violent fluctuations, and subconsciously called out that name. Long time no see, Grand Macho. The scarlet sand scorpion looked at Cho who was stunned, and greeted with a smile. His voice was not as low as before, and he said with a playful smile, What's the matter? You seem surprised? That's right. After all, we all I haven't seen you for twenty years. Cho came back to his senses, and said in a trembling voice, You, your body. That's right. I've made myself into an eternal art. Ah. When the scarlet sand scorpion was about to show off to Cho, before he could finish a sentence, the familiar silver light came across and made him rush to the side. After several tumblings, there was already an extra scroll in the hands of the Scarlet Sand Scorpion. Kneeling on one knee, the Scarlet Sand Scorpion quickly opened the scroll, looked at Lu Sheng and said in a deep voice, I have already experienced the sword skills of you little brat. Every cut of yours is with the idea of killing me, as if your sword technique was born to kill. The Red Sand Scorpion smiled and said, As a reward for making me so embarrassed, I will let you check out my favorite collection. Boom. A burst of white smoke filled the air. Advertisement. After dissipating, a puppet obviously made of corpses floated beside the red sand scorpion. Looking at the puppet's appearance, Cho's eyes widened again, this appearance, is difficult. Could it be? That's right, this is the missing third Kaze cage. The red sand scorpion bent down, raised his hands, made a gesture of manipulating a puppet, and said with a smile, he has been transformed into an eternal artistic beauty by me. Scorpion, you. Arm and draw the sword. Lu Sheng's voice once again interrupted the communication between the grandparents and grandchildren. When the red sand scorpion took out third Kazekaj's puppet, he had already retracted his knife and captured the red sand scorpion's greatest aura. The red sand scorpion was full of flaws, and it was full of breathing. The breathing was so heavy that it covered almost every pore. Lu Sheng only needed to hit it, and the cut would surely be split into two because the body of the scarlet sand scorpion has been transformed into a puppet by himself. Therefore, he took advantage of the red sand scorpion to show off to Cho again. Unleashed a one-hit kill. Stepping on the ground more than ten times instantly, with the help of that burst of power, Lu Sheng's figure disappeared. An afterimage brought a silvery white knife light, shuttled like a meteor. The unprecedented sense of crisis caused the red sand scorpion's expression to change. Seeing the knife light covering him like a light curtain, he didn't even have time to manipulate the third Kaze cage, so he could only jump to the side in embarrassment again to avoid it. But the moment he jumped up, the saber light disappeared, and Lu Sheng's figure froze there, holding the saber handle and sweeping towards the red sand scorpion. A beam of crescent sword energy six or seven meters long directly collided with the red sand scorpion. Advertisement. Click. The fragile puppet body was instantly shattered by the sword energy, and the strong impact air current crushed his waist. Under his astonished expression, Lu Shen Ben's figure behind the sword energy has already come into view. A sharp black knife pierced the red sand scorpion's heart under the staring eyes of the red sand scorpion Encho. Just like the red sand scorpion said, Lu Sheng's kendo is the kendo of a murderer. Despite this road, there is still no huge life and the rudimentary form of the terrifying murderous aura has taken shape. But Lu Sheng, Kinmas, except for Hayaganiji, because of his identity, he released water once. No matter who the enemy is, every knife he swings is with the idea of killing the opponent. Even the only time he let the water go, he didn't draw the knife straight to Hayaganiji. He will not be merciful to him because the other party is a character in the plot, or whether killing him will affect the plot or because there are his relatives and partners next to him. As long as he seizes the opportunity to kill, then he will not give the opponent time to make moves. His kendo was born to kill. He wants to lay a perfect foundation for the sword way that will take shape in the future. In this case, 
When his murderous aura and murderous intent reached terrifying numbers, he would not be afraid of being affected by hostility. Because no matter in the state of killing, killing, or in a sober state, his swordsmanship is for killing people. P.S. There is another update in the early morning. Advertisement. Chapter 74, Paving the Way for the Future of Kendo, Four-Fifths. Advertisement. P.S. It seems that there are some people who don't quite understand, in order to avoid unnecessary doubts. The scholar said, the strongest swordsman in the pirate world is slashing, and slashing is divided into melee and long range. Long distance slashes are called flying slashes. Flying slash is another way of talking about sword chi in the island country. In order not to make everyone feel awkward, the scholar will use sword chi as a narration instead of flying slash, but sword chi will only be used as a narration, so Kakashi and others said to be slashed. There are strengths and weaknesses in slashing, and there are also great advantages and disadvantages. For a melee slash, as long as Lu Shang catches the energy, even steel can be cut in two, and the flying slash is sword energy. The formidable power is also very powerful, if hit from the front, the damage will definitely not be light. But Jian Qi is easy to dodge, especially in the ninja world who is good at body flicker technique. Lu Sheng seldom wields sword energy, and usually uses it to remove obstacles and distract the opponent's attention. After the sword Qi crushed Kanbanayo, Lu Sheng hid behind the sword Qi, and observation Haki caught the breath of the Red Sand Scorpion. When he sensed the aura of the Red Sand Scorpion and moved to the side to avoid the sword aura, call out. The figure turned into an afterimage and disappeared, and Lu Sheng reappeared beside the Red Sand Scorpion, slashing at Fei Liuhu's back with a knife. If hit head-on, Fei Liuhu and the Red Sand Scorpion inside would definitely be cut in two. Seeing the black knife slashing towards him, the eyes of the Red Sand Scorpion widened slightly, and the remaining part of Fei Liuhu's scorpion tail pierced into the ground, and the body of the puppet that hadn't landed turned to the right. Boom click. Advertisement. Lu Shang seemed to have seen this scene in advance, turned his body 180 degrees, and kicked out with his left foot covered in black matter. Wrapped around Haki's kick and kicked the red sand scorpion away. The Philia who burst out and exploded completely in the air. A thin red-haired young man in a red cloud and black robe was revealed behind the falling debris. The young man's appearance was in contrast to the ugly scorpion just now. He was so young and handsome, full of the temperament of an artist. Scorpion. Looking at the youth that overlapped with his memory, Cho's calm emotions finally produced violent fluctuations, and subconsciously called out that name. Long time no see, Grand Macho. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion looked at Cho who was stunned, and greeted with a smile. His voice was not as low as before, and he said with a playful smile, What's the matter? You seem surprised? That's right, after all, we all I haven't seen you for twenty years. Cho came back to his senses, and said in a trembling voice, you, your body. That's right, I've made myself into an eternal art, ah. When the Scarlet Sand Scorpion was about to show off to Cho, before he could finish a sentence, the familiar silver light came across and made him rush to the side. After several tumblings, there was already an extra scroll in the hands of the Scarlet Sand Scorpion. Kneeling on one knee, the Scarlet Sand Scorpion quickly opened the scroll, looked at Lu Sheng and said in a deep voice, I have already experienced the sword skills of you little brat. Every cut of yours is with the idea of killing me, as if your sword technique was born to kill. The red sand scorpion smiled and said, as a reward for making me so embarrassed, I will let you check out my favorite collection. Boom. A burst of white smoke filled the air. Advertisement. After dissipating, a puppet obviously made of corpses floated beside the red sand scorpion. Looking at the puppet's appearance, Cho's eyes widened again, this appearance, is difficult. Could it be? That's right, this is the missing third Kaze cage. The red sand scorpion bent down, raised his hands, made a gesture of manipulating a puppet, and said with a smile, he has been transformed into an eternal artistic beauty by me. Scorpion, you. Arm and draw the sword. Lu Sheng's voice once again interrupted the communication between the grandparents and grandchildren. When the red sand scorpion took out third Kazekage's puppet, he had already retracted his knife and captured the Red Sand Scorpion's greatest aura. The Red Sand Scorpion was full of flaws, and it was full of breathing. The breathing was so heavy that it covered almost every pore. Lu Sheng only needed to hit it, and the cut would surely be split into two. 
because the body of the Scarlet Sand Scorpion has been transformed into a puppet by himself. Therefore, he took advantage of the Red Sand Scorpion to show off to Cho again. Unleashed a one-hit kill, stepping on the ground more than ten times instantly, with the help of that burst of power, Lu Sheng's figure disappeared. An afterimage brought a silvery white knife light, shuttled like a meteor. The unprecedented sense of crisis caused the Red Sand Scorpion's expression to change. Seeing the knife light covering him like a light curtain, he didn't even have time to manipulate the third Kaze cage, so he could only jump to the side in embarrassment again to avoid it. But the moment he jumped up, the saber light disappeared, and Lu Sheng's figure froze there, holding the saber handle and sweeping towards the Red Sand Scorpion. A beam of crescent sword energy six or seven meters long directly collided with the Red Sand Scorpion. Advertisement. Click. The fragile puppet body was instantly shattered by the sword energy, and the strong impact air current crushed his waist. Under his astonished expression, Lu Shen Ben's figure behind the sword energy has already come into view. A sharp black knife pierced the Red Sand Scorpion's heart under the staring eyes of the Red Sand Scorpion Encho, just like the Red Sand Scorpion said. Lu Sheng's kendo is the kendo of a murderer. Despite this road, there is still no huge life, and the rudimentary form of the terrifying murderous aura has taken shape. But Lu Sheng, Kinmas, except for Hayaganiji, because of his identity, he released water once. No matter who the enemy is, every knife he swings is with the idea of killing the opponent. Even the only time he let the water go, he didn't draw the knife straight to Hayaganiji. He will not be merciful to him because the other party is a character in the plot, or whether killing him will affect the plot, or because there are his relatives and partners next to him. As long as he seizes the opportunity to kill, then he will not give the opponent time to make moves. His kendo was born to kill. He wants to lay a perfect foundation for the sword way that will take shape in the future. In this case, when his murderous aura and murderous intent reached terrifying numbers, he would not be afraid of being affected by hostility. Because no matter in the state of killing, killing, or in a sober state, his swordsmanship is for killing people. P.S. There is another update in the early morning. Chapter 75 95.55% The Second Inheritance? Five Fifths Advertisement Chapter 75 95.55% The Second Inheritance? The Red Sand Scorpion whose heart was pierced by the blade looked at Lu Sheng coughing up blood, and said incredulously, you bastard, how did you know that? Ordinary people are cut in half, and the result is certain death. People who are extremely confident in their sword skills will not even bother to make up for a person who has been cut in two by themselves. When Lu Shang fought Kimimaro, he had this kind of mentality. But the Scarlet Sand Scorpion didn't expect that after Lu Shang cut him off, he would not intentionally stab his heart. Lu Shang glanced at his body that was split into two without any bloodline, and replied flatly, I'm not blind. Putting the knife back into its sheath, Lu Sheng turned around and looked at Cho who was looking sad, and walked towards the cave entrance, leaving a voice like a breeze, he can probably hold on for a while. Observation Haki locked on Cho, Lu Sheng didn't let go of his tense body until he left the cave. In this world, for these ninjas, the village is more than everything. Even Cho 783 was able to witness with his own eyes that his grandson was killed by Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng didn't understand. But it's better if she doesn't do anything, otherwise, with Lu Sheng's character, I'm afraid she will destroy the alliance between Kanaha and Shenin village with her own hands. Stepping on the moonwalk, Lu Sheng soared into the sky. After running more than 10 meters into the air, Lu Sheng's observation hacky turned into a huge net, looking for the aura fluctuations of Hineda and Abaramashino. Advertisement. 20 seconds later, Lu Sheng ran in one direction. The figure first ran for a distance in the air, Lu Sheng landed in a forest, Moonwalk changed to body flicker technique, and rushed in the direction of Hineda and Abaramashino. Although it has been three years, Lu Sheng has mastered the two major tricks of shaving and Moonwalk. It makes up for the shortcomings of short-distance high-speed movement and flying air combat. But Lu Sheng is still unable to use it recklessly. Just like Xiali's Lotus, Taijutsu is easy to consume physical strength and the burden on the body after performing it is far heavier than the feeling of consuming chakra after performing ninja. Except for fighting, Lu Sheng generally does not use shave and moonwalk. If you are on the road, just use the instant technique. And the instant body technique, the effect is also very significant. 
Although melee combat is not as convenient as shaving, but after flying over walls and walking on water, coupled with moonwalks stepping into the air, Lu Sheng felt that there was nowhere to go, and he dared not go there. You killed the Scorpion of Red Sand and gained 2.66% experience. Your Hawkeye Inheritance Template has been unlocked to 95.55%. While flying through the forest, two notification sounds suddenly sounded in Lu Sheng's mind. Listening to the final content of the prompt, Lu Sheng raised the corner of his mouth slightly, and murmured, unknowingly, the progress that I thought was long before is almost over. It has been about 10 years since the system was activated. Advertisement. When I was young, gaining 0.02% experience every day would make Lu Sheng's strength skyrocket quickly surpassing children of the same age. The six years in the ninja school made him far superior to his peers, by many levels. On the second day of graduation, he easily defeated his mentor Jonin. But after graduation, Lu Sheng's strength improved, and it became difficult for him to move forward. It wasn't until two years ago that he advanced by leaps and bounds, stepping into the realm of great swordsmen that had been stagnant for several years. But in the past two years, Lu Sheng has only stabilized the realm of the great swordsmen, and there is still some gap with the eagle eye in the spiritual world. In the past two years, Lu Sheng has not done nothing. Otherwise, based on the 0.02% experience of daily tasks, plus, a G, the experience provided by Kisame's elephant turning body today and the red sand scorpion, the progress of the Eagle Eye Inheritance template is only 89% successful. The reason for the 95.55% progress is because Lu Sheng has led the 8th squad to perform many tasks in the past two years, killing many wandering ninjas and hostile ninjas. Lu Sheng murmured expectantly, I don't know, after Hawkeye's inheritance template reaches 100%, will there be a second inheritance template? Lu Sheng only remembered how he activated the system, but he didn't know how he obtained the inheritance. After beating those three little kids and watching Hinata being taken away by her people, Lu Sheng returned home with a tired and sore body, fell asleep on the bed. When he was in a daze of consciousness, a reminder sounded in his head. At first he thought it was an illusion, but Lu Sheng didn't realize that he had activated Cheat until he woke up and found that he could check the inheritance and mission templates in his mind. But he didn't know how he obtained the inheritance of Hawkeye. Advertisement. Therefore, he was not so sure. But, there should be, right? After all, the message conveyed by this system seems to be called the strongest inheritance system. Lu Sheng clenched his hands slightly, and secretly said, There is still one year until the fourth Ninja World War. Even if it is just a daily task, there is 7.3% experience, and the next year will be against the Akatsuki organization. If there is a second inheritance, I will know it soon. Temporarily suppressing this thought, Lu Sheng hurried on his way. Ten minutes later, following observation Haki's perception, he came to a clearing in the forest. Both the 7th and 8th squads were there, surrounding Gara's body. Unlike the sadness of Class 7, Hineda and Abarameshino are just reminiscing about the Chinin exam a few years ago, and the incident of Uchiha Suzuki's defection. Seeing Lu Sheng approaching, Hineda put the sliver of feminine kindness behind her, walked quickly to Lu Sheng, carefully checked whether his body was injured, and then got Lu Sheng's reply, gently asked, Mr. Lu Sheng, are you okay? Lu Sheng shook his head and smiled, I'm fine. Hineda felt relieved. At this time, Abarameshino came over, Lu Sheng, how is your opponent over there? He's dead. Lu Sheng replied, knowingly asking, where's yours? Abarameshino adjusted his sunglasses and said, that guy blew himself up, and was transported to a different dimension by Kakashi Jonin, using a space-time ninjutsu. Hearing Abarameshino's words were the same as the plot in his mind, Lu Sheng nodded slightly, knowing that Diadera had feigned death and left. Advertisement. Chapter 76 The First Ten Years of Life, One Fifth. Advertisement. Chapter 76, The First Ten Years of Life. With Gara's body, squads 7 and 8, and Cho, go through the forest in the land of Kawa, sandwiched between the land of Hefen, the land of fire, a piece of grassland outside the forest, outside the country of the wind. The 8th class witnessed Cho with his own eyes, using the forbidden technique Sesei Reincarnation Technique, sacrificing his own life, and bringing Gara's soul back from the world of bliss. The scene of the resurrection of the dead undoubtedly shocked the people present. 
But this scene made countless San Shinobi who rushed over from San Shinobi village cry with joy. As a bystander, watching Gara receive so much love, Lu Sheng's mood is not so calm on the surface. Three and a half years ago, Gara hated the world and wanted to kill everyone who saw it, and I can still vividly remember it to this day. From the Jinchuriki, hated and feared, to the fifth Kaze cage, beloved by the villagers, Gara reached the finish line faster than Uzumaki Naruto. His appearance made Lu Sheng seem to say that the Vortex Naruto became the appearance of the seventh Hokage. For Uzumaki Naruto to inherit the position of seventh Hokage in the future, Lu Sheng doesn't care at all. When I became Hokage, I couldn't avoid being entangled in politics. I had to think about the future of the village. I stayed in Hokage's office every day, and I didn't even have any free time. In the original book, after Uzumaki Naruto became the seventh Hokage, his whole person became different. Although loved, life is not as good as Uchiha Suzuki who became a wandering ninja. Lu Sheng didn't want to live that kind of life at all, so he kept rejecting Tsunade and didn't join Ambu. Standing on the periphery of the crowd, Squad 8 watched as Squad 7 accompanied Gara and Shinobi back to San Shinobi Village. Advertisement. A Baramashino cast his eyes on Lu Sheng, his eyes under the sunglasses seemed to be asking whether to go or follow. Lu Sheng pondered for a few seconds, then stepped up to follow. Hinata and a Baramashino accompanied him. When dusk fell, the 8th class, which had no sense of existence, looked at the picture of San Shinobi Village welcoming the return of Kaze Cage. The emotions of Hinata and Abarameshino were affected by them again. When Squad 7 was about to separate from Gara, a picture enough to record history appeared. San Shinobi Village will be Kanaha's eternal ally. The Child of Destiny, the halo of Ashira's reincarnation, finally burst out a dazzling light at this moment. Abarameshino adjusted his sunglasses and said ambiguously, Uzumaki Naruto is indeed a very unique person. With a calm expression, Lu Sheng turned around and headed back the same way, let's go back. Hinata and Abarameshino hurriedly followed, and the departure of the 8th class did not have the slightest impact on the climax of the atmosphere. Walking in the desert, the 8th shift didn't use the body flicker technique to hurry. Of the three walking side by side, none of them even spoke. They seemed to be immersed in the picture just now. Even Lu Sheng did not expect that the power of emotions is so powerful. No one could feel more clearly that the emotions of those sand ninjas and residents are so pure than him who has mastered observation hacky. This world is indeed miraculous. Advertisement. Noon the next day, the three of the eighth class returned to Kanaha, went to Hokage's office as usual, and reported the mission to Tsunade. After listening to Lu Sheng's report, Tsunade sighed slightly. The missing third Kaze cage was killed by the Red Sand Scorpion, no wonder there has been no news of him. If it's okay, let's go first. Lu Sheng took Hinata and Abarameshino out of the office, and the first S-level mission of the 8th class ended like this. The three separated under the Hokage building. Walking on the street, Lu Sheng and Hinata had smiles on their faces that they didn't have before. Looking up at the scorching sun in the sky, Lu Sheng held Hinata's little hand and said with a smile, Shouldn't Hanabi be out of school at this time? Interlocking fingers with Lu Sheng like a couple, Hinata still had a little flush on her face, she pursed her lips and nodded with a chuckle, well, I guess, she must be at home already. The home in Hinata's mouth does not refer to the mansion of the Hayaga family but Lu Sheng's home. Both Hinata and Hanabi regard Lu Sheng's home as their second home. I don't know when it started, not coming home at night, staying at Lu Sheng's house, it has become commonplace for Hinata and Hanabi. Zero. As for the Hayaga clan, they seem to agree with this sign and have no intention of blocking it at all. The two walked towards the vegetable market, Lu Sheng intentionally or unintentionally searched for a topic, speaking of which, Mi is going to die soon, right? Hinata nodded slightly, well, she will graduate in March next year. Unlocking the interlocking fingers, Lu Sheng put his arms around Hinata's fragrant shoulders in the street. At 1.8 meters, he easily hugged the 1.6 meters Hinata into his arms. Advertisement. As if he didn't see Hinata's flushed face, Lu Sheng said with a nostalgic smile, We have known each other for almost 10 years. After listening to Lu Sheng's words, in Hinata's mind, it was like a slideshow at the moment, playing back the pictures of childhood and adolescence. Zero zero. Hinata couldn't help showing a happy smile on her beautiful cheeks, and nodded vigorously, Yeah. Life is just a few decades. 
Ten years for Lu Sheng and Hineda is one-tenth, or even a fraction of their life. They are much better than others, they grew up as childhood sweethearts, and walk together naturally. A teenager who is only 16 years old already has 10 years to talk about in the future. Their life is happy and perfect. After buying vegetables at the market, Lu Sheng and Hineda returned home. Lu Sheng Big Brother Seeing Lu Sheng and Hineda enter the door, Hanavi, who was lying on the sofa in the living room, immediately threw his feet off the ground, like a sister who is full of dependence on the big brother. Holding the pounced Hanavi in his arms, Lu Sheng pinched her little face and said with a smile, If you don't go home today to practice gentle fist, be careful next month when your father checks your progress and finds that you haven't improved at all, I won't let you come over in the future. Hanabi hugged Lu Sheng's neck with both hands, and her slender legs under the kimono clamped Lu Sheng's waist in an unladylike way, squinting the crescent moon, and said triumphantly, I'm not afraid, Hanabi is randomly checked every time, did not exert all their strength. Little slippery head. Shaving her nose, Lu Sheng hugged Hanabi and walked to the sofa, while Hineda walked to the kitchen with a soft smile. The backs of the three people are inseparable like blood vessels. Advertisement. 77 The First Gathering After Growing Up, Two Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 77, The First Meeting After Growing Up. A New Day, Around 12 Noon. Boom Boom Boom, Bang Boom Boom. There was a knock on the door of Lu Sheng's house, and the sound ranged from polite and gentle to rough beating. Hey, Lu Sheng, wake up, hey, hurry up and open the door. As if she had some understanding of Lu Sheng's character, Nara Shikamaru changed her usual impatience and knocked on the door loudly while shouting, I know you are inside, come out quickly, hello, squeak. After beating for more than a minute, the door of Lu Sheng's house opened a crack. Wearing a bathrobe, Lu Sheng stared at Nara Shikamaru with a rare distasteful face, and said coldly, you bastard, sooner or later, I will kill you. Hey, hey, don't say such a scary thing, okay. When 097 saw Lu Sheng open the door, Nara Shikamaru returned to his usual laziness, staring at Lu Sheng with a pair of dead fish eyes, scratched his head and said, I heard that Naruto guy is back, we plan to organize a small party. Ino and the others went to inform Hineda, Koji went to Niji and the others, and that guy Iba went to notify Shino, I will take care of you and please Lu Sheng dapping rewards a risk. Staring at Nara Shikamaru's fearless dead fish eyes for a few seconds, Lu Sheng said words that seemed to have been used before, if there is another time, I will kill you. Yes yes. Nara Shikamaru nodded cooperatively, and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief as he watched the door close again. Fortunately, Ino and the others were asked to intercept Hineda in advance, otherwise this task would be difficult to complete. A few minutes later, the door of Lu Sheng's house opened again. Lu Sheng, who was wearing a formal kimono, walked out with a dagger at his waist. Nara Shikamaru walked ahead, leading Lu Sheng to a hotel box. Advertisement. Through the Noran curtain, Lu Sheng could already smell the smell of barbecue inside. Opening the curtain, the figures of twelve Xiaoqiang came into view one after another. Hineda, Yamanaka Ino, Harano Sakura, Tian Tian sat on the right side. Akimichi Koji, Uzumaki Naruto, Inuzuka Kiba, Abara Meishino, Hayaga Niji sit on the left. Akimichi Koji, Uzumaki Naruto, and Inuzuka Kiba are scrambling for barbecue like a battlefield. Abara Meishino sat on the sidelines coldly, but the mood swings observation Haki felt showed that he actually wanted to join in. Only Hayaga Niji sat aside with his arms closed and his eyes closed. The sons and daughters of Yamanaka Ino made Hineda powerful and whispered as if they were asking about topics related to Lu Sheng which made Hineda's face and ears turn red. Yo, Lu Sheng, Shikamaru, you are here. Seeing Lu Sheng and Nara Shikamaru coming in, Inuzuka and the others who were grabbing the barbecue greeted them one after another. Then Inuzuka looked at Lu Sheng and smiled and said, It's so slow, Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng looked at them with disgust in his eyes, and threatened in a cold voice, You guys, next time you knock on my door so rudely, I will cut you off. Mumu, upright. Inuzuka Ya and the others responded in a coordinated tone, but their faces didn't care. Apparently Lu Sheng has threatened them like this more than once. They already regarded Lu Sheng as a partner, and they didn't think Lu Sheng would do this either. It was this trusting attitude that made Lu Sheng helpless. Sighing helplessly in his heart, Lu Sheng sat next to Hayaganiji. Advertisement. 
Seeing Lu Sheng sitting beside him, Hayaganiji opened his eyes and nodded to him. Lu Sheng also nodded his head. Hayaganiji, who was untied by Hayaga Hayashi, completely changed his appearance. Not only was he full of respect for Hinata, but with this respect, Lu Sheng, who will be the son-in-law of the Hayaga family in the future, he also enjoyed. After Lu Sheng sat down, Nara Shikamaru glanced at all the staff and asked in doubt, where's Xiao Li? Hayaga Niji took the initiative to say, at this time, Xiao Li and Mr. Gai should be practicing. Thinking of the characters of Xiao Li and Mike Gai, Nara Shikamaru twitched slightly, if that's the case, forget it, let's have a party. The so-called party, and there is no activity. It's just a simple meal and welcomes Uzumaki Naruto back from his practice. Everyone here is under the age of 20, and they are not allowed to drink alcohol. So barbecue became the battleground for Akimichi Koji and others. Lu Sheng and the others, who don't like barbecue, ate some light food and chatted with each other. Boys have boys circles, and girls have girls circles. Since Lu Sheng came in, Hinata has not come to look for him, nor has he gone to Hinata's place. Sitting in the corner with Hayaganiji, from time to time Lu Sheng could feel the girls gaze on him. However, the whispers with the girls and the voices of the entire box were the loudest from Uzumaki Naruto and Inuzuka Kiba. After the atmosphere came up, even Lu Sheng chatted with Nara Shikamaru, who sat down with a drink, about some daily and task-related matters. I don't know how long it took the meal ended after Akimichi Koji and the others were full. After paying the bill, a group of 11 people walked out of the hotel. Walking to an intersection leading to everyone's home, Hinata finally returned to Lu Sheng's side, and waved goodbye to Nara Shikamaru and others who formed a team with each other. Advertisement. But when he turned to go home, Lu Sheng's eyes suddenly glanced at a tall building not far away. Hinata, who was always paying attention to him, asked in doubt, Mr. Lu Sheng, what's wrong? Lu Sheng withdrew his gaze, shook his head and said, there is a breath that has been following us secretly, but the target is not me and you, it seems to be Naruto and the others. But the breath is not hostile, it should be my illusion. On the way home with Hinata, Lu Sheng frowned slightly. Speak up. If the 8th class did not participate in the S-level mission of San Shinobi Village, the opponent of the 7th class is the Red Sand Scorpion, and Heron Osakura will learn the clue of Uka's 0.5 wave Suzuki from the Red Sand Scorpion. Because of the fact that he killed the Scarlet Sand Scorpion, and they were still in the mood to attend the party, this plot should not have been corrected. However, after the restart of the seventh class, there is indeed a lack of a member. Without Uchiha Suzuki's clues, Squad 7 should wait until Kakashi recovers Mangekyo Sharingan's drain before proceeding with the mission. But Class 7 still lacked one person after all. After Kakashi recovered, Jonin was naturally still the instructor of the seventh class. Could it be that breath is? Sigh. Forget it, it's Class 7's business anyway. Lu Sheng shook his head and ignored it. This gathering was the first gathering of everyone since they grew up, and the atmosphere didn't change at all. But compared to a few years ago, everyone has grown up. Eventually something changes. Advertisement. Chapter 78 A Day with Hanabi, 3 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 78, A Day with Hanabi. Kanaha 63, April 1st. Unknowingly, nearly a month has passed since the 8th class completed its first S-level mission. In the past month, because the 8th class has completed the difficult S-level task, 5th Hokage did not call the 8th class. The three of Lu Sheng lived very leisurely these days. After the party, Lu Sheng didn't see Nara Shikamaru and others in the following days, and they may have started their own tasks. Lu Sheng is also an otaku who doesn't like to go out and can stay at home for 24 hours except for meals. Except for Hinata and Hanabi, it is also very difficult for others to meet him. Today, Hinata practices tea ceremony and flower pressing at home. In the gymnasium of Lu Sheng's family, two figures are fighting against 09. Clang clang. The sound of metal clashing resounded. When Kunao and the card collided, a little flower splashed. Hurry up, hurry up. You should be able to see my next move, right? Let your reaction follow your eyes. Lu Sheng squeezed a palm-sized card with two fingers, and moved it from Kunao, who was attacking from various tricky angles, stepped back gently, looked at the sweaty girl in front of him, and reprimanded mercilessly, don't always use Kunao to attack, trust your supercilious eyes. When Kunao deceived others, he seized the opportunity to use acupuncture points, 
and mercilessly drove Chukra into the enemy's body. Advertisement. Yes. Hanabi stabbed at Lu Shang with Kunao in his hand, and responded with a sound. Facing the stabbing Kunao, Lu Shang squeezed the card with two fingers, and lightly hit the sharp blade of Kunao, a burst of huge force emerged from nowhere, and immediately made the angle of Kunao's attack. It flew out. Call out. Kiwu stabbed in the air, Hanabi stabilized his lower body. His body was pushed away by the huge force with the help of his small hands. His left palm was like a spear, and he stabbed towards Lu Sheng's appetite. Boom! Lu Sheng grabbed Hanabi's wrist with one hand, kicked her knee with his right foot, and pulled the arm holding the wrist vigorously. The cards in the other hand had already touched Hanabi's sweat-drenched neck. The fight is over? Hoo hoo! Lu Sheng big brother, I'm dead again! Hanabi panted heavily, and said in a fragrant and sweaty voice. With a flick of two fingers, the cards are thrown out. Lu Shang raised his hand with the cuff of his kimono, wiped off the sweat under Hanabi's forehead, which was almost staining his eyes, and said with a smile, You are already very decisive, remember to fight your enemies in the future, and you must be so merciless. Aha! Uh -huh. Hanabi nodded again and again, raised her head and squinted her beautiful eyes, and waited until Lu Shang helped her dry the sweat on her face before opening her eyes and asking, Lu Shang big brother. Where do we start, training physical combat? Lu Shang stroked Hanabi's wet hair, don't worry about physical skills, your family's gentle fist and acupressure, as long as you hit the acupoints accurately and put chakra in, ordinary people will suffer serious internal injuries. According to the usual training just do it. Advertisement. Yeah. Hanabi nodded obediently. Lu Shang took Hanabi's hand and walked out of the gym. Back in the room, Lu Shang took off his kimono put on a pair of casual shorts, looked at Hanabi and said, go take a shower first, and then go home or take a nap here, big brother will start later practiced. Hanabi looked at Lu Sheng's figure, slightly raised his small hand, and ran across his mermaid line, raised his head and said with a sweet smile, Lu Sheng big brother, let's wash together, Hanabi wants to rub your back for you. Unlike Hinata's shyness, Hanabi is very bold in both behavior and speech. Lu Sheng was slightly taken aback, then pinched Hanabi's nose, nodded with a smile, okay, then I'll leave it to Hanabi. It can be seen in words. Lu Sheng didn't think about anything, and it wasn't the first time he took a bath with Hanabi. They certainly aren't the first time. Not to mention two people, even three people washing together, Lu Sheng has already tried. Although not many times, Lu Sheng has long been used to it. Taking the bathrobe, Lu Sheng went to the bathroom to run water. Not long after, the bathroom and the room were covered by white, misty water vapor. Clatter. There was the sound of water flowing in my ears, and under the white water vapor, two figures, one tall and one short, were wearing a bath towel, standing, and sitting one at a time. Lu Sheng sat on a small stool and let Hanabi rub his back from behind. Advertisement. The Hayaga style back rub is not just an ordinary back rub. The Hayaga family who are very familiar with the acupuncture points of the human body, whether it is Hinata or Hanabi, will habitually help Lu Sheng press the acupuncture points, MO, when rubbing his back. After Hanabi finished rubbing his back, he turned on the shower to rinse off the foam 870, and then poured warm water down to wet Lu Sheng's hair. The hand squeezing the shampoo quickly penetrated into the long silver hair. With his fingers combing like a comb, Hanabi focused on helping Lu Sheng comb and wash his long hair. After washing the hair, both hands came to the acupuncture points on the head and began to press the jar. Lu Sheng leaned in Hanabi's arms, closed his eyes as if he was asleep. After Hanabi finished pressing his head and washed his hair clean again, Lu Sheng just stood up, ready to take a bath in the bathtub or bathtub. At this moment, he only felt the towel loosen. Jiaga's beautiful figure turned from the back to the front. Lu Sheng looked at Hanabi who was looking up, with a hint of doubt in his eyes. Hanabi smiled maliciously, and said in a deep tone, Lu Sheng big brother, I saw that day dot. Lu Sheng looked puzzled, what did you see? Pff, you asked my sister to do that for you. Hanabi hummed twice, and then suddenly squatted down under Lu Sheng's widening eyes. In the white mist of water vapor, there are still figures of one tall and one short, one standing and one sitting. It's just that the atmosphere this time is quite different. Advertisement. Chapter 78 A Day with Hanabi, Three Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 78, A Day with Hanabi. Kanaha 63, 
April 1st. Unknowingly, nearly a month has passed since the 8th class completed its first S-level mission. In the past month, because the 8th class has completed the difficult S-level task, 5th Hokage did not call the 8th class. The three of Lu Sheng lived very leisurely these days. After the party, Lu Sheng didn't see Nara Shikamaru and others in the following days, and they may have started their own tasks. Lu Sheng is also an otaku who doesn't like to go out and can stay at home for 24 hours except for meals. Except for Hineda and Hanabi, it is also very difficult for others to meet him. Today, Hineda practices tea ceremony and flower pressing at home. In the gymnasium of Lu Sheng's family, two figures are fighting against 09. Clang clang. The sound of metal clashing resounded. When Kunao and the card collided, a little flower splashed. Hurry up, hurry up. You should be able to see my next move, right? Let your reaction follow your eyes. Lu Sheng squeezed a palm-sized card with two fingers, and moved it from Kunao, who was attacking from various tricky angles, stepped back gently, looked at the sweaty girl in front of him, and reprimanded mercilessly, don't always use Kunao to attack, trust your supercilious eyes. When Kunao deceived others, he seized the opportunity to use acupuncture points, and mercilessly drove Chakra into the enemy's body. Advertisement. Yes. Hanabi stabbed at Lu Sheng with Kunao in his hand, and responded with a sound. Facing the stabbing Kunao, Lu Sheng squeezed the card with two fingers, and lightly hit the sharp blade of Kunao, a burst of huge force emerged from nowhere, and immediately made the angle of Kunao's attack. It flew out. Call out. He was stabbed in the air, Hanabi stabilized his lower body, his body was pushed away by the huge force with the help of his small hands, his left palm was like a spear, and he stabbed towards Lu Sheng's appetite. Boom! Lu Sheng grabbed Hanabi's wrist with one hand, kicked her knee with his right foot, and pulled the arm holding the wrist vigorously. The cards in the other hand had already touched Hanabi's sweat-drenched neck. The fight is over, hoo hoo, Lu Sheng big brother, I'm dead again. Hanabi panted heavily, and said in a fragrant and sweaty voice. With a flick of two fingers, the cards are thrown out. Lu Shang raised his hand with the cuff of his kimono, wiped off the sweat under Hanabi's forehead, which was almost staining his eyes, and said with a smile, You are already very decisive, remember to fight your enemies in the future, and you must be so merciless. Aha! Uh -huh. Hanabi nodded again and again, raised her head and squinted her beautiful eyes, and waited until Lu Sheng helped her dry the sweat on her face before opening her eyes and asking, Lu Sheng big brother, where do we start, training physical combat? Lu Sheng stroked Hanabi's wet hair, don't worry about physical skills, your family's gentle fist and acupressure, as long as you hit the acupoints accurately and put chakra in, ordinary people will suffer serious internal injuries. According to the usual training just do it. Advertisement. Yeah. Hanabi nodded obediently. Lu Sheng took Hanabi's hand and walked out of the gym. Back in the room, Lu Sheng took off his kimono, put on a pair of casual shorts, looked at Hanabi and said, go take a shower first, and then go home or take a nap here, big brother will start later practiced. Hanabi looked at Lu Sheng's figure, slightly raised his small hand, and ran across his mermaid line, raised his head and said with a sweet smile, Lu Sheng big brother, let's wash together, Hanabi wants to rub your back for you. Unlike Hinata's shyness, Hanabi is very bold in both behavior and speech. Lu Sheng was slightly taken aback, then pinched Hanabi's nose, nodded with a smile, okay, then I'll leave it to Hanabi. It can be seen in words. Lu Sheng didn't think about anything, and it wasn't the first time he took a bath with Hanabi. They certainly aren't the first time, not to mention two people, even three people washing together, Lu Sheng has already tried. Although not many times, Lu Sheng has long been used to it. Taking the bathrobe, Lu Sheng went to the bathroom to run water. Not long after, the bathroom and the room were covered by white, misty water vapor. Clatter. There was the sound of water flowing in my ears, and under the white water vapor, two figures, one tall and one short, were wearing a bath towel, standing, and sitting one at a time. Lu Sheng sat on a small stool and let Hanabi rub his back from behind. Advertisement. The Hayaga style back rub is not just an ordinary back rub. The Hayaga family, who are very familiar with the acupuncture points of the human body, whether it is Hineda or Hanabi, will habitually help Lu Sheng press the acupuncture points, MO, when rubbing his back. After Hanabi finished rubbing his back, 
He turned on the shower to rinse off the foam 870, and then poured warm water down to wet Lu Sheng's hair. The hand squeezing the shampoo quickly penetrated into the long silver hair. With his fingers combing like a comb, Hanabi focused on helping Lu Sheng comb and wash his long hair. After washing the hair, both hands came to the acupuncture points on the head and began to press the jar. Lu Sheng leaned in Hanabi's arms, closed his eyes as if he was asleep. After Hanabi finished pressing his head and washed his hair clean again, Lu Sheng just stood up, ready to take a bath in the bathtub or bathtub. At this moment, he only felt the towel loosen. Jiayaga's beautiful figure turned from the back to the front. Lu Sheng looked at Hanabi who was looking up, with a hint of doubt in his eyes. Hanabi smiled maliciously, and said in a deep tone, Lu Sheng big brother, I saw that day dot. Lu Sheng looked puzzled, what did you see? Pff, you asked my sister to do that for you. Hanabi hummed twice, and then suddenly squatted down under Lu Sheng's widening eyes. In the white mist of water vapor, there are still figures of one tall and one short, one standing and one sitting. It's just that the atmosphere this time is quite different. Advertisement. Chapter 79, It Will Come When It Comes and the Bad News, Four Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 79, It's a Matter of Course and Bad News. Cough Cough. The white mist of the jade stone dissipated. Hanabi, whose face was elongated, begged for mercy in a vague tone, Lu Sheng Big Brother, I didn't mean it. Seeing Hanabi's pitiful face, Lu Sheng pinched her face hard twice, then let go of the pincer fingers, and flicked her forehead again with his index and middle fingers, and scolded with a smile, only this time. The next is not an example. After finishing speaking, Lu Sheng bypassed Hanabi. Hanabi chose to take a nap here, Lu Sheng didn't bother her, but refused her request to take a nap with her, and came to the gym alone. Hanabi's move was indeed beyond his expectation. But he accepted it calmly, because after living together for so many years, Lu Sheng's feelings for her were not pure like that between brother and sister. Otherwise, a few years ago, when he was with Hinata for his birthday, he wouldn't have let Hanabi join them in their mouth-passing game. Hayaga Hayashi agrees to let Luoli, who has been raised since childhood, marry, but Lu Sheng disagrees. Everything just happened. In Lu Sheng's eyes, Hanabi's actions just now are the same as Hinata's. Just like Lu Sheng's state of mind, he will not be affected by fame and fortune. Advertisement. The strong state of mind prevents him from being lost or lost by the driving, cool, feeling brought by his body just now. For him, the desires and desires of the flesh are just a flavoring agent for life. It just made his relationship with Hinata and Hanabi more intimate and pure. How about the usual work and rest, it is still the same. Coming to the gym, Lu Sheng started to complete today's daily tasks. In the past month, Lu Sheng's inheritance template has reached 196.09%. It is only 4% away from 100% complete unlocking. However, the closer to 100% progress, the less anxious Lu Sheng was to gain experience. On the contrary, he will cherish this last experience before unlocking to 100%. Because he didn't know what would happen after Hawkeye's inheritance template was unlocked to 100%. Will the spiritual world dissipate directly, or open the second inheritance? After ten years of understanding, Lu Sheng learned that the inheritance system is not about inheriting the full strength of the opponent, but a system of experience and strength. The best proof is that Lu Sheng is still short of a powerful body from the Hawkeye level. Unless he improves his body, or obtains another kind of inheritance to make his swordsmanship even more powerful, Lu Sheng will be able to catch up with Hawkeye and even surpass Hawkeye. Lu Sheng doesn't know what kind of future it will be, but he will not be confused, because it will be revealed by then. Advertisement. After more than an hour, Lu Sheng completed today's daily tasks, and began to realize that there was less than 4% of swordsmanship experience left. From the 90% progress to the present, Hawkeye barely had a few battles, and completely boarded the throne of the strongest swordsman, and began the Long Duguchu defeat. The few battles are against a few challengers who are qualified to fight against him, and hunt down some rats to pass the time. It is worth mentioning that in the spiritual world of 95% progress, Hawkeye completely defeated a challenger. That challenger, Lu Sheng, has not forgotten his appearance even after 10 years have passed. Green Algae Head, Three Swordsmen, is the second head of the Straw Hat Pirates, Hawkeye's future disciple and opponent, Noah Zoro. That battle not only brought back Lu Sheng's memories, 
but also made him finally know the time period of Hawkeye. Just after Lu Shang finished comprehending the swordsmanship experience in the spiritual world, he suddenly sensed the familiar aura fluctuation, and ran in from the outside to the inside. He nader ran in and said anxiously, Mr. Lu Shang, something happened to Mr. Hong. Hearing this, Lu Shang's mood did not fluctuate. He stood up unhurriedly, looked at Hinata and asked, What's going on? Hinata said with a sad face, The other half of Teacher Hong, Eno, and the other's guide Jonin, Asuma Jonin died in battle. Asterisk it's actually this time point. Not only is Lu Shang merciless, but he pays attention to the key points of time. Advertisement. Just like Kanaha's collapse plan, Lu Shang obviously has the ability to prevent the tragedy from happening, but he didn't remind and take action. The reason why Kanaha's collapse plan was not executed was because even he wanted Third Hokage to die. This time, I didn't know the time at all. He only remembers Sarutobi Asuma, who will die at the hands of Haydn. But it is impossible for him to tell Yuhi Hong and Sarutobi Asuma, that will not only be questioned, but also cause the displeasure of Yuhi Hong and Sarutobi Asuma. Even if he has already reminded, after all, this is human nature. If he knew the actions of the 10th class in advance, maybe because of Yuhi Hong, he would help solve the undead combination. But now that Sarutobi A, Qian Zhao's, Sima is dead, then die. As long as Hinata and Hanabi hadn't had an accident, the deaths of other people would not be worth mentioning in Lu Sheng's eyes. As for Kurin Yui, after entrusting the 8th class to Lu Sheng, she gradually bid farewell to the ninja life. In the past few years, Lu Sheng has only met her a few times. But after all, it's a teacher-student relationship. Although Lu Sheng won't feel sorry for her man's death, it's okay to help. And if he doesn't make a move, Squad 10 will move with Kakashi too. Although they have been annoying Nara Shikamaru, they come to annoy themselves, but that is just an attitude of Lu Sheng's unsociable attitude. Facing their own attitude, they are not impatient at all, and they trust themselves as partners. In terms of emotion and reason, Lu Sheng should help. Advertisement. Chapter 79, It Will Come When It Comes and the Bad News, Four Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 79, It's a Matter of Course and Bad News. Cough Cough. The white mist of the Jade Stone dissipated. Hanabi, whose face was elongated, begged for mercy in a vague tone, Lu Sheng Big Brother, I didn't mean it. Seeing Hanabi's pitiful face, Lu Sheng pinched her face hard twice, then let go of the pincer fingers and flicked her forehead again with his index and middle fingers, and scolded with a smile, only this time. The next is not an example. After finishing speaking, Lu Sheng bypassed Hanabi. Hanabi chose to take a nap here, Lu Sheng didn't bother her, but refused her request to take a nap with her, and came to the gym alone. Hanabi's move was indeed beyond his expectation. But he accepted it calmly, because after living together for so many years, Lu Sheng's feelings for her were not pure like that between brother and sister. Otherwise, a few years ago, when he was with Hinata for his birthday, he wouldn't have let Hanabi join them in their mouth-passing game. Hayaga Hayashi agrees to let Luoli, who has been raised since childhood, marry, but Lu Sheng disagrees. Everything just happened. In Lu Sheng's eyes, Hanabi's actions just now are the same as Hinata's. Just like Lu Sheng's state of mind, he will not be affected by fame and fortune. Advertisement. The strong state of mind prevents him from being lost or lost by the driving, cool, feeling brought by his body just now. For him, the desires and desires of the flesh are just a flavoring agent for life. It just made his relationship with Hinata and Hanabi more intimate and pure. How about the usual work and rest, it is still the same. Coming to the gym, Lu Sheng started to complete today's daily tasks. In the past month, Lu Sheng's inheritance template has reached 196.09%. It is only 4% away from 100% complete unlocking. However, the closer to 100% progress, the less anxious Lu Sheng was to gain experience. On the contrary, he will cherish this last experience before unlocking to 100%. Because he didn't know what would happen after Hawkeye's inheritance template was unlocked to 100%. Will the spiritual world dissipate directly? or open the second inheritance. After 10 years of understanding, Lu Sheng learned that the inheritance system is not about inheriting the full strength of the opponent, but a system of experience and strength. The best proof is that Lu Sheng is still short of a powerful body from the Hawkeye level. Unless he improves his body, 
or obtains another kind of inheritance to make his swordsmanship even more powerful, Lu Sheng will be able to catch up with Hawkeye and even surpass Hawkeye. Lu Sheng doesn't know what kind of future it will be, but he will not be confused, because it will be revealed by then. Advertisement. After more than an hour, Lu Sheng completed today's daily tasks, and began to realize that there was less than 4% of swordsmanship experience left. From the 90% progress to the present, Hawkeye barely had a few battles, and completely boarded the throne of the strongest swordsman, and began the Long Duguchu defeat. The few battles are against a few challengers who are qualified to fight against him, and hunt down some rats to pass the time. It is worth mentioning that in the spiritual world of 95% progress, Hawkeye completely defeated a challenger. That challenger, Lu Sheng, has not forgotten his appearance even after 10 years have passed. Green Algae Head, Three Swordsmen, is the second head of the Straw Hat Pirates, Hawkeye's future disciple and opponent, Noah Zoro. That battle not only brought back Lu Sheng's memories, but also made him finally know the time period of Hawkeye. Just after Lu Sheng finished comprehending the swordsmanship experience in the spiritual world, he suddenly sensed the familiar aura fluctuation, and ran in from the outside to the inside. He nader ran in and said anxiously, Mr. Lu Sheng, something happened to Mr. Hong. Hearing this, Lu Sheng's mood did not fluctuate. He stood up unhurriedly, looked at Hinata and asked, What's going on? Hinata said with a sad face, The other half of Teacher Hong, Eno, and the other's guide Jonin, Asuma Jonin died in battle. Asterisk it's actually this time point. Not only is Lu Sheng merciless, but he pays attention to the key points of time. Advertisement. Just like Kanaha's collapse plan, Lu Sheng obviously has the ability to prevent the tragedy from happening, but he didn't remind and take action. The reason why Kanaha's collapse plan was not executed was because even he wanted Third Hokage to die. This time, I didn't know the time at all. He only remembers Sarutobi Asuma, who will die at the hands of Haydn. But it is impossible for him to tell Yuhi Hong and Sarutobi Asuma, that will not only be questioned, but also cause the displeasure of Yuhi Hong and Sarutobi Asuma. Even if he has already reminded, after all, this is human nature. If he knew the actions of the 10th class in advance, maybe because of Yuhi Hong, he would help solve the undead combination. But now that Sarutobi A, Qian Zhao's, Sima is dead, then die. As long as Hinata and Hanabi hadn't had an accident, the deaths of other people would not be worth mentioning in Lu Sheng's eyes. As for Kurane Yui, after entrusting the 8th class to Lu Sheng, she gradually bid farewell to the ninja life. In the past few years, Lu Sheng has only met her a few times. But after all, it's a teacher-student relationship. Although Lu Sheng won't feel sorry for her man's death, it's okay to help. And if he doesn't make a move, Squad 10 will move with Kakashi too. Although they have been annoying Nara Shikamaru, they come to annoy themselves, but that is just an attitude of Lu Sheng's unsociable attitude. Facing their own attitude, they are not impatient at all, and they trust themselves as partners. In terms of emotion and reason, Lu Sheng should help. Advertisement. Chapter 80 Well, I promise you, five fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 80 Well, I promise you. Come to the place where Sarutobi Asuma's body is placed, where many ninjas have gathered. Standing outside the crowd, Lu Sheng and Hinata looked at the tenth class surrounded by Nara Shikamaru. The three of them had their heads down, and two lines of tears were already hanging on their faces covered by Yingxian. The weeping kept coming, but Lu Sheng didn't find Shi Hai Hong. Because the sky is gloomy at the moment, and it is pouring rain, which is exactly the same weather as Third Hokage's memorial service. Shi Hai Hong is already pregnant, even if her lover is killed in battle, she is not suitable to be there. After Lu Sheng looked at it for a while, he leaned his head into Hinata's ear and whispered something. Hinata nodded again and again, and then ran away into the heavy rain. Lu Sheng asked her to comfort the current Yu Hai Hong in the name of the 8th class. Not long after, a Baramashino seemed to have also heard the news and rushed over from home. The two members of the 8th class just stood outside the crowd, trapped in the pouring rain. Two hours later, after those people bid farewell to Sarutobi Asuma's body, they gradually dispersed. When the open space was reached, only the 8th and 10th classes were left. Lu Sheng, who had been standing on the periphery, walked over. A Baramashino was next. Advertisement. When he came to the 10th squad surrounded by Sarutobi 643 Asuma with his head down all the time, Lu Sheng said softly, UN. Condolences. 
A Baramashino followed up. Hearing the voices of the two, the tenth squad didn't move at all, as if their souls were out of their bodies. If they didn't see their rain-stained faces and two thick streams of water, they would have thought they had lost consciousness. Lu Sheng put his hand on Nara Shikamaru's head, and said softly again, Do you need help? He didn't point it out, Lu Sheng believed that Nara Shikamaru would be able to understand. Because among the twelve Xiaojiang, if Hinata is his most important person, then Nara Shikamaru is the only one, who is regarded as a friend by Lu Sheng. Nara Shikamaru finally raised his head, biting his lower lip tightly, his face was no longer laziness like before, full of remorse, but with that stubborn look, he was still unwilling to speak. Lu Sheng put down his hand on his head, turned around and returned to the original road, leaving only one sentence that made Nara Shikamaru burst into tears, come to me when you have made up your mind, remember to put me and the first one together when you make the battle plan. The 8th class test, Ajd, is taken into consideration. Otherwise, we're not friends anymore. Abarameshino adjusted his sunglasses, turned around and followed Lu Sheng without saying a word. Walking to Lu Sheng's side, Abarameshino looked ahead and asked calmly, you want to help them? Ah, you can choose not to go. Lu Sheng nodded, and said without forcing. No, I will go. Abarameshino shook his head and said, whether it is the relationship between Teacher Hong and Asuma Jonin, or our relationship with Shikamaru and the others, I will follow. The corner of Lu Sheng's mouth slightly raised, and said, it's time to hurt you. Hmm. Abarameshino nodded. The two separated at an intersection, and Lu Sheng returned home. After entering the room, his kimono gave off a white mist. Advertisement. The moisture in the clothes, like being baked, turned into water vapor and disappeared. In no time, Lu Sheng's kimono was completely dry. Back in the room to dry her hair, Lu Sheng looked at the messy bed and knew it was a sign that Hanabi had gone to school. After drying his hair, Lu Sheng made the bed, then walked out of the room, went to the gymnasium, took the sword stand, and returned to the living room. Pulling out the sword and putting it on the sword stand, Lu Sheng took out a bottle of anti-rust oil and cotton swabs from a cabinet under the tea table, and began to maintain his own sword. Although this is a mortal weapon of more than 2,000 tails, there are not a few strong people who died on its blade. Ordinary ninjas don't speak. Among them are Mamaji Zabachin, Kimimaro, the two elite jonin and other quasi cage level ninjas, and the cage level red sand scorpion. There are also 66 sand ninjas and sound ninjas, as well as the wandering ninjas and hostile ninjas killed by the two year mission. This knife already has the title of hundred people slashing. These years, Lu Sheng did not want to change to a better knife. But the world of Hokage wants a good knife, it's tough. Moreover, after wrapping and winding Haki, Fandeo can also become a famous sword. Lu Sheng, who couldn't find his favorite famous sword, never changed it. After applying the anti-rust oil, Lu Sheng placed the Tadeo and sword stand on the tea table in the living room. I walked into the gymnasium again, crossed my legs and began to perceive the sound of breathing of all things. Originally coming out of the spiritual world, Lu Sheng's next training session is to increase the breathing range of all things and capture the energy. But the sad news of Saru Tobiasuma delayed his cultivation. Returning from the farewell meeting for the body, Lu Sheng's emotions were not affected at all. Advertisement. In just a few seconds, my heart became peaceful. The perception similar to observation Haki began to weave into a net, capturing the aura of all things in the coverage area. Breathing from weak to strong, from near to far. After nightfall, Hinata rarely came back to prepare dinner for Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng big brother. When Hanabi came back from school, Lu Sheng exited the knife zen state after the crisp and sweet voice came to the gym, got up and went out to prepare dinner for Hanabi. Lu Sheng big brother, where's sister? In the kitchen, Hanabi, who was cooking with Lu Sheng, asked why Hinata was not at home. Lu Sheng didn't hide anything and told Hua district the truth. The cruel facts and heavy death made Hanabi's immature face slightly pale, and he did not hide the fear. Lu Sheng patted her on the back, silently comforting her. This dinner was only eaten by Lu Sheng and Hanabi after a long absence. If it was normal, Hanabi would definitely be very happy. But today, she was silent and didn't say a word. Lu Sheng thought she was still, immersed in the cruel reality. After digging a few mouthfuls of food, Hanabi suddenly put down his chopsticks, jumped off the chair, threw himself into Lu Sheng's arms, and begged with tears in his eyes, 
Lu Shang Big Brother, you have to promise Hanabi that nothing will happen to you in the future? The girl trembled with fear, making Lu Shang's heart tremble slightly. Holding Hanabi's small face in both hands, Lu Shang nodded vigorously. Well, Big Brother promises you. Advertisement. Chapter 81 The Actions of Classes 8 and Class 10, 1 5th. Advertisement. Chapter 81 The Actions of the 8th and 10th Classes. April 9th. April 5th, the day Sarutobi Asuma's body was buried, brought sadness to many of the older generation. I watched Third Hokage's death a few years ago, but I didn't expect that these old men were still alive, and the last son of Third Hokage was one step ahead of them. But this burst of sadness only lasted for a day. It has an impact on the ninja collective, that is, it does not affect ordinary residents. Even many people only heard that a jonin was killed in battle, but they didn't know that Sarutobi Asuma was actually the son of Third Hokage. Time can wash away the sadness of others, but Nara Shikamaru who blames herself cannot be relieved. On the contrary, he once again hated himself in the same way that he failed to rescue Uchiha Suzuki and caused his companions to be injured. Waking up with nightmares every day. Every time he wakes up in the middle of the night, the death of Sarutobi Asuma and Lu Sheng's last words will appear in his mind. The future Kanaha military advisor, the man of the seventh Hokage think tank, seems to have made a decision. He sits cross-legged in meditation every day, making a gesture with his hands, exhausting his brain power for the first time to create a revenge plan. Noon and night at 12.15. Inside the bedroom of Lu Sheng's family, Lu Sheng, who was sleeping with Hinata in his arms, suddenly opened his eyes, and a cold glow dispelled the fatigue in his eyes. Gently and softly releasing Hinata, Lu Sheng got off the bed quietly, walked out of the room barefoot, and left the living room soundlessly. Advertisement. On the roof of the gymnasium, Lu Sheng, who was wearing a light bathrobe, looked at Nara Shikamaru, who was wearing a chinin vest, and said softly, Have you made your decision? Ah, I want to avenge Asuma. Nara Shikamaru put on a serious look that is rarely seen on weekdays, bowed her head to Lu Sheng, and earnestly begged, Lu Sheng. No, Yuzuk, I need your help. Lu Sheng raised his hand and patted Nara Shikamaru on the shoulder, telling Nara Shikamaru his decision with his actions, when are you leaving? Hey, don't worry for now. Nara Shikamaru finally showed the first smile after Sarutobi Asuma's death, with confidence restored on his face, looking at Lu Sheng, he said, let me tell you about the plan first. No, we'll talk about it on the way. Lu Sheng raised his hand to stop him, and turned his head in the direction of the Hokage building, fifth generation will not let it go, we did it. You go to inform Ino and Koji first, I will wake Hinata up, and then inform Shino, our Lingya leave the village. If you have any plans, we'll talk about them when we're on the road. Nara Shikamaru nodded vigorously, good. Call out. In the next instant, Nara Shikamaru turned into an afterimage and disappeared on the roof of the gymnasium. Lu Sheng jumped off the roof and returned to the room, only to find that Hinata had woken up. Wearing a thin bathrobe, she leaned against the head of the bed, and the silver light from the window shone in, presenting a beautiful picture. Lu Sheng walked over, stroked her hair with a smile, and said softly, When did you wake up? Mr. Lu Sheng just let go of me, and he woke up. Hinata leaned on Lu Sheng's arms and asked softly, is that person just now a deer? Lu Sheng nodded, combed her long hair with five fingers, and said, You go and wash it, I'll pack up, and I'll go find Jin Ai later. Advertisement. Um. Hinata didn't ask Lu Sheng where he was going so late, he nodded obediently, shook his head again, and said firmly, Mr. Lu Sheng is going to wash and change clothes, I will pack things. Hinata's work was always packed. She was afraid that Lu Sheng would be careless and forget to take the necessary items for daily needs. This is the only point that Hinata has been unwilling to back down. Lu Sheng didn't insist, he took off the kimono from the hanger beside the bed and walked into the bathroom. Not long after, the sound of water flowing in the bathroom and room sounded. After a brief wash, Lu Sheng came out in a black kimono, and took down the Tadeo hanging from the sword stand on the wall. At this time, Hinata had almost packed up I went to the bathroom to wash up soon. Seven or eight minutes later, Lu Sheng and Hinata walked out of the house, and after locking the wooden door, they turned into an afterimage and disappeared instantly. About forty minutes later, at 1.12 a.m. 0. The figures of six paths gathered at the gate of the village for a simple meeting. Lu Sheng didn't wait for Nara Shikamaru to speak, 
and directed directly, go to the place where a Sumajonin was sacrificed first, and let Shino's bugs try to find their scent. On the way, Shikamaru, tell us about the battle plan. Good. Nara Shikamaru nodded, Lu Sheng's words were exactly what he wanted to say. Advertisement. A group of six people walked towards the blinking body and passed through the perception barrier covered by Kanaha. It is believed that their traces have been discovered by the result shift of day and night shifts. But class 8 and class 10 didn't care about this little problem at all. Zero, zero. They went to find the undead group privately and avenged Sarutobi Asuma, which already violated the ninja rules. If they never return, they cannot be blamed at all. Once the miserable victory comes back, even if you can't become a ninja, or you can't be promoted in this life, the first class doesn't care. Even if they are discovered, even if the village sends people out now, they will not be able to catch up with them. A few hours of rushing, around 7 in the morning. The 8th and 10th squads arrived at the Temple of Fire, and Nara Shikamaru took the 8th squad to the place where Sarutobi Asuma died in battle. Hundreds of small black insects emerged from Abarame Shino's feet and began to crawl in all directions, seemingly looking for the remaining scent. It's a pity, Abarame Shino shook his head, this place has been washed by rain, and I can't find any dangerous breath. In this regard, Lu Sheng Etal are not surprised. The reason why they came here was to find the exact location of the undead combination. Even if you can't find it, Nara Shikamaru has prepared a backup plan. One of those two guys has a very experienced ninja, and he once said that we will meet again. Nara Shikamaru said calmly, and they attacked the Temple of Fire for the purpose of protecting the twelve ninjas Jilla the bounty on the head, then we will follow the road to the nearest gold exchange and look for their whereabouts. Lu Sheng and the other five nodded slightly, and disappeared in place in an instant. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan, Two-Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 82, Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan. A woodland full of dead trees. No, your plan won't work. Under a towering tree that seemed to have died and withered to the point that it didn't even have a single leaf, the 8th and 10th classes gathered together, and Lu Sheng's negative voice sounded. Holding the blood drawer handed over by Nara Shikamaru, he said with a serious face, I admit that your plan is perfect, and it is the best plan to use the weak to suppress the strong. However, your steps are messed up. Nara Shikamaru was not dissatisfied, but asked seriously, Yuzuk, tell me. I fought with the Red Sand Scorpion of the Xiao organization and killed him. Lu Sheng handed back the blood drawer, said 210 with a serious face, and said, I know a little about this organization. Even by your words, I have a wild guess. What guess? Nara Shikamaru's nerves tensed. Advertisement. Lu Sheng said carefully, We and the 7th class rescued the S-level task of the 5th Kaze cage, and the opponents were also in a team of two. Their mantras all had the word art. One pursued the art of explosion for the beauty of a moment, and the other it pursues the eternal beauty of puppet art. Although in our eyes, they are all S-class rebellious and extremely dangerous figures in various countries, but in a certain way, they are indeed artists. Lu Sheng stared at his face gradually turning pale, as if thinking of something Nara Shikamaru, asked, if the Akatsuki organization is a team of two and kills a Suma Jonin, do they have the same hobbies or equivalent experiences? No. Nara Shikamaru replied immediately. For Haydn and Kakuza that day, he remembered every word, every action, and action they said clearly, those two people, one likes to self-mutilate to preach, to sacrifice Tholho is a catchphrase, apart from being able to graft damage to others, his strength is not very strong, but the renegade who is with him is too powerful. Lu Sheng said, then do you think they are mutually restraining each other, or do they have the same special ability? Nara Shikamaru's face became more and more ugly, that undead monster's head was beheaded that day, and his companion sewed it on with a special thread. Then let's make a hypothesis. Lu Sheng said, if another person also has the unknown ability of immortality, even if the heart is pierced, he will not die, what will happen to your plan? The probability of failure is more than 35%. Nara Shikamaru said the result in an instant, staring at Lu Sheng all the time, without you, our death probability is more than 95%. What Lu Sheng said made Nara Shikamaru startled into a sweat. From Lu Sheng's mouth, after learning about the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodara's special hobbies, he knew the truth of this hypothesis, at least 70%.
If Lu Shang hadn't been there, if he brought the 10th squad out for revenge this time, it would be tantamount to pushing the 10th squad into the flames, and he would definitely die. Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Shang with a serious face, and said in a deep voice, Give me a little time, I will recreate the plan and add this assumption into it. There is no need for this. Your plan is still perfect. You just need to modify it a little bit. Lu Shang raised his hand to interrupt, and analyzed, not to mention the other person's hidden ability of immortality, but his ability, obviously not as good as that undead monster that can graft damage to the opponent as long as it licks blood, he is the biggest threat to us. Advertisement. Fortunately, God gave him such a powerful ability, but also deprived him of his strength. Lu Sheng said with a slightly raised mouth, as long as you don't give him a chance to lick blood, then there is no threat, right? Various fragments flashed through Nara Shikamaru's mind quickly, and soon several prototypes of plans appeared in his mind, but he still suppressed the excitement and asked, Yuzok, what are you going to do? Lu Sheng hooked his fingers to the people in class 10 and class 8, motioning them to come over, and whispered his plan. Nara Shikamaru's IQ is indeed very high. In the original book, his plan almost wiped out the undead combination. If Lu Sheng does as he does, the plan will surely succeed. But this plan still has some flaws. If an accident occurs, the lives of those present will be in danger. Lu Sheng would not allow Hinata to have an accident, so he also thought of a battle plan in his mind on the way here. When it comes to making battle plans based on intelligence, no one is better than the deserters. Thanks to the fact that the Xiao organization is so famous, Lu Sheng has not forgotten the abilities and cards of each of them. On the contrary, as the plot time progresses, it becomes more and more clear. As long as he is given equal strength, Lu Sheng will have great confidence, and he will kill him without even giving the opponent a chance to show his whole cards. Advertisement. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion is one of them. As soon as Third Kazakaj's puppet was taken out, Lu Sheng seized the opportunity, cut it in half, and then pierced the heart. After explaining his plan to Class 8 and Class 10, Lu Sheng looked at the excited Eno, Shuka, Cho, and Hinata with beautiful eyes who made no secret of his admiration and admiration for him. Lu Sheng commanded, Hinata, Eno, I leave the task of finding their whereabouts to you. 5.6. Learn. Hinata and Yamanaka Eno responded quickly. Nara Shikamaru stood up with a smile on her face, looked up at the flying eagle flying low, and said, Hinata's white eyes can cover a distance of one kilometer, so let's use them to find a place one kilometer away. As long as those two guys pass by this place, they will definitely not be able to escape our pursuit. The combination of perception class and Eno, Shuka, Cho is amazing. 17 or 18 minutes later, Yamanaka Eno, who closed his eyes, and Hinata, who opened his eyes, said in unison, we found them. According to plan, let's go. The afterimage of six paths left in an instant. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan, Two-Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 82, Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan. A woodland full of dead trees. No, your plan won't work. Under a towering tree that seemed to have died and withered to the point that it didn't even have a single leaf, the 8th and 10th classes gathered together, and Lu Sheng's negative voice sounded. Holding the blood drawer handed over by Nara Shikamaru, he said with a serious face, I admit that your plan is perfect, and it is the best plan to use the weak to suppress the strong. However, your steps are messed up. Nara Shikamaru was not dissatisfied, but asked seriously, Yuzuk, tell me. I fought with the Red Sand Scorpion of the Xiao organization and killed him. Lu Sheng handed back the blood drawer, said 210 with a serious face, and said, I know a little about this organization. Even by your words, I have a wild guess. What guess? Nara Shikamaru's nerves tensed. Advertisement. Lu Sheng said carefully, we and the seventh class rescued the S-level task of the fifth Kaze cage, and the opponents were also in a team of two. Their mantras all had the word art. One pursued the art of explosion for the beauty of a moment, and the other it pursues the eternal beauty of puppet art. Although in our eyes, they are all S-class rebellious and extremely dangerous figures in various countries, but in a certain way, they are indeed artists. Lu Sheng stared at his face gradually turning pale, as if thinking of something Nara Shikamaru, asked, if the Akatsuki organization is a team of two and kills a Sumajonin, do they have the same hobbies or equivalent experiences? No. 
Nara Shikamaru replied immediately. For Haydn and Kakuza that day, he remembered every word, every action, and action they said clearly. Those two people, one likes to self-mutilate to preach, to sacrifice Tholho is a catchphrase, apart from being able to graft damage to others, his strength is not very strong, but the renegade who is with him is too powerful. Lu Sheng said, then do you think they are mutually restraining each other, or do they have the same special ability? Nara Shikamaru's face became more and more ugly, that undead monster's head was beheaded that day, and his companion sewed it on with a special thread. Then let's make a hypothesis. Lu Sheng said, if another person also has the unknown ability of immortality, even if the heart is pierced, he will not die, what will happen to your plan? The probability of failure is more than 35%. Nara Shikamaru said the result in an instant, staring at Lu Sheng all the time, without you, our death probability is more than 95%. What Lu Sheng said made Nara Shikamaru startled into a sweat. From Lu Sheng's mouth, after learning about the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodara's special hobbies, he knew the truth of this hypothesis, at least 70%. If Lu Sheng hadn't been there, if he brought the 10th squad out for revenge this time, it would be tantamount to pushing the 10th squad into the flames, and he would definitely die. Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Sheng with a serious face, and said in a deep voice, Give me a little time, I will recreate the plan and add this assumption into it. There is no need for this. Your plan is still perfect. You just need to modify it a little bit. Lu Sheng raised his hand to interrupt, and analyzed, not to mention the other person's hidden ability of immortality, but his ability, Obviously not as good as that undead monster that can graft damage to the opponent as long as it licks blood, he is the biggest threat to us. Advertisement. Fortunately, God gave him such a powerful ability, but also deprived him of his strength. Lu Sheng said with a slightly raised mouth, as long as you don't give him a chance to lick blood, then there is no threat, right? Various fragments flashed through Nara Shikamaru's mind quickly, and soon several prototypes of plans appeared in his mind but he still suppressed the excitement and asked, Yuzok, what are you going to do? Lu Sheng hooked his fingers to the people in class 10 and class 8, motioning them to come over, and whispered his plan. Nara Shikamaru's IQ is indeed very high. In the original book, his plan almost wiped out the undead combination. If Lu Sheng does as he does, the plan will surely succeed. But this plan still has some flaws. If an accident occurs, the lives of those present will be in danger. Lu Sheng would not allow Hineda to have an accident, so he also thought of a battle plan in his mind on the way here. When it comes to making battle plans based on intelligence, no one is better than the deserters. Thanks to the fact that the Xiao organization is so famous, Lu Sheng has not forgotten the abilities and cards of each of them. On the contrary, as the plot time progresses, it becomes more and more clear. As long as he is given equal strength, Lu Sheng will have great confidence, and he will kill him without even giving the opponent a chance to show his whole cards. Advertisement. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion is one of them. As soon as Third Kazakaj's puppet was taken out, Lu Sheng seized the opportunity, cut it in half, and then pierced the heart. After explaining his plan to Class 8 and Class 10, Lu Sheng looked at the excited Ino, Shuka, Cho, and Hineda with beautiful eyes who made no secret of his admiration and admiration for him. Lu Sheng commanded, Hineda, Eno, I leave the task of finding their whereabouts to you. 5.6. Learn. Hineda and Yamanaka Eno responded quickly. Nara Shikamaru stood up with a smile on her face, looked up at the flying eagle flying low, and said, Hineda's white eyes can cover a distance of one kilometer, so let's use them to find a place one kilometer away. As long as those two guys pass by this place, they will definitely not be able to escape our pursuit. The combination of perception class and Eno, Shuka, Cho is amazing. 17 or 18 minutes later, Yamanaka Eno, who closed his eyes, and Hineda, who opened his eyes, said in unison, we found them. According to plan, let's go. The afterimage of six paths left in an instant. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan, Two-Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 82, Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan. A woodland full of dead trees. No, your plan won't work. Under a towering tree that seemed to have died and withered to the point that it didn't even have a single leaf, the 8th and 10th classes gathered together, and Lu Sheng's negative voice sounded. Holding the blood drawer handed over by Nara Shikamaru, he said with a serious face, 
I admit that your plan is perfect, and it is the best plan to use the weak to suppress the strong. However, your steps are messed up. Nara Shikamaru was not dissatisfied, but asked seriously, Yuzuk, tell me. I fought with the Red Sand Scorpion of the Xiao organization and killed him. Lu Sheng handed back the blood drawer, said 210 with a serious face, and said, I know a little about this organization. Even by your words, I have a wild guess. What guess? Nara Shikamaru's nerves tensed. Advertisement. Lu Sheng said carefully, we and the 7th class rescued the S-level task of the 5th Kaze cage, and the opponents were also in a team of two. Their mantras all had the word art. One pursued the art of explosion for the beauty of a moment, and the other it pursues the eternal beauty of puppet art. Although in our eyes, they are all S-class rebellious and extremely dangerous figures in various countries, but in a certain way, they are indeed artists. Lu Sheng stared at his face gradually turning pale, as if thinking of something Nara Shikamaru asked, if the Akatsuki organization is a team of two and kills a Suma Jonin, do they have the same hobbies or equivalent experiences? No. Nara Shikamaru replied immediately. For Haydn and Kakuza that day, he remembered every word, every action, and action they said clearly, those two people, one likes to self-mutilate to preach, to sacrifice Tholhu is a catchphrase, apart from being able to graft damage to others, his strength is not very strong but the renegade who is with him is too powerful. Lu Sheng said, then do you think they are mutually restraining each other, or do they have the same special ability? Nara Shikamaru's face became more and more ugly, that undead monster's head was beheaded that day, and his companion sewed it on with a special thread. Then let's make a hypothesis. Lu Sheng said, if another person also has the unknown ability of immortality, even if the heart is pierced, he will not die, what will happen to your plan? The probability of failure is more than 35%. Nara Shikamaru said the result in an instant, staring at Lu Sheng all the time, without you, our death probability is more than 95%. What Lu Sheng said made Nara Shikamaru startled into a sweat. From Lu Sheng's mouth, after learning about the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodara's special hobbies, he knew the truth of this hypothesis, at least 70%. If Lu Sheng hadn't been there, if he brought the 10th squad out for revenge this time, it would be tantamount to pushing the 10th squad into the flames, and he would definitely die. Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Sheng with a serious face, and said in a deep voice, Give me a little time, I will recreate the plan and add this assumption into it. There is no need for this. Your plan is still perfect. You just need to modify it a little bit. Lu Sheng raised his hand to interrupt, and analyzed, not to mention the other person's hidden ability of immortality, but his ability, obviously not as good as that undead monster that can graft damage to the opponent as long as it licks blood, he is the biggest threat to us. Advertisement. Fortunately, God gave him such a powerful ability, but also deprived him of his strength. Lu Sheng said with a slightly raised mouth, as long as you don't give him a chance to lick blood, then there is no threat, right? Various fragments flashed through Nara Shikamaru's mind quickly, and soon several prototypes of plans appeared in his mind, but he still suppressed the excitement and asked, Yuzok, what are you going to do? Lu Sheng hooked his fingers to the people in class 10 and class 8, motioning them to come over, and whispered his plan. Nara Shikamaru's IQ is indeed very high. In the original book, his plan almost wiped out the undead combination. If Lu Sheng does as he does, the plan will surely succeed. But this plan still has some flaws. If an accident occurs, the lives of those present will be in danger. Lu Sheng would not allow Hinata to have an accident, so he also thought of a battle plan in his mind on the way here. When it comes to making battle plans based on intelligence, no one is better than the deserters. Thanks to the fact that the Xiao organization is so famous, Lu Sheng has not forgotten the abilities and cards of each of them. On the contrary, as the plot time progresses, it becomes more and more clear. As long as he is given equal strength, Lu Sheng will have great confidence, and he will kill him without even giving the opponent a chance to show his whole cards. Advertisement. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion is one of them. As soon as Third Kazakaj's puppet was taken out, Lu Sheng seized the opportunity, cut it in half, and then pierced the heart. After explaining his plan to Class 8 and Class 10, Lu Sheng looked at the excited Eno, Shuka, Cho, and Hinata with beautiful eyes who made no secret of his admiration and admiration for him. Lu Sheng commanded, Hinata, Eno, I leave the task of finding their whereabouts to you. 
5.6. Learn. Hinata and Yamanaka Ino responded quickly. Nara Shikamaru stood up with a smile on her face, looked up at the flying eagle flying low, and said, Hinata's white eyes can cover a distance of one kilometer, so let's use them to find a place one kilometer away. As long as those two guys pass by this place, they will definitely not be able to escape our pursuit. The combination of perception class and Ino, Shika, Cho is amazing. 17 or 18 minutes later, Yamanaka Ino, who closed his eyes, and Hinata, who opened his eyes, said in unison, we found them. According to plan, let's go. The afterimage of six paths left in an instant. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan, Two-Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 82, Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan. A woodland full of dead trees. No, your plan won't work. Under a towering tree that seemed to have died and withered to the point that it didn't even have a single leaf, the 8th and 10th classes gathered together, and Lu Sheng's negative voice sounded. Holding the blood drawer handed over by Nara Shikamaru, he said with a serious face, I admit that your plan is perfect, and it is the best plan to use the weak to suppress the strong. However, your steps are messed up. Nara Shikamaru was not dissatisfied, but asked seriously, Yuzuk, tell me. I fought with the Red Sand Scorpion of the Xiao organization and killed him. Lu Sheng handed back the blood drawer, said 210 with a serious face, and said, I know a little about this organization. Even by your words, I have a wild guess. What guess? Nara Shikamaru's nerves tensed. Advertisement. Lu Sheng said carefully, we and the 7th class rescued the S-level task of the 5th Kaze cage, and the opponents were also in a team of two. Their mantras all had the word art. One pursued the art of explosion for the beauty of a moment, and the other it pursues the eternal beauty of puppet art. Although in our eyes, they are all S-class rebellious and extremely dangerous figures in various countries, but in a certain way, they are indeed artists. Lu Sheng stared at his face gradually turning pale, as if thinking of something Nara Shikamaru asked, if the Akatsuki organization is a team of two and kills a Suma Jonin, do they have the same hobbies or equivalent experiences? No. Nara Shikamaru replied immediately. For Haydn and Kakuza that day, he remembered every word, every action, and action they said clearly, those two people, one likes to self-mutilate to preach, to sacrifice Tholhu is a catchphrase, apart from being able to graft damage to others, his strength is not very strong but the renegade who is with him is too powerful. Lu Sheng said, then do you think they are mutually restraining each other, or do they have the same special ability? Nara Shikamaru's face became more and more ugly, that undead monster's head was beheaded that day, and his companion sewed it on with a special thread. Then let's make a hypothesis. Lu Sheng said, if another person also has the unknown ability of immortality, even if the heart is pierced, he will not die, what will happen to your plan? The probability of failure is more than 35%. Nara Shikamaru said the result in an instant, staring at Lu Sheng all the time, without you, our death probability is more than 95%. What Lu Sheng said made Nara Shikamaru startled into a sweat. From Lu Sheng's mouth, after learning about the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodara's special hobbies, he knew the truth of this hypothesis, at least 70%. If Lu Sheng hadn't been there, if he brought the 10th squad out for revenge this time, it would be tantamount to pushing the 10th squad into the flames, and he would definitely die. Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Sheng with a serious face, and said in a deep voice, Give me a little time, I will recreate the plan and add this assumption into it. There is no need for this. Your plan is still perfect. You just need to modify it a little bit. Lu Sheng raised his hand to interrupt, and analyzed, not to mention the other person's hidden ability of immortality, but his ability, obviously not as good as that undead monster that can graft damage to the opponent as long as it licks blood, he is the biggest threat to us. Advertisement. Fortunately, God gave him such a powerful ability, but also deprived him of his strength. Lu Sheng said with a slightly raised mouth, as long as you don't give him a chance to lick blood, then there is no threat, right? Various fragments flashed through Nara Shikamaru's mind quickly, and soon several prototypes of plans appeared in his mind, but he still suppressed the excitement and asked, Yuzok, what are you going to do? Lu Sheng hooked his fingers to the people in class 10 and class 8, motioning them to come over, and whispered his plan. Nara Shikamaru's IQ is indeed very high. In the original book, 
His plan almost wiped out the undead combination. If Lu Sheng does as he does, the plan will surely succeed. But this plan still has some flaws. If an accident occurs, the lives of those present will be in danger. Lu Sheng would not allow Hineda to have an accident, so he also thought of a battle plan in his mind on the way here. When it comes to making battle plans based on intelligence, no one is better than the deserters. Thanks to the fact that the Xiao organization is so famous, Lu Sheng has not forgotten the abilities and cards of each of them. On the contrary, as the plot time progresses, it becomes more and more clear. As long as he is given equal strength, Lu Sheng will have great confidence, and he will kill him without even giving the opponent a chance to show his whole cards. Advertisement. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion is one of them. As soon as Third Kazakaj's puppet was taken out, Lu Sheng seized the opportunity, cut it in half, and then pierced the heart. After explaining his plan to Class 8 and Class 10, Lu Sheng looked at the excited Eno, Shuka, Cho, and Hineda with beautiful eyes who made no secret of his admiration and admiration for him. Lu Sheng commanded, Hineda, Eno, I leave the task of finding their whereabouts to you. 5.6. Learn. Hineda and Yamanaka Eno responded quickly. Nara Shikamaru stood up with a smile on her face, looked up at the flying eagle flying low, and said, Hineda's white eyes can cover a distance of one kilometer, so let's use them to find a place one kilometer away. As long as those two guys pass by this place, they will definitely not be able to escape our pursuit. The combination of perception class and Eno, Shuka, Cho is amazing. 17 or 18 minutes later, Yamanaka Eno, who closed his eyes, and Hineda, who opened his eyes, said in unison, we found them. According to plan, let's go. The afterimage of six paths left in an instant. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan, Two Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 82 Lu Sheng and the Military Division's Plan. A woodland full of dead trees. No, your plan won't work. Under a towering tree that seemed to have died and withered to the point that it didn't even have a single leaf, the eighth and tenth classes gathered together, and Lu Sheng's negative voice sounded. Holding the blood drawer handed over by Nara Shikamaru, he said with a serious face, I admit that your plan is perfect, and it is the best plan to use the weak to suppress the strong. However, your steps are messed up. Nara Shikamaru was not dissatisfied, but asked seriously, Yuzuk, tell me. I fought with the Red Sand Scorpion of the Xiao organization and killed him. Lu Sheng handed back the blood drawer, said 210 with a serious face, and said, I know a little about this organization. Even by your words, I have a wild guess. What guess? Nara Shikamaru's nerves tensed. Advertisement. Lu Sheng said carefully, We and the seventh class rescued the S-level task of the fifth Kaze cage, and the opponents were also in a team of two. Their mantras all had the word art. One pursued the art of explosion for the beauty of a moment, and the other it pursues the eternal beauty of puppet art. Although in our eyes, they are all S-class rebellious and extremely dangerous figures in various countries, but in a certain way, they are indeed artists. Lu Sheng stared at his face gradually turning pale, as if thinking of something Nara Shikamaru, asked, if the Akatsuki organization is a team of two and kills a Suma Jonin, do they have the same hobbies or equivalent experiences? No. Nara Shikamaru replied immediately. For Haydn and Kakuza that day, he remembered every word, every action, and action they said clearly, those two people, one likes to self-mutilate to preach, to sacrifice Thulhu is a catchphrase, apart from being able to graft damage to others, his strength is not very strong, but the renegade who is with him is too powerful. Lu Sheng said, then do you think they are mutually restraining each other, or do they have the same special ability? Nara Shikamaru's face became more and more ugly, that undead monster's head was beheaded that day, and his companion sewed it on with a special thread. Then let's make a hypothesis. Lu Sheng said, if another person also has the unknown ability of immortality, even if the heart is pierced, he will not die, what will happen to your plan? The probability of failure is more than 35%. Nara Shikamaru said the result in an instant, staring at Lu Sheng all the time, without you, our death probability is more than 95%. What Lu Sheng said made Nara Shikamaru startled into a sweat. From Lu Sheng's mouth, after learning about the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodara's special hobbies, he knew the truth of this hypothesis, at least 70%. If Lu Sheng hadn't been there, if he brought the 10th squad out for revenge this time, 
It would be tantamount to pushing the tenth squad into the flames, and he would definitely die. Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Shang with a serious face, and said in a deep voice, Give me a little time, I will recreate the plan and add this assumption into it. There is no need for this. Your plan is still perfect. You just need to modify it a little bit. Lu Shang raised his hand to interrupt, and analyzed, not to mention the other person's hidden ability of immortality, but his ability, obviously not as good as that undead monster that can graft damage to the opponent as long as it licks blood, he is the biggest threat to us. Advertisement. Fortunately, God gave him such a powerful ability, but also deprived him of his strength. Lu Sheng said with a slightly raised mouth, as long as you don't give him a chance to lick blood, then there is no threat, right? Various fragments flashed through Nara Shikamaru's mind quickly, and soon several prototypes of plans appeared in his mind, but he still suppressed the excitement and asked, Yuzok, what are you going to do? Lu Sheng hooked his fingers to the people in class 10 and class 8, motioning them to come over, and whispered his plan. Nara Shikamaru's IQ is indeed very high. In the original book, his plan almost wiped out the undead combination. If Lu Sheng does as he does, the plan will surely succeed. But this plan still has some flaws. If an accident occurs, the lives of those present will be in danger. Lu Sheng would not allow Hinata to have an accident, so he also thought of a battle plan in his mind on the way here. When it comes to making battle plans based on intelligence, no one is better than the deserters. Thanks to the fact that the Xiao organization is so famous, Lu Sheng has not forgotten the abilities and cards of each of them. On the contrary, as the plot time progresses, it becomes more and more clear. As long as he is given equal strength, Lu Sheng will have great confidence, and he will kill him without even giving the opponent a chance to show his whole cards. Advertisement. The Scarlet Sand Scorpion is one of them. As soon as Third Kazakaj's puppet was taken out, Lu Sheng seized the opportunity, cut it in half, and then pierced the heart. After explaining his plan to Class 8 and Class 10, Lu Sheng looked at the excited Ino, Shika, Cho, and Hinata with beautiful eyes who made no secret of his admiration and admiration for him. Lu Sheng commanded, Hinata, Ino, I leave the task of finding their whereabouts to you. 5.6. Learn. Hinata and Yamanaka Ino responded quickly. Nara Shikamaru stood up with a smile on her face, looked up at the flying eagle flying low, and said, Hinata's white eyes can cover a distance of one kilometer, so let's use them to find a place one kilometer away. As long as those two guys pass by this place, they will definitely not be able to escape our pursuit. The combination of perception class and Ino, Shika, Cho is amazing. 17 or 18 minutes later, Yamanaka Ino, who closed his eyes, and Hinata, who opened his eyes, said in unison, we found them. According to plan, let's go. The afterimage of six paths left in an instant. Advertisement. Chapter 83 The Unparalleled Combination Solved 1, 3 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 83 The Unparalleled Combination Solved 1. In the woodland where a lot of dead trees stand, two figures are walking slowly. The red cloud and black robes on their bodies, and the rebellious forehead protector with a different pattern, showed their identities. Kakuzu and Haydn walked towards Kanaha. They didn't speak all the way, even the talkative Fei Duanye remained silent for a long time. The two seemed to have sensed something was wrong with the atmosphere. When passing a dead tree as thick as a dozen people, a black shadow shaped like a long snake stretched and crawled towards the back of the two of them like a long whip. When they were about to approach the two, the shadow split into two and stabbed out. When the shadow was about to catch them, Haydn and Kakuza suddenly jumped up. Call out. The moment they jumped up, Two kunao with detonating charms shot down from a tree, aiming at the position where they were about to land. Detonator, boom. Crack. Kakuza's pupils shrunk, and the spurting kunao immediately burst into flames, and black smoke enveloped their figures. 09. The strong impact blasted Haydn out, and the sickle he used to resist kunao, the chain that bound his body and the sickle together, was shattered by the explosion of the detonating talisman. Just an ordinary detonator. Haydn lost his weapon. He also didn't give him the chance to take back the weapon at all, and the two shadows quickly spread and tracked. Advertisement. Kakuzu, on the other hand, because of the nature transformation of the Earth attribute, brought a powerful hardening ability to the body, and was not injured by the detonating talisman. However, they were obscured by the smoke from the detonating talisman. 
After jumping out of the range of the smoke, their eyes kept paying attention to the shadow that spread, but they did not see that the master who manipulated the shadow had appeared on the top of a tree, holding to a strange weapon, tied with a detonating charm and thrown down. Is it the detonator again? Watching a weapon shoot down, whether it's Kakuzu or Haydn, attracts attention with the detonator attached to the weapon. After suffering a loss, they are already very vigilant. Seeing the weapons of the detonating talisman flying towards them, the instinct brought by actual combat experience made them avoid the flying weapons by turning their heads. However, in the next second, their faces froze. Chakra transmission, this kid, actually used the secret technique on the weapon chakra transmission, and cast shadow binding technique on us. The experienced Kakuzu saw through Nara Shikamaru's plan in an instant. Standing on the treetop, Nara Shikamaru smiled triumphantly, that's right, it's the chakra knife. Asuma, who was killed by you, is the only relic left to me. The mind of the Nara clan, and that shadow binding technique, is indeed very troublesome. Kakuzu's voice came out from the mask, his face was still calm, but he looked at Nara Shikamaru with full attention. Although this kid's strength is very weak, his IQ is too high, even a ninja like him from the Sengoku period, if he is not careful, he may capsize in the gutter. Shikamaru, there is something wrong with the ground under that person's feet. Hinata's pleasant voice suddenly reached everyone's ears. The expressions of Nara Shikamaru and Kakuzu both changed slightly. Kakuzu glanced at the white-eyed girl who appeared on another treetop, and said in a deep voice, Is it the white-eyed girl of the Hayaga clan? Piyuchichi. Advertisement. Ah, it hurts. At this time, the sound of two sharp weapons entering the body resounded. Haydn's cry of pain drew Kakuzu's eyes again. I saw two severed arms flying in the air. Kakuzu's face was extremely gloomy, and he secretly accelerated his small movements, and his voice did not conceal his killing intent. So, you actually created a special plan to deal with us based on the ability we showed that day. Nara Shikamaru, I remember you, what a scary kid. Ino, Koji, get moving. Nara Shikamaru ignored him and shouted loudly. Whoa, whoa. The moment the words fell, two after images rushed out, appeared next to Haydn, picked up the two broken arms on the ground, and made a gesture to Nara Shikamaru to get it done. Withdraw. Nara Shikamaru gave the order, and then the figure jumped up and landed in front of Haydn. The two faced each other, and Nara Shikamaru used his shadow to imitate technique and even connected Haydn's shadow. Seeing that his forehead was sweating, Haydn seemed to sense something was wrong, and showed a playful smile, you guy, play with me let's race. After speaking, Nara Shikamaru ran in one direction. Haydn followed closely behind. Yamanaka Ino and Akimichi Koji followed suit. Seeing this scene, Kakuza's face changed slightly. Advertisement. Puff. A hand broke through the ground and pulled out the flying swallow on Kakuza's shadow. Swish boom. Just when Kakuza was about to rescue Haydn, the boy who cut off Haydn's arms raised the sword in his hand and swung it down at him. A six or seven meter high, unreasonably exaggerated sword aura came roaring like ocean waves. Not only did 800 stop Kakuza, who was about to rush out subconsciously, but also made him completely give up the idea of rescuing Haydn. Lu Shang. A Barameshino's voice sounded suddenly, and Haydn's sickle was picked up by both hands and thrown towards Lu Shang. Swish, swipe, swipe. Looking at the flying scythe, Lu Shang swung the Tadeo forward a few times, covered with a layer of black substance. The silvery white blade flashed away, and Haydn's march scythe shattered, turned into dozens of pieces of iron, and fell to the ground. Lu Shang faced Kakuzo with a knife, and said flatly, Hinata, Shino, follow up and help. Yes. Hinata and Abarameshino responded, and immediately ran towards Nara Shikamaru and the others. Soon, only Lu Sheng and Kakuza were left in this woodland. Silver hair, sword skills, Kanaha forehead protector, you remind me of the once famous Muebia. Kakuza dodged the sword aura, stared at Lu Sheng, and said in a deep voice, but Mu Yabai Ya has long since died, and his son did not inherit his sword skills. You are Zetsukaki same, the Lu Sheng Yuzuku mentioned. Kakuza said with certainty, after all, such an exaggerated slash will become a sign sooner or later. Advertisement. Chapter 84 Who says my target is you? Four fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 84 Who says my target is you? That's right. I am Kanaha Jonin, Lu Sheng Yuzuk. 
Lu Shang put the knife back into its sheath, put on the posture of drawing the knife, looked at Kakuza with a flat face, and said, He is also the one who will kill you. Arrogant brat, I'm not a scorpion. Under the cuffs of Kakuza's red cloud black robe, a large number of black tentacles were wriggling, retracting the wrist that penetrated the ground and then broke out, and said in a cold voice, Although you were collected by Kanaha, and your head is worthless in the black market, but today I decided to take your head and heart without any money. Call out. Lu Sheng didn't speak, he is a person who doesn't like to talk when fighting. After capturing Kakuza's aura, Lu Sheng's figure disappeared. The kind of high-speed movement that is different from the body flicker technique, which does not rely on the explosive movement of chakra under his feet, surprised Kakuza slightly. What a fast speed, what a weird movement. SHHHHH. In the next moment, an afterimage appeared in front of Kakuza like a teleportation, and the sword was drawn quickly with the sound of unsheathing. With a strong sense of crisis, Kakuza subconsciously wanted to use the nature transformation of the unearthed attribute. But the ninja experience from the Sengoku period told him that this knife cannot be resisted. Tear it. Kakuza believed in his premonition very much, a flash of electricity flashed under his feet, and with a light tap of his toes, the figure flew backwards. However, when he and Lu Sheng opened a distance of nearly two meters, a huge gap appeared in the red cloud black robe at the stomach, spreading from the left shoulder to the right leg. Advertisement. A biting chill hit Kakuza's heart. Looking at the disappointed boy holding the knife, a drop of cold sweat emerged from Kakuza's forehead, and he said in a trembling voice, What happened to that knife? It was obviously just an ordinary sword drawing, but that knife was not a chakra knife, and there was no trace of chakra fluctuations. Why did it give him the feeling that even if he hardened his body with the chakra nature transformation of the earth attribute, he would be cut off easily? Sword Ninja, Kakuzu is not untouchable. In addition to Mu Yabaya, even a warrior from the Iron Country, he has killed many targets who were offered rewards. But those people's saber skills, compared with the kid in front of them, are simply the gap between heaven and earth. Not only the slash just now, but also the unknown sword technique. This kid is a monster? Just like that boy from the Nara family, neither wisdom nor strength should be underestimated, otherwise it would be easy to turn the boat over in the gutter. These thoughts flashed through my mind quickly, Kakuzo landed on both feet after jumping, and performed seal spells and said, wind style squeeze harm. Leaning back, Kakuzo took a deep breath, puffed up his appetite, and blew a strong airflow towards Lu Shang. Like thousands of blades, the airflow swirled to form a huge tornado, tearing apart the diameter of the earth, roaring towards Lu Shang with the sound of howling hurricanes. This is the elemental ninjutsu of the wind attribute chakra nature transformation, and it has a sharpness that cannot be compared with ordinary wind style. Lu Shang's face remained unchanged, he didn't even have any interest in cutting off the tornado. Boom. Advertisement. With both feet in the air, Lu Shang soared into the sky, and clouds bursting with airflow bloomed under his feet. After evading the attack of the tornado, Lu Shang looked down and looked up at him. Kakuzu, who started to squirm behind him, still didn't make a move. He was waiting, using himself as bait, for Kakuzu to unleash his nature mask. The most tied state is also his most state. Looking at Lu Shang who was running in the air without attacking, Kakuzu frowned. If it was someone else, even if the opponent had the ability to fly, Kakuza would have already stretched and lengthened his arms towards the opponent. But after experiencing Lu Sheng's sword-drawn slash, Kakuza knew that the kid's sword skills were very strange and terrifying. If he used the ground resentment to attack, Kakuza would definitely have his arm cut off by the opponent. And air combat, nothing is more suitable than them. Puchi tear it up. The sound of clothes ripping sounded and the red cloud and black robe on Kakuza's body turned into a piece of cloth, revealing a body full of lines, and the four masks on the back were wriggling violently. A few seconds later, the black tentacles sewn onto Kakuza's body burst open one after another. A mass of earth grievances formed by countless black lines spewed out from Kakuza's back, and four monsters with masks of shapes and colors appeared behind Kakuza. Boom! Seeing the four masks separated from Kakuza's body, a dazzling dark red sword energy cut off the airflow in the air, turned into a crescent moon nearly 10 meters long, and fell down. The figure of Lu Shang, running behind crescent moon, observation hacky locks the figure of Kakuzu. Seems to be predicting his next move. 
Advertisement. Seeing this, Kakuza just put his index and middle fingers together, and said in a low voice, lightning style pseudo dark. Tsitsizi, swoosh. The monster with a thunder attribute mask behind it immediately released a huge thunder gun into the sky, soaring into the sky. Boom. The moment the sword chi collided with the thunder spear, a strong airflow immediately exploded, sweeping away like a blade. As for Lu Shang, when he saw the thunder spear coming out, the figure running behind the crescent sword chi had already dropped some altitude. Instead, with the help of the airflow of the attack and collision, Lu Shang's foot stared fiercely into the void, and his figure turned into an arrow, of money, and shot down into the pool. I see, your target is me. Looking at Lu Shang, who was always looking at him, Kakuza was stunned, his figure quickly stepped back, and the four masked monsters behind him jumped up to help him block Lu Shang, although I don't know, how did you know my information? But I will not let you succeed so easily. However, Lu Shang showed a triumphant smile, who told you that my target is you. These four things are your lifeblood, right? The figure running down froze slightly, Lu retracted the saber back into its sheath, and stood in the air with a posture of drawing the saber. When Kakuza's complexion changed slightly and he felt bad in his heart. WH boom. A dazzling knife light suddenly appeared, followed by a large area of dark red light, like the golden light of the sun tearing through the night, illuminating the entire world. Zero. Advertisement. Chapter 85 The First Inheritance, Unlocked to 100%. Five-fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 85 First Inheritance, Unlocked to 100%. Boom. The entire woodland was shaking violently, and endless dust, mist, and sand and gravel floated out. The forest land with a diameter of more than 300 meters was nearly 150 meters from left to right. There were rows as thick as a dozen people, or as thick as a few people. The dead tree collapsed. Seen from a distance, the dark red light is like a surging tsunami, and the breath violently flattened the woodland. The four masked monsters closest to the dark red light seemed to be swept away by a tsunami and flew to the ground, flying a long distance with their masters. Click. The black tentacles and the fragile mask, under the impacting airflow after another, the tentacles began to break like lines, and tiny cracks appeared on the mask, forming nail-sized cracks, spreading to the surroundings. In the end, the four masks, like falling mirrors, turned into a piece of debris and shattered into powder under the impact of the dark red light, and dissipated in the world. Such a large-scale movement not only frightened the birds and beasts in all directions, but also caused the 8th and 10th squads who had transferred the battlefield to look over. But when they saw the familiar dark red light, they showed a smile. The shaking lasted for nearly a minute, and it took several minutes for the dust mist and flying gravel to dissipate. During this period of time, Lu Sheng fell back to the ground, staring blankly at the dust and mist in front of him. You killed the wind-style mask monster and gained 0.9% experience. You killed the water-style mask monster and gained 0.9% experience. Advertisement. You killed the lightning-style mask monster and gained 0.9% experience. You killed the fire-style mask monster to gain 0.9% experience. I. Your Hawkeye inheritance template has been unlocked to 99.94%. Listening to the five notification sounds in his mind, Lu Sheng never imagined that killing those attribute mask monsters would also give experience rewards. But thinking that these masked monsters are the hearts of other people, Lu Sheng was also slightly enlightened. In a way, this is indeed a life. Mastered Chakra's nature transformation, the level is at least Jonin level. Such an experience is indeed very reasonable. Especially after hearing the last part, Lu Sheng couldn't help showing anticipation. With less than 1% experience, Hawkeye's inheritance template will be completely unlocked. The next changes in the strongest inheritance system will be announced soon. Will there be a second inheritance template? After the dust and mist dissipated, Lu Sheng's observation Haki immediately caught the weak breath. In an instant, he came to a distance of more than 100 meters, and Kakuzo who was lying naked on the ground with his upper body bare, was covered with scars like knife cuts all over his body. Sword Chi, that is, flying slash, can be said to be the slash wave formed by cutting off the airflow, or it can be said to be the compressed body of the airflow. People who are hit by it head-on will receive a strong impact and be distorted by the airflow. Those with weak bodies will even be torn apart by the distorted airflow, 
and those who can withstand it will definitely suffer serious internal injuries. Advertisement. Kakuzu obviously resisted, but judging from his appearance, he was obviously not feeling well. This was the first time Lu Shang used the Great Swordsman's Slash to fight. Compared with the power of the Slash, the Great Swordsman's Slash is swung in a sweeping manner, which is completely a large-scale group move. I am afraid that it is many times stronger than Uchiha Madara's Extinguishing Fire. Looking at Kakuzo who was breathing weakly on the ground, Lu Sheng didn't hesitate at all. Hold the Tadeo directly and stab into his heart. You killed Kakuzo to gain 2.3% experience. Your Hawkeye Inheritance Template has been unlocked to 100%. Ding! You have successfully unlocked the first Inheritance Template to 100%. The spiritual world of Dracul My Hawk disappeared after 15 days, Ajk, and the new Inheritance Template is being generated. Please wait patiently. Ding! Congratulations on unlocking the first Inheritance. You will get a precious reward, which will be issued in 15 days. Please wait patiently. As Kakuza's aura ceased, Two different game reminders resounded in Lu Sheng's ears, as if they came close to Lu Sheng's ears. Just like in the past, giving out newcomer gift packs is the same. But the content is true, making Lu Sheng feel itchy. This feeling of being a secret is really both anticipating and apprehensive. At the same time, the content also confirmed Lu Sheng's conjecture. After Hawkeye's inheritance template is completely unlocked, there will still be a second inheritance template. Lu Sheng murmured expectantly. I don't know, what kind of inheritance will it be? Advertisement. After finishing speaking, Lu Sheng temporarily suppressed this thought. Because the more you care about it, the more you will feel that time passes slowly. As long as you don't care too much and let nature take its course, you will feel that half a month flies by quickly. Pulling out the knife that pierced Kakuza's heart, Lu Sheng put the knife back into its sheath and lost in the direction of Nara Shikamaru and others. His battle plan is actually very simple. Then use the shadows of the Nara family to restrain the technique and the shadow imitation technique to seal Haydn's actions, and then Lu Sheng quickly cut off his arms and destroyed his weapons at lightning speed, and killed him let Yamanaka Ino and Akimichi Koji take away the arms, and prevent Kakuza from taking them back to help Haydn sew them on. Without arms and weapons, Haydn is just an ordinary ninja with an immortal body. As long as he doesn't lick the blood and then bite off his tongue or head, nothing will happen. With his strength, Nara Shikamaru and others can definitely rub and jump him casually. And Kakuzo was handed over to Lu Sheng to deal with. Haydn's side is a meaningless battle. Once Lu Sheng's side wins, it means that this revenge plan has been completely successful. When Lu Sheng came to the entrance of a forest that was not withered, several figures just walked out from it. Except for Hineta and Abarameshino, who were not stained at all, the three members of the 10th class all had some bloodline on their bodies, but not their blood. On the faces of several people, there were vengeful smiles. Seeing that Lu Sheng was unharmed, Nara Shikamaru came over and punched him with a right fist. Seeing this, Lu Sheng clenched his fist with his right hand and touched him, then spread his five fingers and clasped them together vigorously. The friendship between men is as simple as that. Advertisement. Chapter 86 The Clapping Game a family of three, one-fifth. Advertisement. Chapter 86, The Game of Clapping Hands, A Family of Three. When the 8th and 10th squads returned to Kanaha, they met Kanaha's rescue team on the way. This rescue team is the 7th team led by Kakashi. The Tiendai Kiao incident did not happen, and indeed no new 7th squad was formed. In the team of the 7th class, Yamato was not seen. However, there is Sai in it making up for the position of the third person in the seventh class. I happened to meet Lu Sheng and others on the road, and Azumaki Naruto and Kakashi, who were the first to bear the brunt, breathed a sigh of relief. Hey, you didn't call me before you set off? It's so embarrassing. The first words we met were Azumaki Naruto accusing Lu Sheng and Nara Shikamaru. This remark warmed class 10's heart. Nara Shikamaru laughed and scolded. You bastard, didn't you go to practice? Who can find you? TCH, ghosts believe you. Uzumaki Naruto didn't even believe a word. Even if he is very nervous, he knows Nara Shikamaru's IQ. If he really wants to find him, it will be a breeze. But seeing that they were all right, Uzumaki Naruto 09 was relieved. What Kakashi pays attention to is different from Uzumaki Naruto. He looked at the unscathed and unscathed 8th class, and then at the 10th class with more or less bloodline on his body, 
and tentatively said, you, succeeded. The three members of the tenth class looked at each other and grinned at Kakashi one after another, successful. Advertisement. Kakashi's expression changed slightly, and he was deeply shocked by their words. After fighting with the art duo, and Jiraiya's reminder a few years ago, he knows what kind of terrorists are in the Akatsuki organization. All of them are S-rank rebels, with the combat power to destroy a country. Even for him, it would be difficult to face someone alone, and he might even die. They actually killed too? As if thinking of something, Kakashi's eyes suddenly fell on Lu Sheng and Nara Shikamaru. The greatest credit for being able to destroy that group should be these two. One has a very high IQ and is extremely clever, the other has superior strength and amazing sword skills. What a perfect pair. After chatting with class 7, one class rushed back to Kanaha. The next afternoon, the three classes returned to Kanaha. Naturally, they went to Hokage Safis first to plead guilty to 5th Hokage. After coming to Hokage Safis, the 8th and 10th classes were undoubtedly reprimanded by Tsunade. But after seeing that they were all right, he breathed a sigh of relief, and finally let go of the heart he had been carrying all along. Gently scolding them a few words, Tsunade let them go back to rest. There is no imaginary punishment. The six people separated under the Hokage building, and Lu Sheng and Hineda walked towards the vegetable market as usual. Advertisement. On the way, Hineda said with some disappointment, Mr. Lu Sheng, do you feel that Jinai and I are a burden? Lu Sheng was slightly taken aback, then put his arms around Hineda's fragrant shoulders, and asked, why do you say that? Leaning in Lu Sheng's arms, Hineda was in a rare low mood, every time we fight, Ji now and I seem to be unable to help, and Mr. Lu Sheng stands in front alone, sheltering us from the wind and rain. If we encounter a stronger enemy in the future, will we drag Liu's career down? If it was before, Hineda would naturally not have such an idea. But Kawanakuni saw Deodara's self-explosion, and yesterday saw Haydn's immortal power that won't die even if his body is dismembered. Hineda knows that the 8th squad and Kanaha's future enemies will most likely be this Akatsuki organization. Everyone in that organization is a powerful terrorist with unique skills. If Squad 8 meets a combination in the future, will they become a burden, or even a burden that the enemy threatens Lu Shang? Hearing Hineda's words, Lu Shang smiled slightly, raised his hand to touch her head, and said firmly, Don't worry, if someone wants to hurt you, they have to step over my dead body. But no matter who it is, as long as it becomes our enemy, I will not give him a second more time to breathe. Um. Hineda knew that Lu Shang was comforting herself, so she quickly sorted out the messy thoughts, just reminding herself in her heart that she must strengthen the difficulty of cultivation in the future. After the two bought groceries, they returned home and prepared to rebel. As soon as he entered the door, Hanabi's familiar figure immediately rushed forward. The warm atmosphere washed away their fatigue from running around. Advertisement. As usual, the three of them are like family members, Lu Sheng is playing with his sister Hanabi on the sofa, while her sister is in the kitchen, preparing dinner. On the couch, Lu Sheng allowed Hanabi, who was nearly 1.5 meters tall, to sit on his body. The weight didn't affect him at all. The two first chatted about the past two days, mainly because Hanabi asked about their future. Lu Sheng still didn't hide anything, and told Hanabi all the truth. I don't know if it's because I haven't seen him in the past two days, which makes Hanabi a little frightened, and the feeling of longing becomes particularly strong. After chatting for a while, Hanabi suddenly took a peek at the kitchen room 167. Through the open door, he could see Hineda with his back to them, carefully preparing today's dinner. At this time, Hanabi's body sitting on Lu Sheng's waist suddenly fell down. Her red lips touched Lu Sheng's chin, and a scent of cloves immediately invaded and penetrated. This move made Lu Sheng's eyes widen slightly. Immediately, he secretly glanced in the direction of the kitchen, and just raised his hand and pressed it on the back of Hanabi's head, engaging in a fierce confrontation with the scent of cloves and incense. In the kitchen, Hineda is wearing an apron, cutting vegetables with a kitchen knife in his hand, and impatiently slices the meat and pieces into thin slices, and puts them on the silver plate after cutting. After finishing the vegetable chopping, she subconsciously turned around and glanced at the scene outside the living room, and saw her favorite person playing a child's clapping game with her sister, Hineda couldn't help pursing her lips and smiling, her beautiful face was covered with tears the color of happiness. After she turned around again, Hanabi jumped down again, 
cultivating feelings with her brother-in-law. When the dinner was about to be ready, Mai Yichuan reluctantly got off Lu Shang. Lu Shang pinched her little face with his fingers, and silently reprimanded her for her boldness. Hanabi didn't care at all, after holding Lu Shang's arm with both hands, the two walked towards the restaurant. A family of three started today's dinner. Advertisement. Chapter 87 The Second Inheritance, Two Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 87 The Second Inheritance. Fifteen days is just half a month, just one more day in two weeks. Say long is not long, say short is not short. But such a short time is enough to change many things. The first is the tenth class. After experiencing the death of Saru Tobiasuma and taking revenge on Haydn, they seem to have completed their transformation. Nara Shikamaru stopped being lazy and became more mature. On weekdays, I would occasionally come to chat with Lu Shang for a while, to Lu Shang, who is impressed by his IQ and strength, chatting about topics related to the Xiao organization, often holding a lighter in his hand, playing, but not smoking. Yamanaka Ino and Akimichi Koji also became diligent in practicing family secret arts. They are changing, and so is class 8. Lu Sheng didn't know any changes in Abarameshino, but Hineda is a real change. Although she is still so gentle and considerate, she takes care of Lu Sheng's daily necessities. But when Lu Sheng began to practice, she did not stay in Lu Sheng's house, but returned to the Hayaga clan. Through the undercover agent Hanabi, Lu Sheng knew that when Hineda went back, it was not to learn tea ceremony and flower pressing, but to ask Hayaga Hayashi about gentle fist. Her change reminded Lu Sheng of what she said that day, and he couldn't help feeling a little distressed. Advertisement. But no matter how hard he Hineda tries, her strength will be useless in the later stage. Even Lu Sheng was not sure at this time that he could avoid the white light of infinite Tsukuyomi. Unless Uchiha Suzuki uses the perfect body Suzanu to protect him, once Six Paths Madara casts infinite Tsukuyomi, he will be eliminated instantly. But he couldn't bear to stop Hineda from becoming stronger because Lu Sheng knew Hineda's character well. This girl usually doesn't have any opinions, and when she makes up her mind to do something, even Lu Sheng can't stop her. Therefore, Lu Sheng pretended not to know. However, Hineda's change has provided Hanabi with an excellent opportunity. Usually, when Hineda goes back, Hanabi likes to stay at Lu Sheng's house, and every time after Lu Sheng finishes his practice, he will stick to it like a gummy candy. It relieved the loneliness of Hineda's absence for Lu Sheng. Although Lu Sheng and Hanabi have known each other for six years less than Hineda, but it doesn't affect their feelings at all. On the contrary, Hanabi has been trained by Hayaga Hayashi since she was a child, and besides gentle fist, she has only one older sister in her life. And because my sister lost to me, although she was as gentle to me as ever, Hanabi actually felt a little guilty in her heart. But when she knew everything, and knew that her sister was just putting water on herself, she was actually very powerful, and she was trained by one person. Hanabi became very curious about that person. Coupled with seeing his strength, his invincible swordsmanship, and his unhurried demeanor are lethal to precocious little girls. Advertisement. At that moment, Hanabi seemed to have found his idol. After pestering Hineda to have a relationship with the idol, Hanabi got to know Lu Sheng better and his attitude towards him changed from fan's idol worship to his sister's dependence on Big Brother. But whether it is dependence or liking, Hanabi doesn't know. She likes staying by Lu Sheng's side, likes the gentleness he always dotes on her, likes his handsome appearance, likes his unparalleled strength, and even more likes his domineering behavior when he bullies her. The girl's heart had already been drawn on Lu Sheng's body at an unknown time. For these, Lu Sheng did not know. I am teasing Hanabi every day, accompanying Hanabi in his practice, and comprehending the final swordsmanship experience by the way, half a month is gradually over. April 25, 14.30 p.m. When Hineda returned home to practice and Hanabi went to school, Lu Sheng was in the gymnasium, listening to the sound of breathing of all things. Suddenly, a loud game prompt sounded like thunder in his ears. Ding! Your second inheritance template has been randomly generated. Dot. The terrifying gravitational force struck Lu Sheng with a sap, as if aiming at the soul, pulling his consciousness out of his flesh and body. Lu Sheng's body still maintains the sword meditation posture, but his breathing changed from even and long to rapid, as if he had experienced a big battle. Cold sweat emerged from his forehead and dripped down his chin. Veins appeared in the corners of the eyes and temples, 
and the subconscious action of biting his lower lip showed that Lu Shang was in pain now. Advertisement. This pain does not come from the body. It's a splitting headache, pain from the brain. The pain lasted for a long time before it disappeared. Lu Shang's consciousness that fell into the abyss returned to his body. His eyelids trembled and he opened his eyes, his blurred vision gradually became clearer, and the picture received by his vision was even clearer than before. But in the clarity, the picture seen by the eyes has changed from a single to a fragmented multi-screen. Like a mirror dropped to the ground, those shattered mirrors reflect the images. Sticky, sticky, dark black lines formed thick or thin cracks, dividing the picture Lu Sheng saw into several or a dozen parts. So that, in Lu Sheng's eyes, the flat floor became a dozen pieces, the walls became a dozen pieces, the ceiling became a dozen pieces, and even the Shi Jirjinshi and sword stand not far away, wooden golem pile, everything in the whole gym, covered in graffiti lines, come on, like pieces held together with glue. It is shaking every moment, as if a piece will fall from the hole at any time. The crack-like dark lines turned the visual picture into a multi-screen one. The shaking of more than a dozen pictures made Lu Shang feel sick, and rarely wanted to vomit. But the strong shock suppressed the feeling of vomiting. Consciousness saw the brand new template in his mind, Lu Shang realized that there was no problem with his vision, he just saw one thing. A kind of end, whether it is a person or everything, will exist death. From the perspective of others, Lu Shang's eyes are no longer red pupils, but a pair of ice blue eyes with colorful spiral patterns. A few seconds later, Lu Shang whispered tremblingly, the magic eye of death. Advertisement. Chapter 88 The Devil's Eye of Immediate Death Part 1, 3 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 88, The Devil's Eye of Immediate Death Part 1. At 5.30 p.m., dusk fell. After Hanabi came out of the ninja school, he didn't go back to the clan's mansion, but to Lu Sheng's house. Walking into the house, Hanabi immediately trotted towards the gymnasium, with a sweet smile on his immature and cute face. According to this point of time, Lu Sheng Big Brother must be meditating in Dao Zen. When Hanabi came to the gym, he was surprised. Not here, Lu Sheng Big Brother, whose schedule is so strict that he won't even agree to his request unless there is a mission, is actually not in the gymnasium at this point in time. Is there a mission again? But the door is not locked? Are you sleeping? With these doubts flashing through his mind, Hanabi turned back to the living room and walked into Lu Sheng's room. Clatter. There was no one on the bed, but the sound of dripping water could be heard from the sensor. Advertisement. So it's taking a shower? 533 hee hee. Hanabi was stunned for a moment, then covered her lips with a smile, went to the closet and took out a small bathrobe, quietly pushed open the door of the sensor, and walked in. The white misty water vapor picture, a blurry figure standing under the shower, shrouded in water vapor, came into Hanabi's eyes. Lu Sheng turned his back to Hanabi, and asked in a rare low tone, is that Hanabi? Yeah, Lu Sheng big brother, Hanabi is back. Hanabi nodded again and again, not hearing the change in Lu Sheng's tone, and put crabs passing by, the kind in the river, on the bed in the room. Lu Sheng big brother, how are you today? He asked with concern, it's about cultivation, did any accident happen? Well, Lu Sheng rested his head with one hand, and stroked Hanabi's hair with the other hand, showing a smile that he didn't know whether it should be bitter, a jab, or excited, I got something today, it seems that my hard work in the past few years was denied in an instant, and I just couldn't accept it for a while, Lu Sheng big brother, don't be sad, Hanabi didn't ask what it was, but leaned in front of Lu Sheng, kissed him, and comforted him softly with a small, blushing face, if you feel uncomfortable, just, apjid, Lu Sheng didn't know whether to laugh or cry, squeezed her little face, and said with a smile, it's uncomfortable, Hanabi has just taken it away, actually, it's not very uncomfortable, after all, even though that thing denies the hard work of Big Brother for several years, but it also makes the Big Brother more powerful and can better protect Hanabi and your sister, hmm, I'm fine, Hanabi needs to sleep for a while, Hanabi responded, closed her eyes with heavy eyelids, and lay down on Lu Sheng ready to sleep, advertisement, Lu Sheng patted her tender back affectionately, with an apologetic expression on his face. Listening to Hanabi's gradually long breathing, Lu Sheng stared at the ceiling in a daze, and several hours of pictures could not help but appear in his mind. A small knife sank into the wooden golem pile without the slightest force, just pulled and lifted lightly, 
and drew an arc along the line, the wooden golem pile shattered and turned into several pieces of fields broken wood. Lu Shang practiced swords for more than a year before he realized the sound of the breath of all things, and was able to catch the breath of the wooden golem pile and cut it in two. A pair of eyes gave him the ability to cut through wood, stones, and even walls and buildings effortlessly. The sound of the breathing of all things was suddenly reduced to a foil, that seemed to be an irresistible slash. No, not slashing, but killing, the magic eye of death, a kind of ability in the moon world. It is an ability related to the law of causality, a superpower that can see death and kill death. This superpower does not need to consume magic power, chakra, and other energy. It wasn't even a pupil technique, even if it was dug out from Lu Sheng's eyes and transplanted into someone else's body, it would still be a pair of ordinary eyes. The magic eye of death is the ability of the brain to receive the thing of death in the form of visual information. A terrifying ability that does not consume any ability, but only burns the brain. It is a kind of ability that the more you understand death, the more powerful it will become. As long as it is a living thing, even a god will kill it for you. Advertisement. This hacky classic sentence is the words spoken by the master of Lu Sheng's second inheritance, the two rituals. This inheritance is very powerful and special. Powerful is the ability to kill the magic eye, and special is the inheritance of Lu Sheng, who may never be able to surpass the opponent just like the eagle eye. If it's just unsurpassable, it's not special. The special place is that a certain aspect cannot be surpassed, but a certain aspect has surpassed the two rituals. What cannot be surpassed is the understanding of death. And what has been transcended is also the understanding of death. Why do you say that? The reason is very simple, because the magic eye of death is the ability of the moon world. Xingyu world has one of the most basic settings, that is, everything comes from the root. The root records the birth of all things, and also records the death of all things. The death-killing magic eye of the two rituals can kill even illusory things like concepts, future, and memories. That's because her body is connected to the root and can be used without any burden. It can be said that this is a pair of eyes that will not appear in the world other than the Xingyu world. Ninja world, no roots. Advertisement. Chapter 89 The Devil's Eye of Immediate Death Part 2, Four Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 89, The Demon Eye of Immediate Death Part 2. This chapter is a bit brain-burning and the only explanation. Ninja world, no roots. Lu Sheng's physical body is also not connected to the root. The power system of each world is different, and even the world view is different. Everything in the Xingyu world comes from the root. But how did everything in other worlds come out? Lu Sheng didn't know, neither did the two ceremonies. However, the latter, the two do not know, but the former, the two rituals know. Therefore, even if Lu Sheng had the same eyes as the two ceremonies, he would not be able to see more deaths than the two ceremonies in the Xingyu world. Even if it is completely unlocked, Lu Sheng will not be able to surpass her in the inheritance template of the two ceremonies. Because there are too many things recorded in the root, even if through the spiritual world of the two rituals, Lu Sheng can obtain 100% understanding of death, he who has not connected to the root will sooner or later forget a lot of power. The power of his eyes will degenerate. In the Xingyu world, the two ceremonies cannot be surpassed, but Lu Sheng has already surpassed the two ceremonies in a certain aspect. That is outside the Xingyu world. Advertisement. There is no root in the ninja world, how everything came about, what is the product of chakra, what is elemental ninjutsu and blood succession limit. I don't know the two rituals at all, but Lu Sheng, who is a time traveler, he knows. The ability of the devil's eye of immediate death is a causal ability that induces the inherent death of people and things in advance. To make the simplest comparison, after ordinary people are born, they are destined to die at that moment. Birth is the cause, death is the effect. So this understanding allows Lu Sheng to see the death of all mortals except Superman. This death, straight death magic eye will be presented with lines and dead points. However, the lines and dead points are also divided into quantity and size. It is necessary to hit the two, and only then can the opponent be cut off and terminated. Then this size depends on the user's understanding of death. Birth is the cause, death is the effect. This most basic understanding allows Lu Sheng to see the dead lines of hair length and the dead spots like dust particles. But if you want to cut and hit them, the difficulty is no less than reaching the sky. If you want them to increase in number, size, and length, you must understand more death. When a person is born, 
he is doomed to die. The process in the middle is countless possibilities, representing countless understandings of death. He may die of illness, may starve to death, may be beaten to death, may be hit to death by a car, etc. Then define the time of his birth as the cause, and various deaths as the cause. Then Lu Sheng will be able to see more threads of death and points of death. This is why Lu Sheng can cut off the wooden golem pile without even unlocking 0.02% of the inheritance templates of the two ceremonies. Advertisement. Because he understands the life and death of the wooden golem stake, traced back to the seedling, then chopped off, burned, rotted, all its death. This understanding can even be applied to paper, so Lu Sheng can kill paper. The same is true of houses and so on. But when you cut the wooden golem stake, you won't be able to see it die. Because it can't be used, it's a kind of death, so it can't be killed. Those rotten stools, unfit chairs, broken bamboo knives, all broken things. Lu Sheng couldn't see their death. This is the basic understanding of death. Don't underestimate this kind of understanding, this most basic understanding can even make Lu Sheng kill Shiquan. Because the world is a planet, it is alive. Because it is alive, it can be killed. So how should its death be understood? It is alive when it exists, and it is dead once it explodes. In this process, was it impacted by other planets, or was it the arrival of aliens, or was it destroyed by the natives? These can all be regarded as an understanding of death. So, Lu Sheng can see the death of the world. But how big is the world, with such a little understanding of death, how much death can Lu Sheng see with his eyes? Is it 1 centimeter, or 10 centimeters? A planet is a life, the death that appears on it, is it in the land of fire, or the land of wind, or the deep sea, or the continent on the other side of the sea? Even if Lu Sheng burns all his brain power and maximizes the death of the planet, unless luck of one in a billion occurs, Lu Sheng burns his brain and cannot see the death of the world. Advertisement. This is the reason, the most basic understanding of death allows Lu Sheng to see most of the deaths, but whether these deaths are big or small depends on his understanding of death, whether it is shallow or deep. If you are shallow, you can burn your brain and let yourself see more death, which belongs to the understanding beyond the limit, such as killing the world. If you go deep, you don't even need to burn your brain, you can also see a lot of death, such as, wooden golem piles, paper, and other things. Zero. So, how did the Xingyu world's power system come about, and how did it not exist? These two rituals know, but Lu Sheng doesn't. How did Chakra come about in the ninja world, how did ninjutsu come about, and how did it disappear? Lu Sheng knows these things, but the two rituals don't. The moment Lu Sheng got the magic eye of death, it was doomed that Lu Sheng could not surpass the two rituals, but he had already surpassed the two rituals. This is a pair of straight death magic eyes that belong to him. Although it can't be compared with the two ceremonies, which can be used without burden, Lu Sheng is very satisfied with these eyes. He won't kill the world, why do he need to understand so much? As long as you can improve your own strength, you will be satisfied. Although the appearance of the devil's eye immediately negated Lu Sheng's hard work over the years. The sound of breathing of all things seemed to become a foil all of a sudden. But the magic eye of death, combined with the sound of breathing of all things, is actually like a tiger with wings added. The sound of breathing of all things, can hear the breathing of dead things, and then cut it off as a human being. This is actually an understanding. This means that as long as Lu Sheng can hear the breathing of dead things, his eyes can see death. With the cooperation of the two, his swordsmanship has since become unparalleled in the world. Advertisement. Chapter 90 Rewards for Choosing One of Three, Five Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 90, Choose One of the Three Rewards. While reminiscing, Lu Sheng waited until Hanabi's breathing became even and long, then put one hand around Hanabi's waist, turned over gently, and put her on the bed. Covering her with the quilt, Lu Sheng got off the bed carefully, and quietly left the room barefoot. When he came to the gymnasium, Lu Sheng took a look at the wooden golem piles that had been broken into more than a dozen pieces on the ground, and then sat on the futon used for sword meditation, his consciousness immersed in his mind. Ding! You have obtained a precious inheritance gift package, do you want to open it? After the second inheritance template was generated, a second prompt sounded in Lu Sheng's mind immediately. At that time, Lu Sheng was immersed in the shock brought by the magic eye of death, and Lu Sheng ignored it for several hours. Now that he has calmly accepted the 753 reality that subverted his hard work, 
and believed that the magic eye of death and swordsmanship are a perfect match, Lu Sheng just turned his attention to the gift package of inheritance. This inheritance should refer to the system reward after unlocking an inheritance template to 100%. Lu Sheng said silently in his heart, Open. Shua. A stream of light flashed past Lu Sheng's eyes, and three phantoms that only he could see appeared in front of Lu Sheng's eyes. These three phantoms are all one item. There is another thing in it that Lu Sheng is very familiar with. The moment he saw the three phantoms, it was the same as when he got the kimono and shijir gold back then, information about them flooded into Lu Sheng's mind. Advertisement. One time inheritance card, 12 skills of the supreme fast knife black sword knight, bloodline evolution pill. A one time inheritance card, the function is to transfer one of your own abilities, skills except the blood inheritance limit and superpowers, such as the sound of breathing of all things, to color hacky, marine six styles. Instantaneous body technique, shadow clone technique, imparted to the person who crushes the card. The Supreme Sword Black Sword Knight, the saber of the world's number one swordsman Hawkeye, has the title of the strongest black sword in the world. Bloodline Evolution Pill, an item that allows one's own bloodline to evolve to a higher level. According to the information that emerged in his mind, Lu Sheng could randomly choose one of the three phantoms, and then the real phantom would appear in front of him. It is a choice of three rewards. After checking their information, Lu Sheng fell silent. These three things are undoubtedly very precious items and props. A one-time inheritance card, although you can't pass on your own swordsmanship and the magic eye of death to others, but as long as you pass on the sound of breathing of all things to a person with a strong swordsmanship talent, there is a high probability that a second sword will appear in the ninja world how. You can also impart two color haki, or marine six styles to Hinata to make her more powerful. Black knife yet, the strongest knives of twelve stands of the supreme fast knife. If the second inheritance template hadn't appeared before, Lu Sheng would most likely choose it. But now with the devil's eye of immediate death, even with a cheap knife, Lu Sheng can easily cut the steel that sees death into countless pieces like cutting paper. Whether it is a famous knife or a common knife, it has the same effect on him. Although the black knife is strong, it has no special ability. Among the three items, it is the least valuable item in Lu Sheng's eyes. As for the third item, advertisement. Lu Sheng narrowed his eyes slightly. Without hesitation, Lu Sheng raised his index finger and pointed at the Phantom of Bloodline Evolution Pill. Snapped. With the palm facing the sky, a small white sealed bottle landed on Sheng's heart. Open the bottle cap of the cork, inside is a pure white ball the size of half a thumb, like milk candy. Lu Sheng quickly plugged it in and did not take the bloodline evolution pill. He is an ordinary person who has no blood inheritance limit. The superpower of the magic eye of death is also the special ability of the brain to receive visual information of death, so it is not a kind of blood. This ball, if he eats it, it will be wasted. For him, the value is not much better than Haidei. Even the value of Haidei Oya is much better than it, at least it will give Lu Sheng a famous knife. And if it is eaten by Lu Sheng, it will be the same as eating sugar, maybe it is not the taste of sugar. The reason why Lu Sheng did not choose the inheritance card, but the reason why he chose it. It's for Hinata. The selected rewards are all real objects, rather than imparting effects, which gives Lu more control over how to use them. When he saw the bloodline evolution pill, Lu Sheng subconsciously thought that he might be practicing hard at the moment, so as not to hold him back in the future, or become a burdensome Hinata. Lu Sheng saw the girl's hard work and hard work for half a month. He was very compassionate in his heart, because Lu Sheng knew that no matter how hard he practiced, Hinata would never reach the end. Unless Bian evolves to Ten Sagan, he will have the qualification to go to the end and the power to avoid infinite Tsukuyomi. Advertisement. But if Bian wants to evolve into Ten Sagan, he must have the blood of Atsutsuki. Just as Uchiha Madara transplanted Senjo Hashirama's cells, Hinata had to transplant Atsutsuki's cells. Leaving aside the Atsutsuki family, except for the Atsutsuki family on the moon, and the Atsutsuki family who come from space, the number is very small. Even if they got their cells, Lu Sheng would not allow Hinata to be transplanted. She may be Jonin in this life, or quasi cage level strength. And now, Lu Sheng sees another possibility for Hinata. If this ball really has such a terrifying effect, Hinata's strength and potential may not be inferior to Azumaki Naruto and Uchiha Suzuki. Thinking of this, Lu Sheng's emotions were rarely agitated. 
My heart is full of anticipation for 2.1, and I am also happy for Hinata. I can't wait to get Hinata back immediately and evolve this bloodline so that she can eat it. If this conjecture holds true, then, Hinata will not only be his favorite wife, but also the best right-hand man. An enhanced version of Yamato Natako who goes up to the living room and down to the kitchen, takes care of his own food, clothing, housing, and transportation inside, and helps kill the enemy outside. Mr. Lu Shang. At this moment, a familiar gentle voice came in from the door of the gymnasium. It turned out that the sky outside had become pitch black. The moonlight shining in fell on the girl in white clothes and long hair, those pure white eyes full of soft light made the corners of Lu Shang's mouth slightly raised. He hooked his finger at Hinata, and said, Hinata, come here. Advertisement. Chapter 91 in May, The Angel Who Saved the Ruthless, 1 5th. Advertisement. Chapter 91, in May, The Angel Who Saved the Werewolves. Another five days passed, and nothing seemed to change at all. No, there is a personal change, extremely large. That is, Hinata. Hinata was given the bloodline evolution pill that day. Although she didn't experience a sudden change, her body gradually changed in the next few days. First of all, the capacity of chakra has almost soared. In just about five days, it has soared from the original jonin to the level of elite jonin, and it is still rising. Although the chakra capacity cannot be regarded as strength, but a person with a large chakra capacity can perform advanced ninjutsu without any burden. Although Hinata doesn't know a single ninjutsu, she has already learned Revolving Heaven. This amount of chakra can completely allow her to cast Revolving Heaven unscrupulously. However, her white eyes did not change in any way. I don't know if it's the effect of the bloodline evolution pill that can't make Hinata's white eyes evolve, or it takes a long time for the white eyes to evolve into Tensagen. Even Lu Shang couldn't help but wonder, it won't be as long as Uchiha Madara's awakening Renegan, right? This conjecture made Lu Shang feel disappointed. Advertisement. Sure enough, there is no such thing as reaching the sky in one step. Fortunately, when he gave Hinata the bloodline evolution pill, he didn't tell Hinata the efficacy of the bloodline evolution pill, otherwise the girl would be very disappointed. Unlike now, Lu Shang was only faintly disappointed. Hinata was ecstatic, she thought her strength had skyrocketed because of her hard work. Forget it, just let her continue to be kept in the dark, let yourself protect her well. Kanaha 63, May 1st. A month has passed since the death of Sarutobi Asuma. Today, Lu Shang, as always, is in the gymnasium, comprehending the sound of breathing of all things, improving the range of breathing and the capture of energy. He didn't just waste or even discard this ability that he had practiced hard for several years just because he obtained the magic eye of death. On the contrary, Lu Sheng still puts the focus on the sound of breathing of all things. Because unlike the Eagle Eye Inheritance Template, the system did not issue daily tasks for the Two Ceremonies Inheritance Template. That is to say, Lu Sheng cannot obtain the 0.02% experience that the system gives every day. Temporarily unable to comprehend the death understanding of the two rituals, Lu Sheng now relies on the most basic understanding of death, and can see the death of many people and things, as well as the death of ninjutsu. But that point of death is a limited number of understandings, and there are less than 10 lines of death presented. Until a few days ago, Lu Sheng tried to use the sound of breathing of all things to cooperate with the ability of the magic eye of death, and got an astonishing fact. The number of threads of death on people and things has skyrocketed. Advertisement. As mentioned before, the sound of the breath of all things is used by the swordsman to listen to the breath of the dead, and then capture the breath, and cut it off as a human. Defined by the ability of the magic eye of straight death, the moment the breath is heard, the dead thing is alive, defined as the cause, holding a knife along the position of the air movement can kill it. Park Calendar. Lu Sheng's breath of all things has long been at the level of a great swordsman. Maybe his slashing is not as good as Hawkeye. Everything in the world, except for very special objects and extremely hard things, temporarily cannot hear breathing, or can only capture a ray of air, whether it is the mountains, the sea, or even the sky he could even hear the sound of breathing. If you use all your strength, you can also cut off a mountain and tear apart the thousand meter high airflow in the sky, although after using it, his energy will be exhausted. But being able to cut off means being able to kill. And it's an easy kill. Lu Sheng didn't know Das Han's understanding of death yet, but after the magic eye of death blessed the breath of all things, 
Das Han showed a large line of death, and even death, such as Hokage Rock. At that time, Lu Sheng understood. The appearance of the demon eye of straight death has made up for the defect that he needs to focus on capturing the Qi machine, and then he has to cut towards the Qi machine, transforming the Qi machine into death. It is no longer necessary to consume energy and energy, but only need to follow the line of death and the point of death, and the moment of hitting and hitting, it means death. The appearance of the devil's eye of immediate death minimized the consumption of Lu Sheng's slash, making it more concise and deadly. Knowing the breath of all things will not be reduced to a foil, but will become a great help. Advertisement. Lu Sheng naturally puts all the focus on improving the breathing range. You are indeed here. Lu Sheng didn't know how long Dao Zen had been meditating. Suddenly, a male voice came from the entrance of the gymnasium, pulling him back from the world of Dao Zen to reality. Opening his eyes, Lu Sheng saw Nara Shikamaru, who was wearing a chinin vest and with a pair of dead fish eyes, leaning against the door with his arms folded. 477 A trace of doubt flashed across his eyes, Lu Sheng got up slowly. In the living room, Lu Sheng is making tea. Looking at Lu Sheng who was wearing a kimono with an expressionless face, Nara Shikamaru sat on the sofa and persuaded him lazily, your schedule is too strict. Every day you either perform knife skills or meditate. You can't go on like this, really? Just imagine how extreme you would be if Hinata wasn't by your side. A person whose work and rest are so strict is definitely a ruthless person. If it is an ordinary person, then he is likely to have a great future. But if it is a strong person, it is easy to go to extremes. Nara Shikamaru could tell at a glance that Lu Sheng was such a werewolf. He was even convinced that if Lu Sheng hadn't come together with Hinata, this ruthless man would be infinitely more terrifying than Uchiha Suzuki. Hinata, who saved him, was nothing short of an angel. Lu Sheng first poured Nara Shikamaru a cup of tea, then poured himself a cup, but instead of tasting it, he crossed his legs and asked, Why are you so free today? Nara Shikamaru's lazy appearance became serious. Lu Sheng knew that in Liang Shikamaru would only show this appearance when it comes to serious business. Advertisement. Chapter 91 in May. The Angel Who Saved the Ruthless, One-Fifth. Advertisement. Chapter 91, in May, The Angel Who Saved the Werewolves. Another five days passed, and nothing seemed to change at all. No, there is a personal change, extremely large. That is, Hinata. Hinata was given the bloodline evolution pill that day. Although she didn't experience a sudden change, her body gradually changed in the next few days. First of all, the capacity of chakra has almost soared. In just about five days, it has soared from the original jonin to the level of elite jonin, and it is still rising. Although the chakra capacity cannot be regarded as strength, but a person with a large chakra capacity can perform advanced ninjutsu without any burden. Although Hinata doesn't know a single ninjutsu, she has already learned Revolving Heaven. This amount of chakra can completely allow her to cast Revolving Heaven unscrupulously. However, her white eyes did not change in any way. I don't know if it's the effect of the bloodline evolution pill that can't make Hinata's white eyes evolve, or it takes a long time for the white eyes to evolve into Tensagen. Even Lu Shang couldn't help but wonder, it won't be as long as Uchiha Madara's awakening Renegan, right? This conjecture made Lu Shang feel disappointed. Advertisement. Sure enough, there is no such thing as reaching the sky in one step. Fortunately, when he gave Hinata the bloodline evolution pill, he didn't tell Hinata the efficacy of the bloodline evolution pill, otherwise the girl would be very disappointed. Unlike now, Lu Sheng was only faintly disappointed. Hinata was ecstatic, she thought her strength had skyrocketed because of her hard work. Forget it, just let her continue to be kept in the dark, let yourself protect her well. Kanaha 63, May 1st. A month has passed since the death of Sarutobi Asuma. Today, Lu Sheng, as always, is in the gymnasium comprehending the sound of breathing of all things, improving the range of breathing and the capture of energy. He didn't just waste or even discard this ability that he had practiced hard for several years just because he obtained the magic eye of death. On the contrary, Lu Sheng still puts the focus on the sound of breathing of all things. Because unlike the Eagle Eye Inheritance Template, the system did not issue daily tasks for the Two Ceremonies Inheritance Template. That is to say, Lu Sheng cannot obtain the 0.02% experience that the system gives every day. Temporarily unable to comprehend the death understanding of the two rituals, 
Lu Shang now relies on the most basic understanding of death, and can see the death of many people and things, as well as the death of ninjutsu. But that point of death is a limited number of understandings, and there are less than ten lines of death presented. Until a few days ago, Lu Shang tried to use the sound of breathing of all things to cooperate with the ability of the magic eye of death, and got an astonishing fact. The number of threads of death on people and things has skyrocketed. Advertisement. As mentioned before, the sound of the breath of all things is used by the swordsman to listen to the breath of the dead, and then capture the breath, and cut it off as a human. Defined by the ability of the magic eye of straight death, the moment the breath is heard, the dead thing is alive, defined as the cause, holding a knife along the position of the air movement can kill it. Park Calendar. Lu Sheng's breath of all things has long been at the level of a great swordsman. Maybe his slashing is not as good as Hawkeye. Everything in the world, except for very special objects and extremely hard things, temporarily cannot hear breathing, or can only capture a ray of air, whether it is the mountains, the sea, or even the sky he could even hear the sound of breathing. If you use all your strength, you can also cut off a mountain and tear apart the thousand meter high airflow in the sky, although after using it, his energy will be exhausted. But being able to cut off means being able to kill. And it's an easy kill. Lu Sheng didn't know Das Han's understanding of death yet, but after the magic eye of death blessed the breath of all things, Das Han showed a large line of death, and even death, such as Hokage Rock. At that time, Lu Sheng understood. The appearance of the demon eye of straight death has made up for the defect that he needs to focus on capturing the Qi machine, and then he has to cut towards the Qi machine, transforming the Qi machine into death. It is no longer necessary to consume energy and energy, but only need to follow the line of death and the point of death, and the moment of hitting and hitting, it means death. The appearance of the devil's eye of immediate death minimized the consumption of Lu Sheng's slash, making it more concise and deadly. Knowing the breath of all things will not be reduced to a foil, but will become a great help. Advertisement. Lu Sheng naturally puts all the focus on improving the breathing range. You are indeed here. Lu Sheng didn't know how long Dao Zen had been meditating. Suddenly, a male voice came from the entrance of the gymnasium, pulling him back from the world of Dao Zen to reality. Opening his eyes, Lu Sheng saw Nara Shikamaru, who was wearing a chinin vest and with a pair of dead fish eyes, leaning against the door with his arms folded. 477 A trace of doubt flashed across his eyes, Lu Sheng got up slowly. In the living room, Lu Sheng is making tea. Looking at Lu Sheng who was wearing a kimono with an expressionless face, Nara Shikamaru sat on the sofa and persuaded him lazily, your schedule is too strict. Every day you either perform knife skills or meditate. You can't go on like this, really? Just imagine how extreme you would be if Hinata wasn't by your side. A person whose work and rest are so strict is definitely a ruthless person. If it is an ordinary person, then he is likely to have a great future. But if it is a strong person, it is easy to go to extremes. Nara Shikamaru could tell at a glance that Lu Sheng was such a werewolf. He was even convinced that if Lu Sheng hadn't come together with Hinata, this ruthless man would be infinitely more terrifying than Uchiha Suzuki. Hinata, who saved him, was nothing short of an angel. Lu Sheng first poured Nara Shikamaru a cup of tea, then poured himself a cup, but instead of tasting it, he crossed his legs and asked, Why are you so free today? Nara Shikamaru's lazy appearance became serious. Lu Sheng knew that in Liang Shikamaru would only show this appearance when it comes to serious business. 92 The 8th class and the 10th class unite again, 2 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 92, Class 8 and Class 10 unite again. That Naruto guy seems to have practiced a very strong ninjutsu. Nara Shikamaru didn't get to the point immediately, but talked about Azumaki Naruto. It seems to add Wind Style's nature transformation to Reznan. If it is completed, Reznan will probably advance to the S-level esoteric ninjutsu. Lu Sheng picked up the teacup and took a sip, staring at Nara Shikamaru with red eyes, quietly waiting for his next words. Nara Shikamaru scratched his head and continued. It seems that something happened during the process, and he went out to practice with the legendary son in Jirei Yasama again. The seventh class has just restarted and entered a long rest. Normal? S-level ninjutsu is not so easy to complete. Lu Sheng finally spoke up. He knew that Izumaki Naruto's S-level ninjutsu is wind-style spiral shuriken, which must be perfected in sage mode. Nara Shikamaru nodded, and teased with a playful smile, 
that is to say, after all, not everyone is like our master Lu Shang. He is only 12 years old, and even earlier, he can use the S-level esoteric slash, not to mention the tail of the crane in Naruto. When talking about the end of the crane, Nara Shikamaru couldn't help showing a look of nostalgia in his eyes. Before he knew it, the tail of the crane had become so powerful. You can develop S-rank ninjutsu? Nara Shikamaru's praise made Lu Shang show a disgusted face, hurry up and get to the point, what is it? Hearing this, Nara Shikamaru said sternly, due to the lack of personnel in the seventh class, it cannot be activated for the time being. So fifth Hokage, called our eighth and tenth classes order me to come over to you. Ino has gone to find Hineda, and Koji should have gone to find Shino. Well, wait for me here. Advertisement. Lu Sheng nodded, got up and walked to the gymnasium, picked up the Tadeo from the sword stand and returned to the living room. As the plot progresses, Lu Sheng knows that the number of times he is called will definitely continue to increase. Known as the new generation of Mu Yabaya, Lu Sheng's strength is obvious to all. Such an easy-to-use sword, there is no way Tsunade would let it go. As a member of Kanaha, you must either be an ordinary person, or be a rebellious ninja, or perform the duties of a ninja. To become Kanaha's ninja, missions are inevitable. Lu Sheng knew this, so he never refused the tasks arranged by Tsunade. Walking out of the house with Nara Shikamaru, Lu Sheng came to Hokage's office. Pushing the door open, Lu Sheng and Nara Shikamaru saw the figures of Hineda and Yamanaka Ino. Apparently they've been waiting a long time. Behind Hineda and Yamanaka Ino, both were carrying a large bag, while Ibarame Shino and Akimichi Koji were empty-handed. After a month, the 8th class and the 10th class met again. Seeing that all the members of class 8 and class 10 were present, Tsunade was sitting on an office chair, with his chin resting on his hands, his face was serious and he did not speak. It seems to be waiting for someone else. Seeing this, neither the 8th class nor the 10th class spoke, or even chatted, but waited quietly. SHH. Advertisement. Not long after, a figure appeared outside the window of Hokage's office. Seeing his appearance, Tsunade reprimanded, too slow, Kakashi. Sorry, I've been delayed. Kakashi scratched his head, a figure jumped in from the window, and raised his hand to say hello to class 8 and class 10, yo, long time no see, Ms. Kakashi. Yamanaka Ino and the others responded quickly. As for Lu Sheng and the others, they nodded their heads. Very well, everyone is here. Seeing that all the staff were present, Tsunade finally spoke and said in a deep voice, not much nonsense, let me tell you one thing first, and then there is an important task that needs to be performed by you. Yes. Not long ago, we received a message from Umbu that they may have found Orikimura's main stronghold. Tsunade said in a deep voice, speaking of which, that guy is about to reincarnate, and it should be his last one week. But no matter how weak, his strength and his subordinates cannot be underestimated. Tsunade continued, when that Umbu found their stronghold, he was also attacked, and he may no longer be in this world. I called you here to let you search and find the location of the Arakimura stronghold. Tsunade smiled, looked at the 8th and 10th squads, and said, After all, in terms of perception, strength, and wisdom, you are the best candidates. Nara Shikamaru suddenly stood up and said with a serious face, Can I have a look at what Umbu sent back? Tsunade nodded, took out a notebook from the cabinet, and handed it to Nara Shikamaru. This is the decrypted information, please read it carefully. Nara Shikamaru took the note, opened it and read it quickly. Advertisement. After nearly a minute, he handed the note to Kakashi. Kakashi was not as scary as Nara Shikamaru in his memory. After watching for about three minutes, he stepped towards Lu Sheng. But Lu Sheng didn't catch it. He shook his head and said, You can make arrangements, whether it is Kakashi Jonin or Shikamaru's arrangement, I will follow. Saying so, in fact, Lu Sheng didn't think it was necessary to read it at all. Tsunade's words have already brought back his memory. Although it is not clear, but, money is okay, if I remember correctly, it should be the event of three tales. Thinking of this, Lu Sheng's heart sank suddenly. He wasn't much impressed by the events of three tales. But after the plot, he was very deep. If I remember correctly, Origamura failed to control three tales this time, and was killed by Uchiha Suzuki soon after and then the brothers killed each other. Achiha Suzuki learned the truth and joined the Akatsuki organization. After that came the fall of a generation of heroes, and, Pen's invasion. 
It turns out that the plot has come here before you know it? That's right. After all, two members of the Akatsuki organization have died and one has been dismembered. Then, this task will be entrusted to you. Tsunade gave the order, don't waste time, start now. Yes. A group of seven people responded one after another. Advertisement. Chapter 93 Orikimura's Stronghold, Three-Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 93, Stronghold of Orikimura. At the entrance of the village, Kakashi and Liang Ban had a brief discussion. Nara Shikamura's eyes are no longer dead fish eyes, but full of seriousness, and said, if it's just a simple search, there is no need for fifth generation to call us, or even Mr. Kakashi. With Yuzuk's strength, there is with Hinata and Shino's search capabilities, they can easily complete this task. So, allow me to say an unlucky word? We have to be prepared for a hard fight. Nara Shikamura's gaze was deliberately fixed on Kakashi's eyes, the enemy will most likely be Odinin Village, the legendary son in Orikimura, and Achiha Suzuki. The fifth generation must have taken this into consideration and brought us together. Nara Shikamaru looked at Kakashi and warned, if the opponent has Achiha Suzuki, I hope Mr. Kakashi will show no mercy. Because, I don't want to hurt my companions anymore. Among the twelve small strongmen, except for Uzumaki Naruto and Harano Sakura, the rest of them don't have that much bond with Achiha Suzuki. Even Yamanaka Ino, who once competed with Harano Sakura, 717 for Achiha Suzuki, only has the impression of this person when he was a teenager. Nara Shikamaru has no affection for Achiha Suzuki. The mission that year failed because of Achiha Suzuki. It's hard to say if he was captured by Orikimura. But he took the initiative to seek refuge with Orikimura, which caused his companion to be almost killed by the four Yinin. This kind of loss is enough to suffer once, and Nara Shikamaru will never allow her companion to have an accident because of Uchiha Suzuki. Advertisement. Ah, if he is our enemy, let me deal with him. Kakashi heard Shikamaru's words and couldn't help but nodded. Nara Shikamaru nodded slightly, and then turned his attention to Abarame Shino, Hineda, and Yamanaka Ino, I will leave it to you for the search. If Shino's bug fails, Hineda's white eyes will take over, or just like last time, use my the shadow binds the technique, and the heart of the field turns to the technique. After finishing speaking, Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Sheng again, and said with a smile, the aura of the enemies around is in your hands, Yuzuk. Lu Sheng nodded, leave it to me. Kakashi on the side, seeing Nara Shikamaru commanding the team, and Lu Sheng who did not compete for the command and completely trusted Nara Shikamaru, was slightly amazed in his heart. The combination of these two people really is an unparalleled combination in the world. Fifth Hokage asked himself to come here because he was simply worried. Otherwise, with their two classes working together, both of them can complete the difficult S-level task. After Nara Shikamaru made arrangements, a group of seven people started to move, walked out of the village and left immediately. According to the information sent back by Ambu, Orikimaru's stronghold is in Tenokuni. The ninja's body flicker technique is used for traveling, and the speed is very fast. In just over a day, one can cross from the land of fire to the land of wind. Although Tien's Higuo's location is far away, it doesn't take much time. Ling Ye was on his way, after two o'clock in the morning. Lu Sheng and his party of seven had already entered the territory of Tian's Higuo. Advertisement. There was a dense forest ahead, Lu Sheng and the others landed on the top of a towering tree. A Baramashino stretched out his hand in his pocket, and the back of his hand was covered with black worms. He said calmly, I'm releasing a large number of parasites now, and I'm going to look for the largest chakra fluctuation one kilometer away. Nara Shikamaru took out a map from his backpack, pointed at a location that had been marked in advance before departure, and analyzed, according to the information sent back by Umbu, I made a few surveys on the exact location of Orikimura's stronghold. Ten guesses, this should be, Aj, the most likely. However, please don't be so happy. Nara Shikamaru said solemnly, the possibility of Umbu being killed is extremely high. The fifth generation once said that the time for Orikimura's reincarnation is approaching, and this time will be his weakest. When? If the stronghold is discovered, he will most likely choose to move or ambush us in the stronghold. Nara Shikamaru put away the map and said, the former is fine, we are just wasting a little time. If it is the latter, then they are hugging us. With the idea of killing us, please don't let your guard down. 
After listening to Nara Shikamara's words, except for Lu Sheng, the members of the second class, including Kakashi, showed serious expressions. Immediately, the seven of them leaped towards the depths of the forest. Half an hour later, Tianren found the entrance passage to the Arakimaru stronghold. A few people didn't go in, Nara Shikamaru set his sights on Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng said flatly, there is no need to go in and look for it, there is no aura fluctuation inside. It looks like, they have moved. Nara Shikamaru was not disappointed, but heaved a sigh of relief. At the same time, he looked at Kakashi and asked, Mr. Kakashi, Orikimura's stronghold has been found, and the worst thing did not happen. What do we do next? Retreat, or continue? Their task is to find the stronghold of De Shezang. Now the stronghold has been found, but the people have moved. Advertisement. A task can be said to be a success or a failure. For this mission, he is only responsible for making the plan, and Kakashi is responsible for the rest. Hearing this, Kakashi pondered for a few seconds, and suddenly said to Abarameshino, Shina, use your bugs to explore the way below, see if you can find, the breath left by others. Understood. Abarameshino nodded, then slightly raised his hand, and tens of thousands of insects, like locusts crossing the border, dripped in along the entrance passage. Nearly two minutes later, Abarameshino said with a trembling voice, Below, there are all corpses. But, fortunately, I found a few smells that do not belong to corpses. Nara Shikamaru grinned, patted Lu Sheng who was looking up at the sky, and said, It seems that the mission is not over yet. Lu Sheng frowned slightly, Kikai's breath is very heavy and wet, and it will rain heavily soon. As soon as these words fell, the faces of Kakashi and the others changed slightly. Hawk. At this time, several bats flew over the heads of Lu Sheng and the others. Lu Sheng narrowed his eyes slightly, and immediately ordered, Xena, use a few insects to remember their breath, let's find a place where we can hide from the rain first. Yes. Compared with Kakashi and Nara Shikamaru, Abarameshino listens to and trusts Lu Sheng's words more. Clatter. Sure enough, within half an hour, heavy rain poured down over the forest. Advertisement. Chapter 93 Orokimura's Stronghold, Three-Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 93, Stronghold of Orokimura. At the entrance of the village, Kakashi and Liang Ban had a brief discussion. Nara Shikamura's eyes are no longer dead fish eyes, but full of seriousness, and said, if it's just a simple search, there is no need for fifth generation to call us, or even Mr. Kakashi. With Yuzuk's strength, there is with Hineda and Shino's search capabilities, they can easily complete this task. So, allow me to say an unlucky word? We have to be prepared for a hard fight. Nara Shikamura's gaze was deliberately fixed on Kakashi's eyes, the enemy will most likely be Odinin village, the legendary son in Orokimura, and Achiha Suzuki. The fifth generation must have taken this into consideration and brought us together. Nara Shikamaru looked at Kakashi and warned, if the opponent has Achiha Suzuki, I hope Mr. Kakashi will show no mercy. Because, I don't want to hurt my companions anymore. Among the twelve small strongmen, except for Uzumaki Naruto and Harano Sakura, the rest of them don't have that much bond with Achiha Suzuki. Even Yamanaka Ino, who once competed with Harano Sakura, 717 for Achiha Suzuki, only has the impression of this person when he was a teenager. Nara Shikamaru has no affection for Achiha Suzuki. The mission that year failed because of Achiha Suzuki. It's hard to say if he was captured by Orokimaru. But he took the initiative to seek refuge with Orokimaru, which caused his companion to be almost killed by the four Yinin. This kind of loss is enough to suffer once, and Nara Shikamaru will never allow her companion to have an accident because of Uchiha Suzuki. Advertisement. Ah, uh, if he is our enemy, let me deal with him. Kakashi heard Shikamaru's words and couldn't help but nodded. Nara Shikamaru nodded slightly, and then turned his attention to Abarameshino, Hineda, and Yamanaka Ino, I will leave it to you for the search. If Shino's bug fails, Hineda's white eyes will take over, or just like last time, use my the shadow binds the technique and the heart of the field turns to the technique. After finishing speaking, Nara Shikamaru looked at Lu Sheng again, and said with a smile, the aura of the enemies around is in your hands, Yuzuk. Lu Sheng nodded, leave it to me. Kakashi on the side, seeing Nara Shikamaru commanding the team, and Lu Sheng who did not compete for the command and completely trusted Nara Shikamaru, was slightly amazed in his heart. 
The combination of these two people really is an unparalleled combination in the world. Fifth Hokage asked himself to come here because he was simply worried. Otherwise, with their two classes working together, both of them can complete the difficult S-level task. After Nara Shikamaru made arrangements, a group of seven people started to move, walked out of the village and left immediately. According to the information sent back by Umbu, Orikimaru's stronghold is in Tenokuni. The ninja's body flicker technique is used for traveling, and the speed is very fast. In just over a day, one can cross from the land of fire to the land of wind. Although Tien's Higuo's location is far away, it doesn't take much time. Ling Ye was on his way, after two o'clock in the morning. Lu Sheng and his party of seven had already entered the territory of Tian's Higuo. Advertisement. There was a dense forest ahead, Lu Sheng and the others landed on the top of a towering tree. A Baramashino stretched out his hand in his pocket, and the back of his hand was covered with black worms. He said calmly, I'm releasing a large number of parasites now, and I'm going to look for the largest chakra fluctuation one kilometer away. Nara Shikamaru took out a map from his backpack, pointed at a location that had been marked in advance before departure, and analyzed, according to the information sent back by Umbu, I made a few surveys on the exact location of Orikimura's stronghold. Ten guesses, this should be, Ajp, the most likely. However, please don't be so happy. Nara Shikamaru said solemnly, the possibility of Umbu being killed is extremely high. The fifth generation once said that the time for Orikimaru's reincarnation is approaching, and this time will be his weakest. When? If the stronghold is discovered, he will most likely choose to move or ambush us in the stronghold. Nara Shikamaru put away the map and said, the former is fine, we are just wasting a little time. If it is the latter, then they are hugging us. With the idea of killing us, please don't let your guard down. After listening to Nara Shikamaru's words, except for Lu Sheng, the members of the second class, including Kakashi, showed serious expressions. Immediately, the seven of them leaped towards the depths of the forest. Half an hour later, Tianren found the entrance passage to the Orikimaru stronghold. A few people didn't go in, Nara Shikamaru set his sights on Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng said flatly, there is no need to go in and look for it, there is no aura fluctuation inside. It looks like, they have moved. Nara Shikamaru was not disappointed, but heaved a sigh of relief. At the same time, he looked at Kakashi and asked, Mr. Kakashi, Orikimaru's stronghold has been found, and the worst thing did not happen. What do we do next? Retreat, or continue? Their task is to find the stronghold of De Shezang. Now the stronghold has been found, but the people have moved. Advertisement. A task can be said to be a success or a failure. For this mission, he is only responsible for making the plan, and Kakashi is responsible for the rest. Hearing this, Kakashi pondered for a few seconds, and suddenly said to Abarameshino, Shina, use your bugs to explore the way below, see if you can find, the breath left by others. Understood. Abarameshino nodded, then slightly raised his hand, and tens of thousands of insects, like locusts crossing the border, dripped in along the entrance passage. Nearly two minutes later, Abarameshino said with a trembling voice, Below, there are all corpses. But, fortunately, I found a few smells that do not belong to corpses. Nara Shikamaru grinned, patted Lu Sheng who was looking up at the sky, and said, It seems that the mission is not over yet. Lu Sheng frowned slightly, Kikai's breath is very heavy and wet, and it will rain heavily soon. As soon as these words fell, the faces of Kakashi and the others changed slightly. Hawk. At this time, Several bats flew over the heads of Lu Sheng and the others. Lu Sheng narrowed his eyes slightly, and immediately ordered, Xena, use a few insects to remember their breath, let's find a place where we can hide from the rain first. Yes. Compared with Kakashi and Nara Shikamaru, Abarameshino listens to and trusts Lu Sheng's words more. Clatter. Sure enough, within half an hour, heavy rain poured down over the forest. Advertisement. 94 I'm not what I used to be. Four fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 94. I am no longer what I used to be. Heavy rain poured down, breaking the silence of noon and night. In a cave, Lu Sheng and seven people sheltered from the rain. Nara Shikamaru looked at the water curtain at the entrance of the cave and said helplessly, What a bad luck. After this rain, those smells should be washed away. Kakashi looked at Lu Sheng and asked, Lu Sheng, why did you ask Shino to chase the bugs to those bats just now? 
Dash. Those are not ordinary bats. Lu Sheng explained. My perception tells me that they should be special summoning beasts used by others for scouting. Kakashi was slightly stunned, so that's how it is. My worms have already parasitized into them. If they are the enemy's eyeliner, they will help us find the enemy's location. Abarameshino said. Kakashi was slightly overjoyed, and said, Good job, Shino. Ms. Kakashi, Shikamaru, Yuzuk, you should take a rest first, this rain may last for a long time. Yamanaka Ino and Hineda came over and said to them. Behind them, three tents have been set up. Lu Sheng just glanced at it, then shook his head and said, Go to sleep, I'm going out for a while. After speaking, Lu Sheng took out a storage scroll from the backpack brought by Hineda. Advertisement. Boom. A small white mist exploded, and Lu Sheng took out the red paper umbrella stored inside. Looking at Lu Sheng who seemed to be going out, Kakashi asked, It's so late. Where are you going to go? My perception is quite special, and I plan to investigate the situation. Lu Sheng said flatly, Don't worry, don't worry about my safety. Orikimaru's breath, I have remembered it a few years ago. If he didn't transfer, if I'm still in this forest, I can feel his breath even if it's a thousand meters away. Besides, he won't be able to beat me. Seeing Lu Sheng's resolute attitude, Kakashi could only tell him, Be careful, even if there are no enemies, you should pay attention to your body. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and walked out of the cave. Suddenly a small hand as slender as Jade grabbed Lu Sheng's palm, and Hineda said seriously, Mr. Lu Sheng, I want to go with you too. Good. Lu Sheng nodded with a smile, then squeezed Hineda's little hand, and the two walked out side by side. Looking at the backs of them walking into the water curtain, Yamanaka Ino said with some longing, I really envy them, I found them when I was young, and I love each other. Akimichi Koji, who was standing aside, was eating with a bag of potato chips, and suddenly said, Lu Sheng never liked to smile since he was a child, and it seems that he only smiles in front of Hineda. Ha! Nara Shikamaru yawned and walked towards the tent, saying, that guy's character, just Hineda, and her sister, a little girl named Hayaga Hanabi, can be cured. Fortunately, someone loves him very much, and he loves Hineda very much. After hearing Nara Shikamaru's last words, Kakashi narrowed his eyes slightly, and nodded in agreement, Ah, it's really a blessing. Advertisement. People with personality flaws are easy to see. Although he doesn't get along with Lu Sheng much, Kakashi has seen Lu Sheng's character is flawed from the Chenin exam a few years ago. It can't be said that he is flawed, it can only be said that he is an extremely selfish man who has no sense of belonging to the village and the will of fire. This kind of person, if there is no one who cares about him, becomes a traitor. Nara Shikamaru saw it, and Kakashi, whose IQ was second only to Nara Shikamaru, naturally could also see it. That's why he agrees with Nara Shikamaru's words. For their evaluation, Lu Sheng did not know. After walking out of the cave with Hineda, the two strolled towards the same direction. Holding a red paper umbrella, Lu Sheng put his arms around Hineda's waist and asked with a smile, Hineda. How is the progress of your cultivation during this period? Hey, Mr. Lu Sheng, how do you know? Hineda was taken aback for a moment, then suddenly said, Did Hanabi tell you that? The last sentence was full of affirmation. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, looked down at Hineda's pure white eyes, and said ambiguously, Hineda, let me see your progress. Zero, ask for flowers. Under the night of torrential rain, Lu Sheng's pupils had a strange red light, but in Hineda's eyes, they were a noble color. She understood Lu Sheng's meaning, and a deep smile appeared on her beautiful face, and Hineda said in a rare ostentatious tone, Mr. Lu Sheng, you will definitely be shocked. Advertisement. Because, a few days ago, my father said, I have surpassed him. At this moment, Lu Sheng seemed to see the shadow of Hanabi in Hineda. I couldn't help laughing in my heart, it seems that the improvement of the bloodline evolution pill has made this girl more and more confident. Thinking like this, Lu Sheng pretended to be puzzled on the surface, oh, how do you eat it? Hineda pursed her lips and smiled lightly, her eyebrows curved into crescent moons, when the time comes, Mr. Lu Sheng, you will know. I'm looking forward to it, how about? Lu Sheng showed a weird smile and said, let's stop the rain now, find an opponent, and see Hineda's progress. Hineda tilted her head with a puzzled look on her face. Immediately, when she saw Lu Sheng handing her the red paper umbrella, and putting his right hand on the sword at his waist, 
her face changed suddenly, and she said anxiously, Mr. Lu Sheng, don't do this, you won't be able to stand it. Witnessing Lu Sheng with his own eyes, how could he Nada, who stepped into the realm of great swordsmen, not understand what he meant? Lu Sheng's knife skills are enough to change the weather. She knows this. But this weather-changing knife technique, after being used, will fall into an extremely weak state. Hineda doesn't want to be overdrawn because of herself. Don't worry, Hineda. Lu Sheng's gentle voice came to his ears, and Hineda's begging face froze slightly, and he said in a daze, Mr. Lu Sheng, your eyes, are so beautiful. The red eyes turned into a pair of icy blue eyes with colorful spiral patterns. Lu Sheng's demeanor was naturally cold, the corners of his mouth slightly raised, and he said with a slightly bewitching smile, I'm not what I used to be. Advertisement. 94 I'm not what I used to be. Four fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 94 I am no longer what I used to be. Heavy rain poured down, breaking the silence of noon and night. In a cave, Lu Sheng and seven people sheltered from the rain. Nara Shikamaru looked at the water curtain at the entrance of the cave and said helplessly, what a bad luck. After this rain, those smells should be washed away. Kakashi looked at Lu Sheng and asked, Lu Sheng, why did you ask Shino to chase the bugs to those bats just now? Dash. Those are not ordinary bats. Lu Sheng explained, my perception tells me that they should be special summoning beasts used by others for scouting. Kakashi was slightly stunned, so that's how it is. My worms have already parasitized into them. If they are the enemy's eyeliner, they will help us find the enemy's location. Abarame Shino said. Kakashi was slightly overjoyed, and said, Good job, Shino. Ms. Kakashi, Shikamaru, Yuzuk, you should take a rest first, this rain may last for a long time. Yamanaka Ino and Hineda came over and said to them. Behind them, three tents have been set up. Lu Sheng just glanced at it, then shook his head and said, Go to sleep, I'm going out for a while. After speaking, Lu Sheng took out a storage scroll from the backpack brought by Hineda. Advertisement. Boom. A small white mist exploded, and Lu Sheng took out the red paper umbrella stored inside. Looking at Lu Sheng who seemed to be going out, Kakashi asked, It's so late, where are you going to go? My perception is quite special, and I plan to investigate the situation. Lu Sheng said flatly, Don't worry, don't worry about my safety. Orikimura's breath, I have remembered it a few years ago. If he didn't transfer, if I'm still in this forest, I can feel his breath even if it's a thousand meters away. Besides, he won't be able to beat me. Seeing Lu Sheng's resolute attitude, Kakashi could only tell him, be careful, even if there are no enemies, you should pay attention to your body. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, and walked out of the cave. Suddenly a small hand as slender as Jade grabbed Lu Sheng's palm, and Hineda said seriously, Mr. Lu Sheng, I want to go with you too. Good. Lu Sheng nodded with a smile, then squeezed Hineda's little hand, and the two walked out side by side. Looking at the backs of them walking into the water curtain, Yamanaka Ino said with some longing, I really envy them, I found them when I was young, and I love each other. Akimichi Koji, who was standing aside, was eating with a bag of potato chips, and suddenly said, Lu Sheng never liked to smile since he was a child, and it seems that he only smiles in front of Hineda. Ha! Huh. Nara Shikamaru yawned and walked towards the tent, saying, that guy's character, just Hineda, and her sister, a little girl named Hayaga Hanabi, can be cured. Fortunately, someone loves him very much, and he loves Hineda very much. After hearing Nara Shikamaru's last words, Kakashi narrowed his eyes slightly, and nodded in agreement, ah, it's really a blessing. Advertisement. People with personality flaws are easy to see. Although he doesn't get along with Lu Sheng much, Kakashi has seen Lu Sheng's character is flawed from the Chenin exam a few years ago. It can't be said that he is flawed, it can only be said that he is an extremely selfish man who has no sense of belonging to the village and the will of fire. This kind of person, if there is no one who cares about him, becomes a traitor. Nara Shikamaru saw it, and Kakashi, whose IQ was second only to Nara Shikamaru, naturally could also see it. That's why he agrees with Nara Shikamaru's words. For their evaluation, Lu Sheng did not know. After walking out of the cave with Hineda, the two strolled towards the same direction. Holding a red paper umbrella, Lu Sheng put his arms around Hineda's waist and asked with a smile, Hineda, how is the progress of your cultivation during this period? Hey, Mr. Lu Sheng, how do you know? 
Hinata was taken aback for a moment, then suddenly said, Did Hanabi tell you that? The last sentence was full of affirmation. Lu Shang nodded slightly, looked down at Hinata's pure white eyes, and said ambiguously, Hinata, let me see your progress. Zero, ask for flowers. Under the night of torrential rain, Lu Sheng's pupils had a strange red light, but in Hinata's eyes, they were a noble color. She understood Lu Sheng's meaning, and a deep smile appeared on her beautiful face, and Hinata said in a rare ostentatious tone, Mr. Lu Sheng, you will definitely be shocked. Advertisement. Because, a few days ago, my father said, I have surpassed him. At this moment, Lu Sheng seemed to see the shadow of Hanabi in Hinata. I couldn't help laughing in my heart. It seems that the improvement of the bloodline evolution pill has made this girl more and more confident. Thinking like this, Lu Sheng pretended to be puzzled on the surface, oh, how do you eat it? Hinata pursed her lips and smiled lightly, her eyebrows curved into crescent moons, when the time comes, Mr. Lu Sheng, you will know. I'm looking forward to it, how about? Lu Sheng showed a weird smile and said, let's stop the rain now, find an opponent, and see Hinata's progress. Hinata tilted her head with a puzzled look on her face. Immediately, when she saw Lu Sheng handing her the red paper umbrella, and putting his right hand on the sword at his waist, her face changed suddenly, and she said anxiously, Mr. Lu Sheng, don't do this, you won't be able to stand it. Witnessing Lu Sheng with his own eyes, how could Hinata, who stepped into the realm of great swordsmen, not understand what he meant? Lu Sheng's knife skills are enough to change the weather. She knows this. But this weather-changing knife technique, after being used, will fall into an extremely weak state. Hinata doesn't want to be overdrawn because of herself. Don't worry, Hinata. Lu Sheng's gentle voice came to his ears, and Hinata's begging face froze slightly, and he said in a daze, Mr. Lu Sheng, your eyes, are so beautiful. The red eyes turned into a pair of icy blue eyes with colorful spiral patterns. Lu Sheng's demeanor was naturally cold, the corners of his mouth slightly raised and he said with a slightly bewitching smile, I'm not what I used to be. Advertisement. Chapter 95 Hinata's Progress, 5 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 95, Hinata's Progress. Boom. The sound of thunder resounded between heaven and earth. The torrential rain that poured down overnight disappeared after just a while. The thunder that came from it caused Kakashi and the others in the cave to feel a burst of doubts. Even Nara Shikamaru, who was going to sleep couldn't help but get out of the tent, and a group of six people walked out of the cave, wanting to find out what happened. When they looked up at the sky, everyone was shocked by the picture in the sky. In the early hours of the morning, the world is as dark as ink. The cloudy and rainy weather made today's moon and stars dare not show their heads. Without amazing dynamic vision, they dare not walk around in the forest at will. 8.30. At this time, the appearance of the sky, even in the night, is so clear and obvious. A sky moat that stretched for a kilometer, like an upside-down cliff abyss, tore a huge gap in the dark night sky. It was as if the airflow was distorted, and those dark clouds were attracted by something, and they poured into the sky moat one after another, turning into thunderclouds, so that the terrifying sky moat appeared white. In this dark world, become the most eye-catching scenery. Advertisement. Not only Kakashi Etal, have noticed. Anyone in this forest can see the changes in the sky. The downpour had already disappeared when the moat appeared. In the forest not far from the cave, Hinata was not shocked by the sky's moat, but waited until Lu Shang retracted the knife and sheathed it, and asked worriedly, Mr. Lu Shang, are you okay? A word full of concern made Lu Shang smile, raised his hand to pinch her little face, and said with a smile, do you think I seem to be in trouble? Hinata still didn't feel at ease, but threw herself into Lu Shang's arms, hugged his waist with both hands pressed her face to his heart, and then raised her head to feel Lu Sheng's breathing seriously. Feeling his breathing, not as weak as the previous two times, but even and long, Hinata just breathed a sigh of relief, and then left the embrace with a small, blushing face. Seeing her appearance, Lu Sheng couldn't help laughing. The most interesting thing about this girl is that no matter how long she has been with her, she has almost a constant layer of shyness. Raising his hands and pinching Hinata's cheeks, Lu Sheng said gently, I told you earlier, I won't do things I'm not sure about. Dot um. Hinata replied as thin as a mosquito, lowering her head, looking a little ashamed. After all, what he did just now was like distrusting the person he likes. Lu Sheng didn't care, but Hinata cared too much. 
He hugged Hineda into his arms again, looked down at the girl's flushed face and cheeks, and repeated softly, Hineda, let me see your progress. Um, advertisement. Hineda nodded vigorously, and then said in doubt, but, how do we find them? Whether it's Hineda or Abarameshino, they have 100% trust in Lu Shang, that kind of crazy level that even if Lu Shang is wrong, they still think he is right. Abarameshino, who has a very high IQ, trusts Lu Shang so much. Strength is a part, and his IQ and state of mind are what he longs for. Having been a partner for so many years, Lu Shang has never failed. Therefore, when Lu Sheng said that those bats were someone else's special summoning beast, Hineda and Abarameshino knew that they would face the enemy. Don't worry, there will be training partners. Lu Sheng looked up at a place, and said with a confident smile, those bats are flying there, as long as you keep walking in this direction, it doesn't matter whether the opponent is hiding in the trees or in the ground, neither can escape my perception. Let's go, by the way, this task is also over. Aha. Uh -huh. As the words fell, the two walked towards the depths of the forest and left in an instant. A dilapidated building stands in a dark forest clearing. The few people inside all came out of the house, looked up at the sky, their faces were full of shock. Ghost Wu said in disbelief, Hey, hey, that should be the power of nature, right? Huh? What kind of joke are you talking about? Apart from nature, this kind of miracle can also be man-made. As soon as he said this, he was ridiculed by his companions. Ghost Wu's voice was still trembling, do you feel that this moat is like the sky, cut into three by something? Ghost Fog, don't think about it. Linnar, who is psychologically stronger than them, said slowly, if it is man-made to create such a horrible scene, it must be very scary, and it can raise the forest casually. Technique. Advertisement. Even for the sake of showing off, no one would choose to cast such a powerful spell on the sky at such a large range at this point in time. The chakra needed is amazing enough. Linner's analysis made sense, and Ghost Wu's shocking heart had just calmed down slowly. At this time, Linner's face suddenly changed slightly, be careful, someone is coming. Who is it? Kanaha's ninja. The rest of the people trusted Linner's perception very much, and immediately became vigilant. Whoa, whoa. Before Linner could answer, two afterimages rushed out from the dark forest. 1.08 trigrams empty palm. Without a trace of nonsense, one of the figures uttered a girl's ear sound. A gust of airflow with a huge area twisted into a half-person, big air cannon, roaring towards Linner and the others. Compared to the usual 8 trigrams air palm, Hineda can see her improvement in this one. The air cannon bombarded them, and that unreasonable attack caught Linner and the others by surprise. A-H-H. The air cannon hit several people, and a terrifying airflow exploded. The gravel on the ground was flying setting off a cloud of dust and strong wind. So weak. Hineda didn't take advantage of the victory to pursue, but froze in place, subconsciously blurting out. Advertisement. Chapter 95 Hineda's Progress, 5 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 95, Hineda's Progress. Boom. The sound of thunder resounded between heaven and earth. The torrential rain that poured down overnight disappeared after just a while. The thunder that came from it caused Kakashi and the others in the cave to feel a burst of doubts. Even Nara Shikamaru, who was going to sleep, couldn't help but get out of the tent, and a group of six people walked out of the cave, wanting to find out what happened. When they looked up at the sky, everyone was shocked by the picture in the sky. In the early hours of the morning, the world is as dark as ink. The cloudy and rainy weather made today's moon and stars dare not show their heads. Without amazing dynamic vision, they dare not walk around in the forest at will. 8.30. At this time, the appearance of the sky, even in the night, is so clear and obvious. A sky moat that stretched for a kilometer, like an upside-down cliff abyss, tore a huge gap in the dark night sky. It was as if the airflow was distorted, and those dark clouds were attracted by something, and they poured into the sky moat one after another, turning into thunderclouds, so that the terrifying sky moat appeared white. In this dark world, become the most eye-catching scenery. Advertisement. Not only Kakashi ETAL, have noticed. Anyone in this forest can see the changes in the sky. The downpour had already disappeared when the moat appeared. In the forest not far from the cave, Hineda was not shocked by the sky's moat, but waited until Lu Shang retracted the knife and sheathed it, and asked worriedly, Mr. Lu Shang, are you okay? A word full of concern made Lu Shang smile, 
raised his hand to pinch her little face, and said with a smile, Do you think I seem to be in trouble? Hinata still didn't feel at ease, but threw herself into Lu Shang's arms, hugged his waist with both hands, pressed her face to his heart, and then raised her head to feel Lu Shang's breathing seriously. Feeling his breathing, not as weak as the previous two times, but even and long, Hinata just breathed a sigh of relief, and then left the embrace with a small, blushing face. Seeing her appearance, Lu Sheng couldn't help laughing. The most interesting thing about this girl is that no matter how long she has been with her, she has almost a constant layer of shyness. Raising his hands and pinching Hinata's cheeks, Lu Sheng said gently, I told you earlier, I won't do things I'm not sure about. Dot um. Hinata replied as thin as a mosquito, lowering her head, looking a little ashamed. After all, what he did just now was like distrusting the person he likes. Lu Sheng didn't care but Hinata cared too much. He hugged Hinata into his arms again, looked down at the girl's flushed face and cheeks, and repeated softly, Hinata, let me see your progress. Um, advertisement. Hinata nodded vigorously, and then said in doubt, but, how do we find them? Whether it's Hinata or a Barameshino, they have 100% trust in Lu Shang, that kind of crazy level that even if Lu Shang is wrong, they still think he is right. A Barameshino, who has a very high IQ, trusts Lu Sheng so much. Strength is a part, and his IQ and state of mind are what he longs for. Having been a partner for so many years, Lu Sheng has never failed. Therefore, when Lu Sheng said that those bats were someone else's special summoning beast, Hinata and Abarameshino knew that they would face the enemy. Don't worry, there will be training partners. Lu Sheng looked up at a place, and said with a confident smile, those bats are flying there. As long as you keep walking in this direction, it doesn't matter whether the opponent is hiding in the trees or in the ground, neither can escape my perception. Let's go, by the way, this task is also over. Aha. Uh -huh. As the words fell, the two walked towards the depths of the forest and left in an instant. A dilapidated building stands in a dark forest clearing. The few people inside all came out of the house, looked up at the sky, their faces were full of shock. Ghost Wu said in disbelief, Hey. Hey, that should be the power of nature, right? Huh? What kind of joke are you talking about? Apart from nature, this kind of miracle can also be man-made. As soon as he said this, he was ridiculed by his companions. Ghost Wu's voice was still trembling, do you feel that this moat is like the sky, cut into three by something? Ghost Fog, don't think about it. Linner, who is psychologically stronger than them, said slowly, if it is man-made to create such a horrible scene, it must be very scary, and it can raise the forest casually. Technique. Advertisement. Even for the sake of showing off, no one would choose to cast such a powerful spell on the sky at such a large range at this point in time. The chakra needed is amazing enough. Linner's analysis made sense, and Ghost Wu's shocking heart had just calmed down slowly. At this time, Linner's face suddenly changed slightly, be careful, someone is coming. Who is it? Kanaha's ninja. The rest of the people trusted Linner's perception very much, and immediately became vigilant. Whoa, whoa. Before Linner could answer, two afterimages rushed out from the dark forest. 1.08 trigrams empty palm. Without a trace of nonsense, one of the figures uttered a girl's ear sound. A gust of airflow with a huge area twisted into a half-person, big air cannon, roaring towards Linner and the others. Compared to the usual 8 trigrams air palm, Hinata can see her improvement in this one. The air cannon bombarded them, and that unreasonable attack caught Linner and the others by surprise. A-H-H. The air cannon hit several people, and a terrifying airflow exploded. The gravel on the ground was flying, setting off a cloud of dust and strong wind. So weak. Hinata didn't take advantage of the victory to pursue, but froze in place, subconsciously blurting out. Advertisement. Chapter 96 8 Trigrams Air Palm and Yashigami Air Strike, 1 5th. Advertisement. Chapter 96 8 Trigrams Air Palm and Yashigami Air Strike. An embarrassing thing happened? After being hit by Hinata's 8 Trigrams Air Palm, those people actually lost their fighting power directly. This scene not only made Hinata stunned in place, it also surprised Lu Sheng slightly. The move just now, if you read it correctly, it seems to have materialized. The 8 trigrams air palm of the Hayaga family is a good physical technique. Its principle is to release a high-density chakra shockwave in the form of a palm, which is an air cannon invisible to the naked eye, 
But Hinata's blow just now was the chakra air cannon that could be seen even under the night sky. This trick has obviously surpassed the 8 trigrams air palm of the Hayaga family. It even made Lu Sheng think of a trick. That is the ultimate body art performed by Atsutsuki Kagaya, the ancestor of chakra in the original book, 80 Gods Sky Strike. The principle of Yashigami's air strike is also to gather chakra into the palm of the hand, and then release it to produce countless powerful fists. The power is so strong that it belongs to the level of Sweji Snare. It is said that every punch is a sure blow, and there is no gap for a mouse to escape. The 8 trigrams air palm of the Hayaga family is like a sky and a ground with it, and there is no comparison at all. However, Hinata's move has the embryonic form of Hata God's empty strike. Advertisement. Although the power is still countless times worse, the shadow of the Hayaga clan is obviously gone. Could it be because of bloodline evolution? Thinking of this, the corners of Lu Sheng's mouth raised slightly, feeling happy for Hinata's change in his heart. Hinata turned to look at Lu Sheng, and said with a bit of embarrassment, Mr. Lu Sheng, they seem to have fainted. Lu Sheng smiled slightly, maybe Hinata is too strong. We. Oui. Lu Sheng's compliment made Hinata smile shyly. Although the confident appearance just now is very similar to Hinabi, but the reaction to being praised is completely different. Unlike Hanabi who likes to show off to Lu Sheng, Hinata is a girl who feels shy when being praised. Immediately, Lu Sheng cast shadow clone technique, separated several shadow clones, carried those fainted people away, and returned along the road with Hinata. In the cave, a bonfire was lit, burning with orange light. Lu Sheng and others stood behind Yamanaka Ino, watching her perform family secrets, enter Linner's spiritual world, and quietly spy on information. Not long after, Yamanaka Ino slowly opened his eyes, turned around and looked at Kakashi and the others who were expecting, nodded slightly and said, These people are all Orikimaru's subordinates, this person is a woman named Gurin sent by Yakushi Kabuto the internal response around you? Nara Shikamaru was not interested in these, but asked calmly, What is their mission? Hearing this, Yamanaka Ino said with an ugly face, It's controlling one tail. What? Nara Shikamaru and the others didn't react for a while. Only Kakashi's face under the mask became extremely ugly. The word three tails seemed to bring back painful memories in him. Advertisement. Yamanaka Ino repeats, they want to control the wild three tails, the legendary tail beasts. Realizing that it was the three tails, Nara Shikamaru and the others also became serious. The atmosphere in the cave fell into silence. In the ears of a few people, there was only the sound of sparks splashing from the bonfire burning branches. Half a minute later, Kakashi suddenly said in a deep voice, The current task is beyond our reach. I need to report this information to the fifth generation project. Ah, what a hassle. Nara Shikamaru scratched his head, and said with some annoyance, It's obviously a mission to find a stronghold, but I thought the biggest disadvantage would be to face Orikimaru and Uchiha Suzuki. I didn't expect it even involved the tailed beast. Akimichi Koji nodded in agreement, that's it. On the other hand, Class 8 showed no signs of worry at all. A Barameshino approached Lu Sheng and asked in a low voice, You did that trace in the sky. Lu Sheng glanced at a Barameshino in surprise, and nodded slightly. Seeing him admit it, a Barameshino adjusted his sunglasses and sighed softly, Your strength is getting more and more terrifying. At this time, Kakashi has already recorded the information in the form of a special code. Then make seals with both hands, and summon his own summoning beast, Parker, one of the eight great ninja dogs. After tying the information to Parker, Kakashi briefly explained, and said, Parker, I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour. It's okay, leave everything to me. Parker with Kanaha's forehead protector, just like a dedicated ninja, didn't complain about being summoned so late, but told Kakashi, be careful, I'm leaving. After the words fell, Parker's figure rushed out of the cave. Watching it leave, Kakashi stood up, and in the identity of elite Jonin, commanded, everyone get ready to rest, tomorrow will probably be very busy. Yes. Advertisement. The members of the two classes responded one after another. Yamanaka Ino pointed to a few people on the ground and asked, Mr. Kakashi, what about them? Kakashi 463 scratched his head, hesitant. As if thinking of something, he looked at Lu Sheng and said, Lu Sheng, you brought these people back, what are you going to do with them? Kill it, there's no need to waste energy looking after them. 
Lu Sheng's decision was very decisive, but it was expected by Kakashi and Nara Shikamaru. Except for Yamanaka Ino's timid face, even Hineda and Abarame Shino's expressions didn't change a bit. Obviously, Lu Sheng has treated the enemy like this more than once. Lu Sheng's knife technique is a killing technique. Whoever fights with him, the enemy will undoubtedly die, and the method of death is still dead without a whole body. Hineda and Abarame Shino have seen a lot and got used to it. Kakashi nodded, then leave it to you. Lu Sheng separated several shadow clones again, dragged them out of the cave, and followed behind. Not long after, Lu Sheng returned to the cave. In the depths of his eyes, there was a touch of satisfaction. After killing those few people, the inheritance template of the two ceremonies was finally raised from 0 to 0.62%. This progress should be able to provide myself with a little understanding of death. Long Cheng yet, there is finally something to get through. Advertisement. Chapter 97 Lu Sheng's Bold Idea, Two Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 97, Lu Sheng's Bold Idea. At 8 or 9 in the morning, the silence in the cave was broken by a voice. Yuzuk, you haven't slept all night, have you? The first time Nara Shikamaru woke up, he saw Lu Sheng sitting cross-legged in the tent, and he couldn't help saying in surprise. Before going to bed last night, Lu Sheng looked like this, and now he wakes up like this, obviously he hasn't slept all day. Nara Shikamaru's voice brought Lu Sheng's consciousness back to reality. Opening his eyes, he looked at Nara Shikamaru who was rubbing his eyes, and said flatly, I have slept for a few hours, I am different from you, I can fall asleep sitting or lying down. What a monster. Nara Shikamaru muttered, and then opened the tent and went out. They brought a total of three tents, one for Hineda and Yamanaka Ino, one for Lu Sheng and Nara Shikamaru, one for Abarame Shino, and the last one for Kakashi and Akimichi Koji. Nara Shikamaru was not the first one to wake up, and Abarame Shino has long since disappeared. After Nara Shikamaru woke up, about half an hour later, the rest came out of the tent. First, take out a storage scroll from the backpack, and take out the water source stored in it. After a simple wash, everyone eats the dry food brought over to calm the complaints of fasting. Call out. At this moment, an afterimage looted from the jungle. It was Abarame Shino who went out very early. As soon as he came back, Abarame Shino brought bad news, something went wrong. These words were like thunder, making Kakashi and others wake up instantly. Advertisement. Nara Shikamaru asked with a serious face, what's going on? I can't explain clearly in a few words, I will take you to a place. Abarame Shino didn't explain, but turned around towards the forest and left in a blink of an eye. Lu Sheng and the others looked at each other and followed immediately. A group of seven people shuttled through the forest and headed straight in one direction. Not long after, they entered a woodland filled with thick fog, and a beam of light that could be seen just by looking up at the sky could be clearly seen even in heavy fog. Ah! The sound of screams came into the ears faintly. Nara Shikamaru said with a serious face, the sound should come from the front, far away. Yamanaka Ino said timidly, this voice seems to be in pain, what happened in front? Shino, do you know what's going on? Kakashi looked at Abarame Shino who was leading the way and asked. Abarame Shino shook his head and said, I don't know either. After I saw that beam of light, I went back and informed everyone. Just take a look and you'll know, there's no need to guess wildly. Lu Sheng said flatly. His words were approved by Shikamaru and Kakashi. The speed of the group of seven people accelerated a little again. A few minutes later, Lu Sheng and others rushed out of the forest, and in front of them was a huge and vast lake. That beam of light rose into the sky from the surface of the lake. Looking at the foggy lake in front of him, Abarame Shino said calmly, The insect told me that there is a very large chakra in there, and the breath is very dangerous. Kakashi looked at Hineda and said, Hineda, please. Advertisement. Hineda responded, and put her index and middle fingers together, Bien, open. Ah. As soon as he opened his eyes, Hineda let out an exclamation in the next second, looked at Kakashi solemnly, and said, There is a very powerful chakra inside, its size and size are unprecedented, it should be a tailed beast. Damn, did they act so quickly? Kakashi cursed secretly. Nara Shikamaru asked in a deep voice, Mr. Kakashi, what should we do now? The best way now is to wait for the will of the fifth generation, but before the rescue team arrives, Three tails may have been controlled or sealed. Kakashi fell into silence, 
seeming to be making a decision in his heart. After a while, he said slowly, Don't mess around, we are waiting for support here. Yes. Nara Shikamaru and others responded one after another. Lu Sheng closed his eyes slowly, and the observation hacky spread quietly. He wasn't very impressed with the Three Tails plot. He even forgot how Three Tails came out and who had the ability to control it. The only thing I remember clearly is that there will be two people from the Akatsuki organization to capture Three Tails. And those two people, even Lu Sheng would not dare to underestimate their existence. Diadera, and behind the scenes boss level hooligans Uchiha Obito. Diadera's strength is not strong. People with lightning style nature transformation can almost completely restrain him. For example, Kakashi has a high chance of defeating and killing him. But people without lightning style nature transformation are almost certain to die when encountering him. Even a cage level like Gara is not qualified for Diadera to use C4 Garuda. Even if Lu Sheng has the magic eye of death, he can't handle 0-4 Garuda and C exploding. In the original book, Uchiha Suzuki was able to defeat Diadera because of great luck. Advertisement. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is the halo of the protagonist. Without the summoning technique, he would have died long ago. Another hooligan is Hollow, who is almost bug-like and unsolvable. Lu Sheng still doesn't know the understanding of death in different dimensions, he can't kill Uchiha Obito at all, even though the other party can't kill him either. Knowing that these two people would come, Lu Sheng had an idea. Can you assassinate them? If you can't kill Hooligan, at least you can assassinate Diadera. Wang Zhao, where Diadera is scary, there are only C4 Garuda and C0 Self Detonation. As long as he doesn't use these two ultimate moves, Lu Sheng will have no pressure at all. To Lu Sheng's disappointment, after his observation hacky spread, did not find Diadera's breath. When we met last time, Lu Sheng had already remembered Diadera's breath. Apparently, they weren't around, or hadn't arrived yet. However, no new artistic duo was found, but Lu Sheng sensed a familiar atmosphere. Slowly opening his eyes, Lu Sheng said the support team is here. SHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHHH
Compared with Orikimaru's subordinates, the danger of Akatsuki members is undoubtedly more terrifying. Seeing this, Lu Sheng comforted him, don't worry, there's only one person. I'll stop it alone, I won't let him get close to here. Please, Yuzuk. Shizun pondered for a few, aja, seconds, and finally agreed with Lu Sheng's behavior, exhorting, it's not suitable to be obsessed with fighting, if you can't fight, remember to retreat. Lu Sheng nodded slightly, then patted Hineda on the head, silently comforted the worried girl, walked in one direction, and left in an instant. Lu Sheng wasn't lying, it was known that the new artistic duo, who would come to capture the three tails, decided to assassinate their Lu Sheng, observation Haki's occasional release. Almost at Shizun, shortly after they came over, Lu Sheng's observation Haki felt a wave of life, a very strong aura. There's even a little bit more of the same breath as Kakashi. The life wave should be the cells of Senju Hashirama, the same breath as Kakashi, it should be Sherry Non. Combining the two, Lu Sheng can easily guess that that breath is Achiha Obito. He should also be attracted by the beam of light on the lake. Lu Sheng didn't, he sensed Diodera's breath, he should be separated from Achiha Obito. Advertisement. Leaving in an instant, Lu Sheng didn't immediately run towards Achiha Obito's breath, but chose to make a detour. In the entire Hokage Ninja story, there are not many Mangekyo Sherry Non, but the two strongest pairs are not Eternal Mangekyo, but Ordinary Mangekyo Sherry Non. Distinguished heavenly gods with the strongest illusions, and Kamui of time and space. But Uchiha Obito's Kamui is even trickier than distinguished heavenly gods hard to defend. In the final stage, Uchiha Obito can even use Kamui to bring his soul back to reality, endow Kakashi with the power of Sherry Non, and let him open the full body Suzano. If Uchiha Obito takes back Kakashi's left eye, gathers both Mangekyo eyes, and transplants Senju Hashirama's cells into the body to reduce the consumption of Mangekyo, Kamui with one attack and one defense, and wood style, will definitely surpass pain in strength. There is even a high probability that Nagato, who is seriously ill, can be killed. Even with only his right eye, his five-minute invincibility, and Izanagi, are extremely tricky. If Lu Sheng wanted to assassinate him, he had to do it with one blow. He couldn't even cast Kamui and Izanagi. Achiha Obito doesn't know that he is being targeted by someone who knows the plot. He pretended to be stupid, and after angering Diodera, the two split up. And the direction he was going in happened to be the side of the lake. From a relatively long distance, he saw the beam of light piercing the sky and sweeping the clouds into a Uzumaki, not only bouncing and running over. Coming to a high cliff, Achiha Obito was lying on a standing stone, watching the play without vigilance. With that kind of concentration on watching the play, he is not afraid of someone sneaking up on him from behind. Maybe it's because I'm too confident in my abilities. Advertisement. It only takes less than two seconds for him to enter the different space, and no amount of magic can hurt a single strand of his hair. And after the death of fourth Hokage, except for Black White Zetsu, Pain, and Konan, as well as Uchiha Itaki and Kisame, know his identity. No one knows his true identity at all. The identity he created was another member of the Xiao organization who was not strong and had just gotten rid of the trainee. No one would assassinate him at this time? It is such a gesture that gives a person the only chance. Ah, what are those people doing? Achiha Obito is lying on the stone, and his superb acting skills allow him to play the role of a fake, even if there is no one around, he still maintains that funny and compared appearance. The right eye hole on Uzumaki's mask, and the Sherry Non inside is looking down, preparing for a few rounds of siege. When he saw the forward protector of Harano Sakura and others, his funny tone returned to normal, and he murmured slightly, is that sign, is Kanaha. His emotional changes were clearly perceived by a hidden person. SHHHHHH. The sound of air rubbing and rubbing in the forest, not like the body flicker technique, made Uchiha Obito turn his head subconsciously. Immediately afterwards, a dazzling silver-white saber light caught his eyes. The light of the knife streaked across his body and the huge stone behind him. Tear it boom. The sound of cloth being torn was heard, a huge stone fell from the high cliff, and two corpses were floating in the air. Advertisement. Chapter 99 against Uchiha Obito, Four Fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 99, against Uchiha Obito. What a fast knife. The broken body was flying in the air, falling to the bottom of the high cliff. Uchiha Obito looked at Lu Sheng standing on the high cliff, 
and said the words that almost everyone who saw Lu Sheng's knife for the first time would be so amazed. Immediately, the two falling bodies gradually turned into nothingness. Call out. Seeing this scene, Lu Sheng jumped back without saying a word and looked at Uchiha Obito who appeared in his original position with an incomparably dignified expression. Boom! Below the high cliff, there was the sound of a heavy object falling to the ground. In the distance, Shai Zun's daughters, who were preparing to seal the formation, turned their gazes subconsciously. When they saw the familiar figure and familiar outfit on the high cliff, their beautiful eyes shrank slightly. It's Lu Shang, and that outfit, it's the Akatsuki organization. Yamanaka Ino exclaimed. Hineda also had a worried look on her face. Calm down. Shizun opened his mouth, drew their attention back, and said in a deep voice, Yuzuk is dealing with that person, our task is to seal three tails, don't distract attention. Yes. The girls of Hineda quickly responded, and concentrated on preparing to seal the formation. Advertisement. The guy class not far away is also watching the two people on the high cliff. But none of them opened their mouths, but looked around intently to prevent anyone from coming to stop the ceiling class. The beam of light on the lake in the distance has disappeared. Three tails may have popped up. An increasingly dense white mist enveloped the entire lake and the direction of the forest. The girls of Shizen below could still be seen, Lu Sheng and Uchiha Obito, but as the dense fog filled the air, their figures gradually disappeared. This bit of fog had no effect on the two people on the high cliff. Lu Sheng looked at Uchiha Obito who had reappeared on the high cliff, feeling a little regretful in his heart, but not surprised. Sure enough, it's not that easy to assassinate. But the trajectory of the appearance, and the real feeling from the Teideo before, Uchiha Obito should have used as Izanagi, the fate-changing forbidden technique. That is to say, he is now without a Sherinon. Hey, do we have any grudges? Why did you kill me without saying hello? Uchiha Obito shouted loudly, full of displeasure, and naturally asked, do you know, if I hadn't played my whole card, was hacked by you just now. On the surface, he still uses the tone of a hooligan, but in fact, under the mask of Uzumaki, Uchiha Obito has a serious face. Young appearance, long silver hair similar to Kakashi, and every blow, holding the terrifying sword technique to kill the opponent. This person, is Zetsukaki same, Lu Sheng Yuzuk mentioned before. The man who killed the Red Sand Scorpion and Kakuzu. Up, he actually lost a Sherinon. But, what a dangerous brat. Lu Sheng ignored Uchiha Obito, retracted the knife but drew the knife. The dense fog gave him an excellent advantage, not needing to close his eyes to prevent Uchiha Obito's illusion. Hey hey hey, wait a minute, wait a moment. Seeing Lu Sheng lock his chi machine, a crisis hit Uchiha Obito's heart. He quickly pretended to be panicked shaking his hands in front of him, and argued, I didn't mean it just now, we are not enemies, we are not enemies. Swish boom. Lu Sheng drew his saber, and a three to four meter long sword aura swept out. Sword Chi tore through the fog and roared towards Uchiha Obito. Ah, uh, I'm going to die. Senior, goodbye. Uchiha Obito covered his face with his hands, and bid farewell to Diodera, who did not know where he was, with a sad tone. Then the sword energy overwhelmed him, flew into a forest behind him, destroyed several towering trees, and set off a thick cloud of dust. Uchiha Obito, on the other hand, was stunned in place, and said doubtfully, Ah, I didn't die, that's great. God bless you. The damn showman? Looking at Uchiha Obito bouncing around, the corners of Lu Sheng's mouth twitched slightly. If it is someone else, who does not know Uchiha Obito's ability and intelligence, he will definitely feel pressured by this picture. Advertisement. Zero asterisk. But Lu Sheng had already anticipated this scene, so the sword energy he swung was only three or four meters long. Unless there is a death fight, Uchiha Obito will not give Lu Sheng a second chance to kill him. If he couldn't find a chance to kill Lu Sheng, he would choose to retreat after a few minutes. Yaxi, it's my turn to attack. After jumping around for a while, Uchiha Obito faced Lu Sheng with a confident look, bent his body slightly and put on a running posture rushing towards Lu Sheng full of flaws. This extremely reckless behavior, coupled with hollow just now, will inevitably bring great psychological pressure to others. But Lu Sheng just held the Teideo with the tip pointing forward, and let Uchiha Obito rush over without moving. As if Uchiha Obito didn't see it, he continued to run. Lu Sheng stared at his body without blinking, 
not looking at the right eye hole of his Azumaki mask. Achiha Obito, who was running, bumped into Lu Sheng's Tadeo and passed through Lu Sheng's body. The two are back to back, Lu Sheng maintains the posture of holding a knife, and Uchiha Obito maintains an exaggerated running posture. A few seconds later, Uchiha Obito stood up straight in an exaggerated posture, looked at Lu Sheng from the corner of his eyes, and his tone was no longer exaggerated, but became low, how do you, how do you know my ability? Lu Sheng turned to face Uchiha Obito, and said in a deep voice, that corner of your eye is sharing on. The tone was full of affirmation, Lu Sheng continued, Uchiha Itaki, Uchiha Suzuki, and Kakashi's aura are all the same as yours. It is the aura that only the Sharingan and Fengzi Bori have. There is a special ability, only Mangekyo Sharingan's pupil technique. Lu Sheng pointed at Uchiha Obito with a knife, pretending not to know, guessing, the ability you resurrected just now is your pupil technique, right? And the one that merges into a different space your ability is all your pupil technique, right? Lu Sheng's words made Uchiha Obito's heart sink slightly, I can detect even the figure of Ju, is this your special perception fan? Advertisement. Chapter 100 Mission Terminated, Return to Kanaha, 5 fifths. Advertisement. Chapter 100, Mission Terminated, Return to Kanaha. When a person has top-notch strength, brains, and mentality, it will be a very scary character. Even people of the same level will find it very difficult. That's how Uchiha Obito feels right now. The last person who gave him this feeling was his teacher, 4th Hokage Namikaze Minato. But Uchiha Obito has already experienced the power of the teacher. But now, the person who gave him this feeling was a teenager who was more than 10 years younger than him. The eyes under Uzumaki's mask looked straight at Lu Sheng, and Uchiha Obito said in a deep voice, I never thought that after Uchiha Shisui and Uchiha attack it, there will be a genius like you in this era. Lu Sheng did not have any 667 changes because of Uchiha Obito's praise. The red eyes kept staring at Uchiha Obito, observation Haki felt Uchiha Obito's emotional changes, Lu Sheng said flatly, you stopped fighting. Ah, don't fight. Uchiha Obito replied, turning his eyes to the lake covered in thick fog, and said softly, now is not the time to fight with you, we will meet again in the future. After the words fell, Uchiha Obito's body began to twist, and the surrounding space formed a Uzumaki, a black spot exuded a strong gravitational force, sucking his body into it. A few seconds later, Uchiha Obito's figure disappeared before Lu Sheng's eyes. Immediately, Lu Sheng looked at the lake. In the dense fog, the breath of Uchiha Obito has been transferred from the high cliff to the lake. Not long after, the entire Great Lake fell into silence. Advertisement when he was holding Uchiha Obito just now, Lu Sheng could faintly hear the sounds of fighting and monster growling. Now not only everything is silent, but even the thick fog covering the entire Great Lake and part of the forest is gradually dissipating. The hazy scene gradually began to become clear. When the huge and vast lake appears, the figures of classes 7, 8, and 10 instantly caught Lu Sheng's eyes. They are surrounding a woman, a strong man and a child tightly. The lake and the sky are scattered with large pieces of Sakura red crystal particles. Huh? Where's three tails? Standing on the high cliff, Lu Sheng could hear Uzumaki Naruto's voice from a long distance away. Bullhead, let's go. While Uzumaki Naruto and others were attracting attention, the woman covered in crystals quickly picked up a boy and shouted at a strong man. Whoa, whoa. Immediately, the two after images ran on the water and left in an instant. Since the direction is opposite to that of Gai Ban and Lu Sheng, Kakashi, and others can only watch them leave. After reacting, I couldn't press it anymore. However, the attention of Kakashi and others was no longer on them, they were already attracted by the member of Akatsuki who suddenly appeared and took three tails away. Nara Shikamaru looked at Kakashi and said in a deep voice, Ms. Kakashi. Ah, that's time space ninjutsu. Kakashi nodded and said solemnly. Advertisement. Tisk. After the guess was confirmed, Nara Shikamaru was not in a good mood at all, and said, It's really troublesome, the Akatsuki organization even has such a guy. They already had an advantage, and when they subdue Gurin and the others, the sealing squad can seal three tails. Unexpectedly, on the way, a cut-off man appeared on the way, using time-space ninjutsu to easily take three tails away. This mission can be described as a complete failure. 
The only benefit is to let them know that the Akatsuki organization has ten terrorists who master time and space ninjutsu. Shizun's sons and daughters had just cast a four-square seal, which was also forced to be cancelled. A group of people gathered together. Lu Shang took the initiative to say, Sorry, I didn't stop that guy. Shizun shook his head and said, You can't blame this. After all, we don't know anything about Akatsuki's intelligence. Moreover, the other party possesses space-time ninjutsu, and none of us present can stop him. Nara Shikamaru scratched his head, then our mission is over, right? Shizun nodded and said with a smile, Ah, it's over, let's take a rest and return to the village. Yamanaka Ino and Akimichi Koji, suddenly relieved Zero, and Hineda immediately went to Lu Sheng's side, carefully checking his body to see if he was injured. After seeing that he was not injured, Hineda just breathed a sigh of relief, and a smile appeared on her beautiful little face. In this regard, Lu Sheng raised his hand with a smile and pinched her nose. The two were silently showing their affection, Shizun and others summoned Katsuyu, and asked Katsuyu to bring the information back to Tsunade. After processing, the group dispersed into two teams. One team returned to Kanaha first, and the other team returned to the cave to take away the luggage stored there. After dusk, a group of people just returned to the village. Advertisement. After running around for a day, Lu Sheng and others disbanded directly at the entrance of the village. Shizun intervened in this mission, and Lu Sheng and Nara Shikamaru did not need to go to Hokage office to report to Tsunade. After saying goodbye to Nara Shikamaru and others, Lu Sheng and Hineda walked towards the vegetable market. On the way, Lu Sheng rarely complained, this task is really hard. Well, it's been hard work. Hineda nodded, feeling the same way. This task is indeed very uncomfortable. Not only the drastic change in the content of the mission, but also the environment and results there, made Lu Sheng and others seem to be wasting their time and busying themselves. This should be the eighth class, the first failed mission. Saying so, Lu Sheng looked up at the evening sky at 5.7, but a solemn look appeared in the depths of his eyes. After the Three Tails incident, it was the Uchiha brothers who killed each other, and the hero Jireya fell. After that, pain invaded Kanaha. Kanaha experienced the biggest event before the Fourth Great War in the ninja world. After buying vegetables at the vegetable market with Hineda, Lu Sheng returned to the door of Lu Sheng's house. Looking at this familiar house, Lu Sheng felt slightly regretful. At that time, I don't know if this building full of memories of him, Hineda, and Hanabi can still be preserved. But, it shouldn't be possible. After all, the entire village will be destroyed by that terrifying repulsion. Forget it. If it is ruined, take out all the savings and build a new home that belongs to him, Hineda, and Huahuo-san.